Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 2GI. 51. Sabayadi Archipelago. Kazaru kicks the supernova. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval Headquarters Marineford. In the past few days, the huge naval headquarters has all been mobilized. Around the world, naval headquarters assembles 100,000 elite sailors. Facing the Whitebeard Pirates, Sengoku felt that no matter how cautious it was. And this is just the news released by Marine. The current situation of the sea is confusing. The existence of Akatsuki and Jingalingte makes Sengoku very worried. These are two huge variables after all. So Sengoku has to be very careful. For this war, he is bound to win, Marine must not lose, must win. So Sengoku gave an order. Marines various chapters around the world, except for some garrison forces. Almost all of the elite Marines come to naval headquarters in secret. The number is far more than 100,000 people. Naval headquarters is surrounded by three floors and three floors, it can be described as a copper wall. The current naval headquarters is almost more defensive than Mariajoy. And even before the war, Marines still gather sailors all over the world. When the mid and low level Marines are in full swing. Inside the Marshal's office, Sengoku and the others were not idle either. All three admirals are present. The great staff crane was also on the side. Even Garp. After learning that Sabo is still alive and second in the Kendo rankings. Garp almost let go of his beating heart. Advertisement. Sabo is Ace's brother, and now he is more likely to be a member of the mysterious force Jingling Court. So, Sabo is almost a super powerful force. Possibly even stronger than Zoro and Yamato. Such an existence, if it joins the top battlefield. Does Ace still worry about him? So now Garp is not worried at all. So Garp came to the marshal's office even though his injuries had not yet healed. After all, except for the execution of Ace. In this summit war, the bottom line is that Marine wants to destroy Whitebeard. Garp can be very entangled in his heart because of his relationship with Ace. Garp, however, would not be soft on Whitebeard. The voice of discussion echoed in the marshal's office. And just as the discussion came to an end, the phone bug on Sengoku's desk rang. Inside came the voice of the Sabayati Archipelago defenders. Report. Battle. Marshal Sengoku. The voice of the guard over there was a little flustered. Sengoku frowned. Sabayati Archipelago is very close to naval headquarters, and the defender sent as a veteran rear admiral. But this rear admiral's voice is so flustered now, what's the big deal? The faces of the others in the office also sank. Marshal Sengoku, incredible. Straw Hat Luffy, one of the supernovas, beat Celestial Dragons. Celestial Dragons are letting you send admiral. Before he could finish speaking, Sengoku slapped the table angrily. He turned to look at Garp, veins popping out of his forehead. Garp. Advertisement. Look at your precious grandson. The faces of Akainu and the others on the side also sank. But Celestial Dragons got hit, which was a big deal. They Marine really had to send Admiral to control the prestige of pirates. Thinking of this, Akainu's face was gloomy, and he stood up silently. Marshal Sengoku, let me go. Akainu's voice was very gloomy. At this juncture that Marine is about to go to war with the Whitebeard Pirates. The group of supernovas even gave them eye drops on Marine. It just doesn't want to live anymore. Akainu promises. As long as the group of supernovas hadn't left by the time he arrived. He hits one and kills one. In the face of pirates, he will never be soft-hearted. However, when Sengoku looked at Akainu, his expression changed slightly. Especially when I think of Garp's words. Ace, Sabo, and Luffy are brothers. And now Sabo is still second in the Kendo list, and more likely to be a strong player in Jingling Court. With this in mind, Sengoku made a decision in his heart. He couldn't let Akainu go. This is protecting Akainu. Sengoku shook his head, Sakazuki, you are too slow, let Pulsolino handle this matter. Sengoku said, and gave Akainu a wink. But Akainu didn't understand it at all. His face sank, and he continued. Marshal Sengoku, Sabayati Archipelago is not far away, I will be there in an hour as soon as I take a warship. Advertisement. When I arrive, I'm bound to make none of those pirates escape. Akainu said with anger. Sengoku's heart grew bitter. It was because Akainu went, that none of these pirates could escape. So, he didn't let Akainu go. Thinking of this, Sengoku's face sank. Sakazuki, I am the marshal. Sengoku turned to look at Kazaru. Pelusolino, the celestial dragons were beaten, the situation is urgent, why don't you hurry up? Kazaru was sitting on the sofa, thinking that this matter had nothing to do with him. If Akainu wants to go, let him go. But did not expect. Sengoku will not let Akainu go. Kazaru felt a little more vigilant in his heart, there must be something tricky about it. Kazaru nodded got up helplessly, and turned into a golden light to leave. Akainu sat down again with a sullen face. But he had no idea that Sengoku was really doing this to protect him. If he's not careful, he'll really kill Luffy. Not to mention that Sabo. 
Just looking at Garp in this room, can he stand it? That's his own grandson. 52. Gold glitter. Namikaze Minato. Kazaru. Mad. Kick the steel plate. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On Sabayati Archipelago. Kazaru's figure stood on the pier, watching the scene of countless pirates scattered in front of him, and a wretched smile appeared on his face. Well, what are you running for? It's really boring. Kazaru said, and walked forward with his hands in his pockets. For this mission, Akainu should have come. But Sengoku let him come. Then don't blame him for being lazy. However, since he appeared on the stage, he also needed to show the world the majesty of Marine Admiral. Kazaru thought about it, and saw the magician Buckinger Hawkins and his group sitting by the pool in front of him. Buckingale Hawkins placed a tarot card in front of him, calculating his fate. The people in black robes beside him were covered in cold sweat and trembled slightly. They looked at Kazaru, then at their captain, and no one dared to speak. And Buckingale Hawkins is still blandly calculating his fate. Nananuo, magician, where's Buckingale Hawkins? Seeing the old man, don't you run. Kazaru buckled his ears and asked curiously. But Baggins was calm. Fate is doomed, so what's the use of running? Hearing this, Kazaru laughed with interest. What an interesting idea. It coincides with the old man. The philosophy that Kazaru has always been adhering to is to live by it, and be lazy if you can. I didn't expect a pirate to be like him today. On the side of the building. Playing the disc sound Apu looked at this scene and couldn't help but smile. Advertisement. Not far away, the eccentric monks Aruj and Drake are also at war with the pacifists. But after a quarter of an hour, Kazaru was walking down the street again. But wherever he passed, several supernovas were lying on the ground with their eyes wide open. Conspicuous, it has been solved by Kazaru one by one. Kazaru continued to walk forward, sending out a light speed kick from time to time to deal with a pirate. And this time, in the direction of the auction house, Luffy and Kid are still making a fuss. Due to the reason that Luo is no longer, the original Iron Triangle has become the current two-team battle. Luffy turned into a rubber man and beat countless marines to their knees. Kid waved two huge robotic arms, and the Magneto ability activated, smashing a group of marines into flesh. But this is, Chopper Usopp and others shouted anxiously beside Luffy. Luffy, let's go, Marine Admiral is coming. If Marine Admiral comes, we'll never have a chance to go. That's to be caught in the terrifying impel down. The exclamation duo shouted, but at this time, Luffy was stunned. It's all right, isn't there Minato-san? He said, let's not worry, if Admiral comes, he said he will help us stop it. Luffy said, looking at Namikaze Minato standing not far behind. Namikaze Minato nodded at this time, showing that sunny smile. Luffy, Sabo and I are good friends, don't worry. Luffy spread his hands and looked at the two Usopp. The two shouted speechless, someone they haven't heard of, said he can help them block Admiral, how about playing? Little did they know, Minato never spoke up. Not long ago, he was drawn by Chusha and summoned. Advertisement. Minato has been practicing in Hueco Mundo ever since. Now the strength has no idea how terrifying it is. It has already mastered the six paths mode. Blocking an Admiral, he thought it would be fine. As for why it came out this time, Minato was also a little curious about this world after learning that Chusha had lifted the restrictions. So I figured it out. And as soon as it came out, he met Luffy, whom Sabo often mentioned to him. After getting along for a while, Minato also thinks Luffy is good and can get along. So, he followed the Straw Hat crew around here. Now learn that Marine Admiral is coming. Naturally, Minato volunteered to help Luffy and the others block Marine Admiral. After all, Sabo is very close to him, and Luffy is Sabo's brother, so he naturally won't care. And also at this time, a figure of Kazaru in a yellow plaid suit appeared in the Cloak of Justice. Seeing that Straw Hat crew hadn't left, Kazaru was a little surprised. When you hear the old man's name, why don't you run away? It's really a bunch of fledgling little devils. Hearing Kazaru's words, Kid was reluctant. Two magnetic arms slammed down at Kazaru. Boom. Dust scattered. Kid's mouth twitched in disdain. Marine Admiral, is that all you have? But the next moment. In Kid's ear, Kazaru's plain and wretched voice suddenly came. Not. Advertisement. Glittering gold. Kid was kicked directly to the ground by Kazaru, and a loud roar broke out. Usopp and others stared. Big, is Admiral so scary? Both Luffy and Sanji looked at Kazaru, eager to try. They also wanted to see how far apart they were from Marine Admiral. A quarter of an hour later, Luffy bowed to the ground, clutching his stomach where Kazaru had kicked him. Sanji also lay on the ground in pain, clutching his calf that was about to be kicked off by Kazaru. The straw hats were no exception, and everyone lay on the ground and wailed. Today, they truly recognize the power of Marine Admiral. And after doing all this, Kazaru couldn't help but look at the last person standing. That blonde Namikaze Minato. Kazaru pouted, where's the last little brother? Have you ever been kicked by the light? When Kazaru finished speaking, the golden light flashed. But, when he kicked Namikaze Minato in the waist, 
Kazaru's expression changed suddenly. What am I? 18%. 53. Nine Tails Chakra Mode, Minato is crazy. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Outside the huge auction house. Kazaru kicked Namikaze Minato in the waist. The golden light on that foot kept flickering. However, Kazaru's face was very ugly. He kept scolding mother in his heart. This is so special. He seems to have kicked the steel plate. Kazaru only felt that one of his legs had lost consciousness, completely numb. The waist of the blonde man in front of him seemed to have a steel plate. But as usual, even a steel plate as thick as a wall could never stop him. Therefore, the blonde man in front of him is definitely not ordinary. Thinking of this, Kazaru retracted his feet tremblingly. It was so painful, and Namikaze Minato looked at Kazaru with a smile on his face. Marine Admiral, it really lives up to its reputation. With that said, Namikaze Minato put away the dark truth-seeking ball around his waist. Kazaru's eyes also keenly caught the pitch black. Armament hockey. Wrong. Kazaru's expression changed. The feeling he had just kicked was definitely not armed. Ordinary people's armed color. He can break through with one foot. The dark substance just now was a hundred times stronger than the armed color. Kazaru's face was dignified, and Namikaze Minato cried out in his heart. Advertisement. Sure enough, Sengoku named him to Sabayati, which is definitely not a good thing. But Sengoku, who is far away in Marineford, said he was definitely not to blame. Who would have thought that such a strong man would suddenly appear in Sabayati Archipelago? And this time, Rayleigh arrives in hindsight, knowing that Kazaru had already fought against the Straw Hats here, Rayleigh rushed over in a hurry. But looking at the scene in front of him, Rayleigh was a little stunned. What happened in front of this scene? Kazaru, why is standing in front of that blonde man, motionless? Feeling Rayleigh's arrival, Kazaru's heart sank again. But he looked at Rayleigh and forced himself to be calm. Pluton Rayleigh, don't you want to live your own safe life? Watching Rayleigh, Kazaru's vigilance was heightened to the extreme. This requires the blonde man in front of him, and Rayleigh to shoot at him. Then he might have to explain it here today. Kazaru panicked inwardly, but on the surface it didn't change color. And Rayleigh also noticed this strange atmosphere. He laughed and shook his head. The old man just came to have a look, no intention to shoot. Hearing Rayleigh's words, Kazaru was also relieved. So, he looked at Namikaze Minato in front of him. Brother, what do you mean? Namikaze Minato smiled lightly. It's always heard that Marine Admiral is a figure standing at the top of this sea. I'm Namikaze Minato, I want to see and see today. Kazaru's expression changed slightly, and his eyes were full of vigilance. Advertisement. He was very afraid of the dark substance on Namikaze Minato's body just now. Minato also seemed to see what Kazaru was thinking, and smiled slightly. Kazaru Admiral don't worry, I don't need the truth-seeking ball to fight you. Kazaru frowned. Truth-seeking ball, what is this? However, Kazaru let go of his beating heart. Next moment. I saw orange-red flames burning around Namikaze Minato in front of Kazaru. Subsequently, Namikaze Minato's body is enveloped in orange-red flames. Even the face and skin all turned into the form of that orange-red flame. In an instant, Namikaze Minato used the Nine Tails Chakra mode. As for the stronger Six Paths mode, he doesn't think it will be useful against Kazaru. And he didn't want to kill Kazaru, just to learn from it, so that he could feel the power of Admiral. Seeing that Minato was about to start, Kazaru's expression became solemn. The eyes under the sunglasses dare not have any more playfulness. He knew that he was afraid of kicking a steel plate today. But Kazaru wasn't too worried. He was Marine Admiral after all. Fight, fight. Thinking of this, Kazaru didn't hesitate and took the lead. The golden light flickered, and Kazaru instantly came behind Namikaze Minato with a light speed kick at him. But, there was a scene that made Kazaru stunned. Namikaze Minato, faster than him, dodged behind Kazaru. Fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato, in the Hokage world, he is known as the Golden Flash by the entire ninja world. Advertisement. This is a genius of genius among commoner ninjas. And now he has complete nine tails in his body, and master six paths mode. Such a Namikaze Minato has unimaginable combat power. Subsequently, right under the eyes of the Straw Hats and Rayleigh. Namikaze Minato and Kazaru go to war. The scene that made everyone dumbfounded kept happening. Kazaru, the top powerhouse famous for his speed. Today actually ate deflated in speed. Two golden lights flickered continuously. But Rayleigh could see, Kazaru, has been beaten by Namikaze Minato. Thinking of this, Rayleigh couldn't help but look horrified. In the sea, when will there be such a strong man? Namikaze Minato flickered, with the Rasengan of Nine Tails Chakra condensed in his hands. Kazaru dodged several times, but was finally hit by him. Kazaru's complexion changed, and his figure was suddenly blown away and smashed into the auction house. Boom. A dazzling orange light burst out. After subsidence. That huge auction house has been turned into ruins. 54. Kazaru. Mr. Sengoku, look at the powerful foreign aid I invited for you. Previous chapter. Next chapter. 
Advertisement. On Sabayati Archipelago. The battle has been going on for a long time. The two golden lights entwined each other and touched each other. Even the good-natured Kazaru was on fire. However, after Kazaru broke out with all his strength, he still couldn't take Kurama Mode's Namikaze Minato. Kazaru's fighting spirit began to dissipate. It's pointless to keep fighting Namikaze Minato. Besides, he also knew Luffy's identity, and he didn't want to do anything about it. He's not the iron-headed boy from Akainu. He's horrible garp does something to him. Thinking of this, Kazaru took the time to withdraw and waved his hand. With helplessness on his face, Kazaru gasped. No more, no more. As he said that, Kazaru also lamented the strength of Namikaze Minato in his heart. Such a strong man with no reputation before, this is a good candidate to join Marine. Now the top is imminent, and the sea is surging. If he can pull Namikaze Minato into Marine, Sengoku must be delighted to reward him with a big bonus. Besides, he had also verified the strength of Namikaze Minato just now. That's one of a kind strong. Even a little bit stronger than his Kazaru. And Kazaru wasn't sure if Namikaze Minato was doing his best. With this in mind, Kazaru no longer hesitated. He looked at Namikaze Minato and smiled slightly. Brother Minato, you and Marine have no grievances in the past, and no enmity recently. Today, the old man will no longer do anything to the straw hat boy. Kazaru first showed his sincerity. Advertisement. Hearing that, Minato also stopped and left Kurama mode. He looked at Kazaru with some interest. I still haven't played enough, and I rarely meet anyone who can compete with me in speed. Kazaru waved his hands again and again. He didn't want to fight anymore. If this fight continues, the two will have to evolve into a deadly battle. Although Kazaru doesn't think he will lose, but he didn't want to fight to the death with a strong man. To live in peace and to be his admiral, isn't that fragrant? Have to fight and kill. So, Kazaru looked at Namikaze Minato and started his next plan. Brother Minato, you are not a pirate. Now that you are on the sea, why don't you join Marine? We Marine are going to fight the Whitebeard Pirates recently. I can hear that there are many strong Whitebeard Pirates. There are not none of them who are good at speed. And in the battle that will come soon, there will be countless strong players. If you join Marine, you can participate in this battle openly, why not? Kazaru laughed, spitting stars flying. He was poaching talent for Marine. In fact, I'm afraid Kazaru is going to go to Sengoku to collect the bonus, right? Dig up an admiral level powerhouse for Marine, and the bonus is definitely not low. Thinking of this, Kazaru continued to speak bitterly. The people around were already stunned. Especially the Luffy guys. Kazaru, who was completely opposite to them just now. Open your mouth now and want to pull Big Brother Minato to join Marine. The people are kind. Advertisement. But Namikaze Minato couldn't help but ponder when he heard Kazaru's words. Now that he came to this sea, he was indeed a bit at a loss. I want to go for a walk, but I don't know where to go. It's too slow to understand the world on your own. And just now, Kazaru also showed his sincerity and no longer pursues Luffy and others. There is also the top of the battlefield to go. Namikaze Minato had an idea before, and wanted to see this magnificent battle. It's nice to be able to join now as Marine. However, he looked at Kazaru and said at last. It's okay to join Marine. But, hearing Namikaze Minato's words, Kazaru's eyes, which had been a little hopeless, suddenly lit up. Any request, I can do it, I can promise you. The old man promises that if you join Marine, you will be given a vice admiral position at the minimum. Even Marshal Sengoku agrees that it is not impossible for you to be promoted directly to admiral. When the people around him heard this, they became more polite. What? Just kidding. Direct promotion to admiral. Usopp and others murmured in shock. At this time, Namikaze Minato also smiled. I didn't mean that, it doesn't matter what the rank is. I just don't know how long I can stay at Marine. Kazaru didn't think much about it when he heard it. It's okay. As long as you don't become a pirate after you leave Marine, then we'll be friends forever. Hearing Kazaru's words, Namikaze Minato nodded. Okay, I'll go to naval headquarters with you. Advertisement. It just so happens that I also want to see and see and go to the battlefield. There was surprise in Kazaru's eyes. He really didn't expect it. It was just his whim to see if he could recruit. Unexpectedly, it really did. This is an admiral-level powerhouse. At this juncture now, an admiral-level powerhouse, as if giving charcoal to Marine in the snow. Kazaru's face was overjoyed, and he hurriedly left with Namikaze Minato. On the spot, a shocked crowd was left behind. After a long time, Usopp muttered in shock. Shui, big brother Minato, is he really going to be a Marine? It's still the lowest headquarters, Vice Admiral, and it is even possible to be directly promoted to Admiral. Listening to Usopp's words, the rest of the straw hats were also shocked. Captain Luffy, however, scratched his head. Anything to be surprised about. My grandpa is also Marine Vice Admiral. Crowd. Kazaru returned to naval headquarters and came to the marshal's office immediately. Before entering, Kazaru exclaimed with joy. Mr. Sengoku, look at the powerful foreign aid I invited you. 18%. 
55. On the eve of the war, the turbulent sea. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Inside the marshal's office. Sengoku was still discussing operational deployment with Akainu and others. But Kazaru's voice came out suddenly. Sengoku looked puzzled. Then, Kazaru walked in through the gate with Namikaze Minato. Looking at Namikaze Minato's young face, Sengoku and the others didn't react for a while. However, after a while, Akainu remembered Kazaru's words. He invited a powerful foreign aid. Akainu's eyes were constantly scanning Namikaze Minato's body. How did Kazaru go to Sabayati Archipelago and bring back a powerful foreign aid? And this good thing. Then, after Kazaru introduced the Sabayati Archipelago and his party just now, everyone could not help but look at Namikaze Minato. Akainu's face was full of disbelief. For such a young person, you told me that he is an admiral level combat power. So has he, Akainu, lived on a dog for so many years. In his fifties he became an admiral. Look at the Namikaze Minato in front of him, is he in his thirties? Thinking of this, Akainu looked reluctant. Even for Kazaru, Namikaze Minato should at least give him a vice admiral, even when he was directly promoted to admiral. Akainu ran wild, but, finally after a small match between him and Namikaze Minato. Advertisement. Everyone shut up. Sengoku is like a treasure. He glared at Akainu. Fortunately, he had the foresight to let Akainu go to the Sabayati archipelago. Otherwise, the guy has to fight the Minato and end up with an enemy for Marine. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help but be thankful. And, Sengoku was also shocked by Namikaze Minato's strength. At the same time, he is also more confident about the upcoming summit war. Marine adds another admiral class force. Sengoku is more confident to win this battle. And under the current situation, Sengoku immediately has the heart to make Namikaze Minato become admiral. Immediately, Sengoku called the phone bug to the five elders. He didn't hold much hope at first, but finally got a shocking news. Well, the five elders actually agreed. Agree to give Namikaze Minato a direct promotion to admiral. In an instant, Sengoku smiled. However, he also let the news be suppressed for the time being. When the time comes, the Whitebeard pirates will be caught off guard. And what Sengoku doesn't know is, the five elders agreed to give Namikaze Minato an exceptional promotion to admiral. That's because they also realized that the situation in the sea has changed drastically. The whole sea was turbulent. If marine strength can be strengthened, it will also be beneficial to the world government. So the five elders did not object, but generously gave marine an admiral position. New world. After marine announces that Ace is about to be executed. Advertisement. Whitebeard rushed out with his forces, ready to rescue Ace. This also led to, the original power of the Whitebeard pirates was almost empty. Some small and medium pirates don't have to worry. The forces left behind by the Whitebeard pirates can still be blocked. But like the four emperors groups like Kaido and Big Mom. The rest of the Whitebeard pirates couldn't resist. Wanokuni Ghost Island. Kaido was still bandaged. He laughed at the news that Whitebeard and the others had completely left New World. Jin, Quinn, Jack, this is our chance. That old Whitebeard is going to naval headquarters, this is a great opportunity for us to invade their power. Kaido laughed. Jack quickly echoed Kaido's decision. Blazing embers and plague Quinn's eyes were also eager to move. After thinking about it, Kaido finally decided. Jin, this time, you will lead the team and go to Whitebeard's lair with Quinn and Jack to steal their home. Hearing Kaido's words, Jin nodded. Jack was a little surprised. Boss, are you not going? Quinn gave Jack a head on the side. Miss Yamato is still in a coma on the island. The boss's injury has not recovered, of course, he will stay in the ghost island to recuperate. Kaido laughed again when he heard Quinn's words. When you finish stealing Whitebeard's lair, then wait for my order. A big battle at naval headquarters, Lousy won't miss it. Advertisement. If this time, Marine can be wiped out in one fell swoop. Kaido said this and laughed again. Jack scratched his head and said with hindsight. Boss is so smart. Not only will we gain most of Whitebeard's territory this time, but we may also destroy most of Marine's forces in one fell swoop. The boss is so smart. I admire it so much. Jin slapped Jack's head. How do you talk to the boss? On the ghost island, there was the sound of four people laughing. Then, the beast's pirates, led by the three calamities, set off for the Whitebeard faction. At the same time, at the same time that Kaido moves like this. Charlotte Linlin's side is no exception. Charlotte Linlin recovered quickly after Su Xing. Learned that Whitebeard took most of the people to naval headquarters. Charlotte Linlin also ordered, except for Katakori. The rest of the dessert four stars are all dispatched, plus the eldest son Perospero. Everyone took the big mom pirates and went to the beast's pirates on the other side. The sea is officially turbulent because naval headquarters is about to fight the Whitebeard pirates. 56. Beasta and Little Oz. Come on, let's go to naval headquarters. Save Ace. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Amidst the yellow sand, stood a huge and magnificent group of white palaces. If anyone on the sea could see it, they would be dumbfounded. 
Because of this white palace complex, it is almost more imposing than Mariajoy. And this is the Void Knight Palace. The two slightly smaller buildings next to it are Jingling Ting and Xiao. The three are all together, and they are the same forces under Chu Sha. At this time, a giant with a height of nearly 40 meters was walking in the palace of Void Knight. Just looking at the appearance is very ferocious, with green face and fangs. However, he is now wearing a straw hat, with a simple and honest expression on his face. That straw hat was given to him by Ace. Little Oz has always been regarded as the most important thing. And behind it was a long knife. The Captain Howry was almost unable to stop the sturdy body of Little Oz. Walking beside him was Bista who had changed into a floral shirt. Today's Bista's temperament has changed greatly. No longer the calm gentleman of the Whitebeard Regiment. Instead, he has become a man who is now three-point frivolous, three-point serious, and three-point gentleman. But in his bones, he was still that Bista. Little Oz looked at Bista with joy in his eyes. Especially looking at the two long knives attached to Bista's waist, his face couldn't help showing joy. Bista, fortunately, you dared to get Kaden Kyokutsu before the time runs out. Otherwise you will not be able to keep up with the battle. Little Oz said, glanced at the curse on his waist. He has inherited the curse, and now his strength has greatly increased. Advertisement. But he was the only one who went to naval headquarters. Little Oz was still a little worried. Now that Bista has succeeded in inheriting Kaden Kyokutsu, there is no need to worry anymore. The two of them will go to naval headquarters together to rescue Ace. Bista, who thought of this, also smiled. Glancing at the two long knives on his waist, Bista's eyes showed infinite confidence. The two of them have spent the past three months in vain. At least the two of them now have complete confidence to go to naval headquarters to rescue Ace. With that in mind, Bista nodded. It's not too late, you and I leave quickly. Time is running out and we have to go at full speed. Little Oz nodded. Come on, let's go to naval headquarters. Save Ace. The two stepped on Rayatsu and quickly lifted off into the sky and flew into the distance. While flying, Little Oz couldn't help but look excited. Bista, you said that Ace would be very excited to see us go to rescue him, and his strength increased greatly. Bista smiled and nodded. However, there was a hint of solemnity in his voice. It's probably not that simple to rescue Ace this time. I heard that Kirby has gone to fulfill his marine dream. Even that lunatic Kenpachi went to the top of the battlefield. Listening to Bista's words, Little Oz's expression changed slightly. Kirby going to fulfill his marine dream. Then, don't we want to face him this time? And the madman Kenpachi, if he goes to the top of the battlefield, wouldn't he do something to dad? Bista nodded, a deep look in his eyes. So, you and I have to speed up. And I heard that Buggy went with that lunatic Kenpachi too. Advertisement. The two of them will undoubtedly stand together. Hearing Bista's words, Little Oz was once again shocked. The bastard with the red nose is gone too. Thinking of this, Little Oz's heart sank again. Although Chu Sha prohibits infighting among his forces. But it will not prohibit them from learning from each other. And they each have their own dreams. Chu Sha will not stop this. Now that they are on the battlefield, many of their goals and dreams have come together. For example, Bista and Little Oz, the two are going to rescue Ace. And Kirby wants to fulfill his marine dream. Zoro is eager to fight. Therefore, they may stand on opposite sides. Although they hardly ever fight face to face. But in this summit war, neither side will be easy to fight. Little Oz's expression darkened. He couldn't help but speak. Bista, then I heard that too. Looks like Minato-san is out too. And brother Minato also sent a letter saying that he went to naval headquarters and seems to have become an admiral. Bista's expression froze. But after a while, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Naval headquarters, it's getting more and more interesting. But we don't have to worry. Brother Minato is here. As long as you and I say a word, Ace's life will naturally be saved. Little Oz nodded. It is. They jingling and shower the forces under Chu Sha. Advertisement. All are united. This time on the battlefield, they were almost 100% able to save Ace. As for the rest, it is a vigorous battle. At this time, the corner of Bista's mouth twitched. Besides, the captain of the second division, the most terrifying guy among us. He's Ace's brother, what do you think would happen if he went? Listening to Bista's words, Little Oz was stunned again. Furthermore, it is shocking. That scary guy will go too. Bista nodded. Yes, and will be on our side. Ryujin Jaka. Bista's eyes also showed shock. Reminds me of the last time I was defeated by that guy. Little Oz turned to Bista in amazement. No, he has Master Bankai, right? Bista nodded silently. Even if there is no master, it is not far. The voice fell, and Little Oz stopped, stunned in place. How can that be? Bankai by Ryujin Jaka. 19%. 57. Neglected Kirby. First have a marine dream. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval Headquarters Marineford. On the square behind the office building. Lines of marine soldiers were standing. They are the elite marine mobilized from all over the world. Among them, a recruit camp. A tall, 
pink-haired Kirby stood about 1.8 meters tall. Since the departure of Hueco Mundo, Kirby has been ready to fulfill his marine dream. He first went to East Blue. Shortly after joining, Kirby showed surprising strength. In the end, with excellent performance, he was summoned by naval headquarters and prepared to participate in the summit war. Moreover, Kirby didn't know the relationship between Vista and Ace. He came here purely to fulfill his marine dream and destroy the pirate Whitebeard. Although Kirby has yet to reveal his full strength. Otherwise he would have been noticed by the marine vice admiral and above. However, Kirby is also very happy to have joined marine. In the past few days, he followed the elite marines who came here, carrying out intensive training. At this point, this round of training is complete. Everyone around was panting. Only Kebby. His face was calm and calm, and he didn't look tired at all. The people around him looked at him as if they were a weirdo. And Commodore Varus is a very easy-going person. He asked everyone to sit together and told everyone how to save their lives on the battlefield. Advertisement. Kirby, and all of you. You guys are all recruits who joined Marine for less than a year. This time at Naval Headquarters, Marshal Sengoku also wants you to see the world. So you won't be placed on the front line, and you won't be the first to confront the Whitebeard Pirates. What you need is to protect yourself in battle and actively kill the enemy. But the most important thing is to protect your own life. You are Marine's new star and Marine's future. Marine's future depends on you. While training is important, it is more important to live. Kirby and the others all nodded. Many recruits are very happy in their hearts. Before they came, they were also enraged that they could participate in the summit war. But after coming, after a few days of training, there were people in the barracks talking about Whitebeard's reputation and the strength of the Whitebeard pirates. Whitebeard is the toughest man in the world after all. He could easily kill hundreds of marine soldiers with a single blow. Therefore, panic in the military camp is inevitable. However, they are all warriors who have experienced blood and fire, so no one has become a peach soldier for the time being. But the day of execution is getting closer. Many people feel apprehensive, which is inevitable. Hearing that they only need to stand at the back today, everyone felt relieved. But at this time, a sudden voice came to mind. Varus Commodore, who asked you to tell them this? Thinking of Akainu's gloomy voice, he strode forward in the cloak of justice. Seeing Akainu, one of the three admirals, many recruits didn't care and stood up quickly. Advertisement. Kirby is no exception, although in his heart, his own strength is not inferior to Akainu. But Kirby cherished the opportunity to be a sailor very much. Because after this, he may never have the chance to be a marine again. So Kirby didn't make a fuss, and stood up with the crowd. When Commodore Varus heard Akainu's words, his heart tightened. He stood up, just about to explain. But Akainu waved directly to interrupt. Immediately, he looked gloomily at the hundreds of recruits in front of him. The group of recruits just now heard that they were in the back, and they all seemed fortunate. Akainu got angry when she saw it. You bastards. Do you think the battle is easy and safe? I think you recruits should stand on the front line and experience the baptism of blood and fire. Only in this way can you become a qualified sailor. Hearing Akainu's words, Commodore Varus' expression changed. Akainu Admiral, but before he could speak, Akainu waved his hand again. Commodore Varus, it's not your duty to speak. In my eyes, the only way for recruit to become a veteran is to face the most brutal battle. This battle with the Whitebeard Pirates is the key to your growth. Akainu called the adjutant and placed the lineup of many elite recruits directly at the forefront. Varus' expression changed in a hurry. Advertisement. If the recruit wants to go to the front line, he will also follow. But it wasn't that that worried him. As a marine commodore, he was always ready to die for justice. However, he did not want to see so many potential elite marines die in this battle. After all, many of them have high potential in the future, and some can even become rear admiral of the headquarters. But looking at Akainu's livid complexion, Commodore Varus didn't dare to speak. In Marine, who doesn't know the name of this jagged admiral? Let him dare to speak again. It is not impossible to be burned by Akainu on the spot. Hundreds of recruits showed fear and lament in their eyes. And in the crowd, Kirby watched Akainu's disappearing figure. He looked at the group of young recruits beside him. Kirby made up his mind. That is, to protect this group of recruits, he will use all his strength. He wants to show Akainu too. His recruit is by no means a coward. 58. Battle Deployment, the Queen's Wonderful Reason for Participating in the War previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Time passed minute by minute. Almost nothing major happened in the whole sea in the past few days. Almost everyone's eyes were fixed on the battle between naval headquarters and Whitebeard. And naval headquarters, preparations for war have come to an end. Inside the marshal's office, Sengoku looked around. Now the operational deployment is basically complete. We, naval headquarters, have gathered almost 150,000 elite marines. In addition to our four admiral, Garp, and many vice admiral from the headquarters, I believe that this time we will be able to win the Whitebeard Pirates. Sengoku's impassioned voice fell, but no one responded to him. 
Garp was still eating senbei, and even looked at Namikaze Minato who was smiling. Minato, do you want one? Minato smiled and declined Garp's enthusiasm. Garp Vice Admiral, forget it, I don't like senbei. Bring me some donuts. Garp sighed first, then his eyes lit up. Oh, I don't like senbei, it's a pity. But fortunately, you like the donuts that the old man also likes. Garp smiled and handed Namikaze Minato one. Aokiji's expression also changed. Garp Vice Admiral, I want one too. Garp also handed it with a smile. Seeing this scene, Sengoku's forehead was blushing. Advertisement. On the sofa beside him, Kazaru was sipping a cup of hot tea. He was holding a newspaper in his other hand, and while reading it, he occasionally showed a wretched smile. After the Golden Emperor Guild Tezolo disappeared, a Celestial Dragons went to the New World Casino to gamble and was almost killed by the Big Mom Pirates. It's so scary, so scary. On the other side, Aokiji was wearing a blindfold, his entire body was embedded in the sofa, and his eyes were closed. In the entire office, only the two of them were listening to Sengoku. One of them, Akainu, had his legs crossed, and his face was gloomy. It seems that his anger-driven lava lava fruit is now starting to charge up. The great staff officer he folded his arms in front of him, not knowing what he was thinking in his eyes. Watching this scene, Sengoku slapped the table. Do you still have my marshal in your eyes? What? As soon as Sengoku said these words, everyone was reluctantly restrained. However, Garp's sound of eating senbei was a little quieter. Sengoku was completely helpless watching this scene. He had to turn his eyes to the crane. Shaozuo, what's going on at Shichibukai? Anyone here? In this summit war, Marine will not let go of Shichibukai's hard work. Since it is recognized by the world government, it can be looted legally. Then this group of pirates must also accept the mandatory recruitment of the world government. Hearing Sengoku's words, Suru nodded. The remaining members of the seven warlords of the sea are here. Tyrant Bartholomew Kuma, Gekko Moria, Blackbeard, Hakai Mahawk, Empress Boa Hancock. Hearing the last two names, several people couldn't help being a little surprised. Kazaru raised an eyebrow. Advertisement. The guy with Hakai is here too. Will he care about the identity of the seven warlords of the sea? Kazaru was a little curious. If it is said that the first three people are all forced to participate in the war because they care about the identity of seven warlords of the sea. But Hakai, his original strength is very strong, the world's largest swordsman. Although the name is now a bit misnomer. But Hakai was also rewarded with the gold list. No one knows how strong it is now. Therefore, he will not be concerned about the world's official government at all, and forcibly recruiting is even more of a fart in his eyes. But Hakai actually came, which was a bit shocking. There is also the Queen of Nine Snake Island. She will come, which is even more shocking. Crane said lightly to Kazaru's question. Hakai said he wanted to meet Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. As for Empress Boa Hancock, she only gave me one sentence. Everyone in the office raised their eyebrows. The Empress said that she might be able to see the Lord again at the top of the battlefield, so she came. Listening to his words, everyone frowned. That Lord. Whitebeard. Who is it? Everyone is a little unclear. Sengoku shook his head without thinking much. Since the Empress is here, this is a good thing for them Marine. Advertisement. Sengoku looked at the crane with a sullen expression on his face. When the time comes, put these five people at the top of the lineup and let them fight the first wave of Whitebeard's attack. Anyway, they are definitely not working hard. Crane nodded in response. And Sengoku looked at Namikaze Minato at this time. In a brief sparring with Akainu that day, Namikaze Minato showed almost no slower than Kazaru's speed. This makes Sengoku cautious. Minato, when the war begins, I will announce your promotion to Admiral in the name of Marshal. The situation on the battlefield is changing, and I may also end up participating in the battle in person. So the execution platform will be handed over to you. Hearing this, Akainu's face sank. The execution platform was handed over to Namikaze Minato, which made him a little reluctant. After all, Namikaze Minato has only been with Marine for a few days. Although strong, he Akainu has to agree with this. However, handing over such an important execution platform to Namikaze Minato made Akainu a little reluctant. The execution stand, which almost means the key to this war. This is Marine's face. However, when he thought that he was going to fight Whitebeard, Akainu also suppressed his reluctance. And feeling the trust in Sengoku's mouth, Minato nodded. Don't worry, Marshal Sengoku. 59. On the day of execution, holding Ryujin Jaka, I am going to save my brother. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Under the tense gaze of the whole sea. The day of execution finally came. Marineford's Oak Square was full of Marines early in the morning. The morale of all Marines is extremely high, and they are ready for this battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. Around the square, there are countless video phone bugs, big and small. This time Marine is going to show the power of Marine to the world in the form of a live broadcast to the world. Inside the Marshal's office, Sengoku is also doing the final mental work for Garp. He's really afraid that when Ace is a grandfather, he will let Garp violate the justice that he has insisted on all his life. 
But Garp's reaction was beyond Sengoku's expectations. He was still eating Senbei mindlessly as usual. As if he didn't care that Ace was about to be executed. One is because of Sabo. Two, it was Garp who met Namikaze Minato last night. At the time, Namikaze Minato told Garp. In this battle, he will fight the pirates with all his strength as Marine Admiral. But, Namikaze Minato is also a good friend of Sabo. And Ace is Sabo's brother, how could he watch his friend's brother get killed right in front of his eyes? So Namikaze Minato promised Garp. As long as he's there, no one can move Ace. But he will guard the good punishment platform. This can be considered to live up to Sengoku's trust. Advertisement. Against the Whitebeard Pirates, Namikaze Minato will also go all out. Garp certainly wasn't nervous when he got the news that his grandson, Ace, was 100% fine. So no matter what Sengoku said, he didn't look nervous at all. When naval headquarters is ready. Three fishing vessels headed by the Moby Dick. I have also finished filming and arrived at naval headquarters shortly after. The redhead also came across the red line with his own pirate group. The stealing of the New World side is also in full swing. Just when the sea was surging. Void Knight Palace. On the Void Throne. Chu Sha listened to a system prompt in her mind. Open black lens bracket ding. Sabo's preliminary master Ryujin Jaka Bankai, has been obtained simultaneously, and rewarded a thousand years of Reyatsu. Close black lens bracket. Hearing this system prompt, Chu Sha smiled lightly. Sabo did not disappoint him. It has only been a long time, and Bankai has already initially mastered. Although Sabo is practicing in that special place, the flow of time is thousands of times faster than outside. But it was Ryujin Jaka's Bankai who could control Bankai for such a short period of time. This is really surprising. Chu Sha was thinking about this when a blonde man dressed in the second division Captain Yori appeared in front of him, holding a simple long sword in his hand. That long sword is the strongest Zanpakuto of the heat type, Ryujin Jaka. And the owner of the long sword is naturally the captain of the second division, Sabo. Sabo looked up at Chu Sha. Chu Sha nodded. Advertisement. Go. Sabo bowed slightly, and then left the Void Knight Palace. And just after he walked not far, he came across an arrogant guy in a red cloud windbreaker with a black background. With a flash of lightning, Enel blocked Sabo with surprise in his eyes. You guy, are you going out too? What can you do in person? Does your lord order the extermination of the world's official government? Enel was curious. They are well aware of Sabo's strength. And now, Sabo is going to personally come out of Hueco Mundo, what is this big event that he doesn't know about? Look at the curious look on Enel's face. Sabo smiled lightly. I'm going to save my brother. Sabo said, avoiding Enel, his figure quickly disappeared into the yellow sand. And Enel, standing in place, gradually showed interest on his face. After looking at the latest information, Enel's face showed pride. Up to the battlefield, Marine, Whitebeard Pirates. It's really fun. Then, as the first god under the command of my lord, shouldn't I also go there? Thinking of this, Enel's figure turned into lightning and disappeared. Naval Headquarters. It was only three hours before the noon execution time. All the soldiers in Naval Headquarters also gradually became tense. Because after this time, the Whitebeard Pirates may appear here at any time. Until then, it will be the decisive battle between Marine and the Whitebeard Pirates. Marine is in the lineup at the moment. Advertisement. Even some battle-hardened headquarters Rear Admiral was a little nervous. They have gone through countless battles, big and small. But today's battle is really too big. The last time there was such a large-scale battle, it was back when the Golden Lion stormed Naval Headquarters. But that time, the Golden Lion broke into Naval Headquarters single-handedly. In the end, they were defeated by Sengoku Garp. It's not a large-scale battle between their Marines and Pirates at all. So, it's almost a hundred years. The only time Marine has ever fought a Pirate of this magnitude. At the scene, only people above Vice Admiral from the Headquarters can suppress the tension in their hearts. Some of them are particularly excited, like Ghost Spiders, Hawks like Doberman. Some are worried, such as Flying Squirrel, Huo Shaoshan and others. They were afraid that Marine lost too much in this battle, which would affect the current situation of the sea. Fighting against pirates, after all, it is the common people who suffer. Just when people were thinking about it, videophone bugs open at the same time. Next to the tall execution platform at the back of the square. Marshal Sengoku also led a group of Marine's top powerhouses out slowly. 60. The Whitebeard Pirates are here, a world-renowned battle. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The video phone bug opens. Everyone in the world was excited. Not talking about ordinary people, but some strong ones. They are all looking forward to this world-renowned war. Now that I can watch this battle with my own eyes, I don't know how many people can't sleep. The civilians mostly carried Marines' hopes of destroying the Whitebeard Pirates. And the Pirates are ready to see Marines' joke, wanting to see the Whitebeard Pirates defeat Naval Headquarters. At this time, I saw Marshal Sengoku leading a group of Marine powerhouses out. Countless civilians were excited. At the scene, 150,000 elite marines were all boiling. 
Look at Marshal Sengoku, Marine Hero Garp, and three big admirals. The morale of all Marine soldiers was high. But. There are also many people who are keenly aware of it. Why did Marshal Sengoku follow another person they had never seen before? The man was blonde, also wearing the cloak of justice, with the rank of admiral. Everyone was shocked when they saw it. The Flying Squirrel and other headquarters Vice Admiral also frowned. Marine added a new admiral, what's going on? And just when everyone was wondering. Akainu, Aokiji, and Kazaru took the lead to walk to the execution stand and sat in the admiral's seat prepared for them. There was a temporary vacancy next to it. Seeing this, everyone was shocked again. They originally thought that it was reserved for the hero Garp. Advertisement. Because among the Marines, Garp's reputation is almost equal to Admiral, and even surpasses Admiral. So he had no problem sitting there. But now, everyone has found that this seems a bit wrong. Just under the doubtful eyes of countless Marine soldiers. Sengoku took Namikaze Minato to the execution platform. Sengoku looked around Oak's Square, picked up the loudspeaker and said. Everyone must have guessed. Then congratulations, you guessed correctly. The one next to me is the newly promoted admiral from our Marine, Namikaze Minato. His code name is Firefox. Sengoku's voice fell. The whole Oak Square was silent. All Marines, look at me, I look at you, brains are down. Did they hear it right? Truly a new admiral, at this juncture of the upcoming battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. Marshal Sengoku suddenly announced the promotion of a new admiral. Oh my god, people from all over the world watching the live broadcast caused a sensation. This is so shocking. And naval headquarters, Oak Square was silent for a moment. Subsequently, countless marine soldiers roared like the division of tigers and wolves. The previous tension and depression were swept away. Countless marine soldiers looked excited. They don't know why Namikaze Minato was promoted to admiral. But all they need to know is. The position of marine admiral is definitely not something someone without strength can take. Namikaze Minato's ability to become admiral certainly proves that he has that ability. Since Namikaze Minato has the strength, they have no objection to become admiral. Advertisement. Rather now, this is the case against the Whitebeard Pirates. The morale of countless marine soldiers was mobilized. They were full of excitement. Firefox Admiral. Firefox Admiral. Countless people shouted. Hearing these shouts, a smile appeared on Sengoku's face. And Namikaze Minato was a little helpless. He wanted to be called Golden Glitter. But Marine has no such precedent. Admiral is a two-character code name, such as Akainu, Aokiji, Kazaru. And Sengoku sees the red fox that he showed slightly during the battle with Akainu. Therefore, he is called Firefox. Namikaze Minato reluctantly agreed. It's just a title, he has no opinion. And he didn't necessarily stay in Marine for how long, so it was pointless to struggle with this. And listening to the shouts of the surrounding Marine soldiers, Namikaze Minato's heart flashed with surprise. The Marine of this world is much stronger than the ninja of his world. Although in terms of top-level combat power, the two sides are almost the same. But between the middle and low-level combat power, his world is too different. Namikaze Minato shook his head, tossing the thoughts out of his head. But just as Namikaze Minato glanced around. However, he found Kirby in the recruit camp at the front of the square. He had seen the battle deployment map. He should have remembered correctly. There, it should be the recruit camp. Thinking of this, Namikaze Minato couldn't help but smile. He also looked at Kirby. Kirby nodded excitedly. Advertisement. Namikaze Minato held back a smile. He remembered that it seemed that the recruiting camp was moved to the front. This was Akainu's proposal, right? Or Akainu and Sengoku beat the table to win. But this time, there is a good show to watch. Namikaze Minato smiled, got off the execution stand, and sat in his admiral's seat. And the excitement of the marines slowly subsided. With shackles on his hands and feet, Ace was taken to the execution block by two marine soldiers. And at the same time, bubbles appeared in the sea in the moon-shaped harbor in front of Oaks Plaza. As if boiling, three huge black shadows gradually appeared below the sea surface. Countless marine soldiers stared at it. Subsequently, three whale boats broke open to reveal their hulls. When marine was completely unpredictable, the Whitebeard pirates are officially here. Whitebeard stood on the bow, holding a big razor and cutting clouds, laughing. Cool la la la. Cool la la la, Lousy has come to pick up his son. 61. Ace's identity was exposed, causing an uproar in the world. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Looking at the three whale ships that suddenly appeared in front of them, the entire naval headquarters fell silent. All the marines' eyes widened. They were still shocked by the news that Namikaze Minato was promoted to admiral. Why did the Whitebeard pirates come? The Moby Dick is extremely large, and the entire hull is five or six hundred meters long. And on the bow of the huge whale, there was a figure of hockey standing at this time. It was one of the four emperors, Whitebeard Edward Newgate. Looking at that figure, countless marine soldiers were filled with depression. That one, after all, is the strongest man in the world, Whitebeard. There was boundless tension in the hearts of countless marine soldiers. 
This is inevitable. Even Sengoku just announced the promotion of Marine's fourth admiral. But faced with Whitebeard Edward Newgate, the legendary pirate. Everyone was still nervous, and some of the mid- and low-level Marines were flabbergasted. The name Whitebeard was terrifying at the time. Even at sea, Whitebeard is even used by adults to scare small children. Children cry when they hear Whitebeard's name. Looking at the Marine soldiers under his command, not many people even dared to look at that figure. Sengoku on the execution platform should not shake his head. But he glanced at Marine, but found a pink-haired recruit who was very good. He looked up at Whitebeard, and there was no fear on his face. With a long knife attached to his waist, his body is extremely stable. Even Sengoku saw a strong fighting spirit in the eyes of that recruit. Sengoku was somewhat satisfied, he was able to see such a good seedling in the recruit camp. With just a glance, Sengoku can tell. The future achievements of this sailor will not be low. At the very least, he will be a rear admiral level powerhouse. However, Sengoku's eyes didn't stop for a long time, and he turned to look at Whitebeard on the Moby Dick. The eyes of the two collided in midair, almost wiping out the electric light. Sengoku's face sank involuntarily. He also did not expect that Whitebeard did not follow any of the routes he expected. Instead, it is coated from the seabed and directly to Oak's Square. Sengoku felt a little ugly in his heart. It seems that all the arrangements he made on the periphery were in vain. Advertisement. But fortunately, as long as Whitebeard entered the port, he would not be able to leave today. However, Sengoku has many metal surrounding walls arranged on the periphery. As long as the surrounding wall rises, the Whitebeard pirates will not want to leave. The surrounding wall constructed of a special alloy would not be easy for even Whitebeard to destroy. Plus when Marine has three admirals joining the fight. In a hurry, the marshal will personally take action. The Whitebeard pirates are bound to perish here today. Thinking of this, Sengoku felt somewhat relieved. And this time, Moby Dick. After Whitebeard's stalwart figure, he walked out of the captains of the Whitebeard pirates. After the three whale ships, nearly 40 pirate ships appeared. Those were all affiliated pirates under Whitebeard. There are nearly 40 pirates, plus the main force of the Whitebeard pirates. This is the background of the New World Four Emperor's pirates. Thinking of these, countless marines became more and more depressed. The euphoria that had been brought about by the promotion of Firefox Admiral was swept away. What they had to face, after all, was to fight a Four Emperor's pirate group. Even though they are full of confidence in themselves and others, they are full of confidence in the Four Admiral and Marshal Sengoku. But in this battle, the number of people who died is absolutely countless. Maybe they are among them. But opposite, the expressions of everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates were also not very good. As soon as Marco and others walked out, they saw Marines' exaggerated defensive lineup. 150,000 elite Marines. Vice Admiral, Rear Admiral of numerous naval headquarters. At the forefront of the lineup are the four seven warlords of the sea. Huge violent Kun Bartholomew Kuma. Beside him, there was Gecko Moria, who was laughing openly. Although this guy was a tough guy, he failed to challenge Kaido, thus embarking on a road of no return. But Gecko Moria has some strength. Special suffocation is his shadow fruit. In such a large-scale battle, it can play a big role. On the other side is the Empress, Boa Hancock, wearing a Chongsong with half of her long legs exposed in the air. However, the Queen's current heart is not on the Whitebeard Pirates. Not even in this impending battle now. Advertisement. The Empress has always been absent-minded, almost indifferent to everything that happened in front of her. Because the only purpose of her coming here is to see that adult again. So she didn't care at all about what happened in front of her. She was just waiting, waiting for the battle to develop to a fever pitch, to see if the grown-up would appear. If you can see, the queen's face could not help but turn red. But nowadays, basically no one has noticed the strangeness of the empress. The eyes of Marco and the others turned to the last of the Shichibukai. Also the strongest in the seven warlords of the sea, Hakai Mahak. Seeing Hakai, Marco's eyes sank. The rest of the seven warlords of the sea are fine. Their Whitebeard regiment can entangle them with a captain. But that eagle eye, although he is only ranked seventh in the kendo list. But Hawkeye's combat power is still not to be underestimated. After all, this is the first swordsman recognized by the world in the past. Now that he has been rewarded by the gold list, no one knows how much his strength has improved. With such a terrifying eagle eye, even Marco himself has no confidence in it. What's more, next to the execution platform. For Admiral. The hearts of everyone on the Moby Dick sank again. Everyone's eyes became cautious. The scene they are facing now is too severe. Marines' combat power is almost unprecedented. Their Whitebeard pirates are simply incomparable in terms of mid- and low-level combat power, or high-level combat power. Whitebeard, of course, knows what Marco et al. think. Tell the truth. When he saw that naval headquarters was the lineup, Whitebeard's heart was also dignified to the extreme. Because this time is too strong. Such a strong lineup, Whitebeard really did not expect. Tep is Sengoku's just announced fourth Admiral Firefox. It really caught him by surprise. It can be said that it hasn't opened yet. The morale of the Whitebeard Regiment had already been crushed. 
Marine's side has a lot of strong combat power. Advertisement. The whole Whitebeard, except him Whitebeard himself. There is no one left that can be said to be a true admiral level combat power. Although Marco and Joes are strong, they can only hold down an admiral for a while. If they were to fight together, they would not be admiral's opponents at all. Headquarters admiral, after all, is known as the existence of the highest combat power in the world. Marine now has an unprecedented four admirals. Plus Garp the Fist, Marshal Sengoku. Whitebeard's expression was extremely serious. His heart sank again and again. This operation to rescue Ace has become really difficult now. But no matter how difficult it is, Ace, he has to be saved too. Not for anything else, just because. Ace is his Whitebeard's son. And just when Whitebeard and others were dignified, Sengoku on the execution platform couldn't help laughing. Although he did not expect the Whitebeard pirates attack route. But, another tactic of Sengoku, but it played a 200% role. That was the decision just announced Namikaze Minato's promotion to Admiral. His move almost rubbed the pirate spirits very much. Maybe the many white captains aboard the Moby Dick won't do well. At most, it's a little dignified, and it won't change my mind. However, the affiliated pirates of Whitebeard. They used to follow Whitebeard only because of his strength. Today, in realizing that Marine is more powerful than ever. Although this group of pirates is not anti-water. However, tension is inevitable. It is not impossible to eat even if people panic and quarrel. Sengoku's mouth and feet twitched, and a brilliance of wisdom flashed in his eyes. Now that the morale of the Whitebeard pirates has been suppressed by him. Well, he wants to add another fire. If the Whitebeard pirates can directly cause civil unrest, then today's battle will be easy. Read this. Sengoku picks up the megaphone bug again, ready to reveal Ace's true identity. 62. Number 1 in the power list. The Night Palace. The Espada Legion. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Seeing Sengoku pick up the phone bug, everyone's expressions moved. The video phone bugs around the square also transmitted this scene synchronously. Countless people around the world can't help but get nervous. Even if it is a strong person with a lot of strength. Seeing such a large-scale battle with their own eyes, their hearts were also full of shock. And right now, Sengoku picked up the megaphone bug and looked at Ace kneeling in front of him. Ace was gritting his teeth, tears welling in his eyes. For Whitebeard to save him. Ace was moved and remorseful in her heart. The Whitebeard pirates force their way into Marine headquarters just to save him. This made Ace feel extremely warm in his heart, and dared to feel the sense of security from Father Whitebeard. But, blast the naval headquarters, how many people will this cost the Whitebeard pirates? Even Whitebeard himself was in danger. This is what Ace doesn't want to see. Watching Ace's self-blame hesitant, Sengoku smiled and was about to speak. Seeing this, Garp, who was not far away, couldn't help but look serious. Sengoku, are you really going to do this? 39. Hearing Garp's words, Sengoku nodded. Staring at Sengoku for a moment, Garp smiled. I don't care. Mainly, if those guys come to rescue Ace too, can we Marine catch it? Hearing Garp's words, Sengoku's expression changed. Of course he knew what Garp was talking about. Because he's about to expose the fact that Ace is Roger's son. But as Garp said, if Ace is Roger's son, it's exposed. So will those people on the Roger ship come to rescue Ace? Sengoku thought for a while, then shook his head. If they don't come back, even if they come, they may not be able to catch up. Take 10,000 steps back. Step by step, my marine now has four admirals who are more powerful than ever. Even if I face Whitebeard and Roger's old clan at the same time, or even another four emperor's regiment, I am confident to win. Sengoku's old face trembled, full of determination. Garp nodded, since he is not worried about Ace's safety. Then, let Sengoku do the rest. Then, under the spotlight. Sengoku's voice rang through the loudspeaker bug, resounding throughout the audience and all over the world. Portgas D. Ace, tell me, who is your father? Sengoku's solemn voice spread throughout the audience, causing an uproar when he shielded. Countless marines turned their heads in amazement. Marshal Sengoku said this at this time, what does it mean? Yeah, today isn't the execution of Fire Fist Ace, is it important to fight the Whitebeard Pirates? Why did Marshal Sengoku suddenly talk about this? Not just ordinary soldiers, even the head office vice admiral, and even admirals such as Akainu are a little curious. Advertisement. Kazaru crossed Erlang's legs and raised his eyebrows when he heard Sengoku's words. The words of Marshal Sengoku have deep meaning. 35. It seems that the identity of this fire fist ace is not simple. Akainu looked gloomy, no matter what the identity of this fire fist ace is. As long as he is a pirate, he must die here today. The lazy Aokiji raised his head and looked at the execution platform with some curiosity. Namikaze Minato had a smile on his face, looking very genial. For Ace's identity, although he is not clear. But he only needs to know that this is Sabo's brother. He only needs to save Ace's life at a critical moment. The rest has nothing to do with him. And Whitebeard aboard. 
When Marco and the others listened to Sengoku's words, their expressions froze. Ace's father. Isn't that Daddy Whitebeard? The Whitebeard ship was full of doubts. Only Whitebeard. Standing on the bow, he looked at Sengoku and Ace on the execution platform with a deep expression. Ace knelt on the execution platform and raised her head when she heard Sengoku's words. My father is Father Whitebeard. Hearing Ace's words, Whitebeard's eyes showed warmth. But Sengoku looked ugly. What he wanted to hear was not the result. Then, Sengoku asked again. Ace, I'm asking your biological father, who is he? Ace was a little crazy when asked. My father is Whitebeard and no one else. Sengoku's face became more and more ugly. He also gave up letting Ace speak for himself. Instead, Sengoku picked up the phone bug and continued to speak. Fellow Marines, people around the world. Today, I will tell you the true identity of Portgas D. Ace. Ace's eyes widened, his eyes full of resentment. He's the bloodline of that demon, he's one piece, Gal D. Roger's own son. When Sengoku said this, there was an uproar. Ace's raised head fell down, and the whole person became low and desperate. He hates that man, and countless marine soldiers stared, their eyes filled with disbelief. How can that be? Fire Fist Ace, turned out to be the son of One Piece Roger. How can that be? All were in disbelief. They were shocked to see Ace on the execution platform. Kazaru pouted, and there was a look of astonishment in his eyes. One Piece Roger's son, it's shocking. Aokiji shook his head. It turned out to be that guy's son, no wonder Marshal Sengoku. Point three five. Akainu's expression became more and more gloomy. Fire Fist Ace, turned out to be the son of One Piece Roger. Advertisement. So today, he couldn't let Ace leave naval headquarters alive. He, Akainu, Sakazuki said it. Namikaze Minato was still smiling, only a little surprised in his eyes. But that's about it. One Piece has nothing to do with him. One Piece Roger, is it strong, or some big guy? In Namikaze Minato's eyes, that's it. Compared with adults, it is too far. On the Moby Dick, listen to Sengoku reveal Ace identity. Except as Whitebeard had expected. Marco and others were also shocked physically and mentally. Jaws's eyes widened. I, Ace, he turned out to be Roger's son. Marco calmed down and was shocked, and said seriously. It doesn't matter who Ace's biological father is. He has an identity in common with us, and that is Father Whitebeard's son, our family. 99. Ace, it's our brother. Joe's nodded too. Ace, don't worry, we're here to save you. On the execution stand, Ace, who was a little weak listening to Sengoku saying this, raised his head. His eyes were full of hope and emotion. Joe's, big brother Marco. But, just when everyone was shocked by the identity of Ace, the sacred golden list in the sky trembled. The uproar in naval headquarters ceased. They looked up in amazement. Everyone watching the naval headquarters livestream also looked away. He turned his head to look at the sacred golden list. The next scene made everyone's eyes widen again. More shocking than Ace being the son of One Piece Roger. Because they saw the power list that had been silent for a long time. Zero flowers. At this moment, something changed. It seems to be releasing the first place in the power list. The rest of the nine names were all over the light. Only the unpublished number one name shone brightly. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. Their brains have forgotten everything else. Everyone looked at the sacred golden list in a trance. Number one in the power list. How long have they been waiting for this? And today, is the number one power list about to be released? Everyone asked in surprise. Now, who cares about naval headquarters? Who cares Whitebeard versus Marine? Advertisement. Everyone looked at the sacred golden list with anticipation in their eyes. And not just them. Even everyone who stood on the top of the field, at this moment, let go of all the thoughts in their hearts. They looked at the sacred golden list, and everyone was shocked. To say that the identity of Ace was exposed just now, this is a three-magnitude earthquake. So now, the gold list seems to be the first to expose the power list. In everyone's mind, this is the 18th magnitude earthquake. Even Marshal Sengoku and Whitebeard temporarily put aside the battle between the two sides. The entire naval headquarters seems to stand still. Everyone raised their heads and looked at the sacred golden list with anticipation in their eyes. New World. Wanokuni, the island of ghosts. Kaido stayed beside his daughter Yamato, laughing at the mutant power list. Kaido's eyes could not help revealing strong anticipation. Now the sea is surging. Whether it is Xiao, or Jing Lingting. Both have shown their power on the sea and told the world. Jing Lingting and Xiao are both extremely powerful beings, worthy of the name of the second and third forces. And today, is that mysterious power list number one going to be released? Kaido laughed, and for a while he couldn't take care of his daughter Yamato next to him. However, if Yamato wakes up, he will definitely be disdainful of Kaido, who is looking forward to the first place in the power list. What to expect from this? Cake Island. Today's Cake Island has shrunk in size. It's because of the battle between Zoro and Charlotte Linlin that day. The special one is Zoro, and his damage to Cake Island was too serious. Although the Charlotte family has a lot of powerful people. 
For example, the waxy glutinous fruit of Katakori, crackers biscuit fruit, and Parasparo's candy fruit. All of them can do some level of repair to the broken island. But this is an island after all. It's too difficult for them to really fix it. The big cracks almost split the entire island apart. So finally, only after Charlotte Linlin recovered a bit, he shot it himself. It was only a matter of reluctance to fill up these cracks and put the Cake Island back together again. But today's Cake Island is still in dire straits, nothing compared to what it used to be. At this time, in the castle of Cake Island, Charlotte Linlin also forgot the recent grievances for a while. He looked away from the image of naval headquarters in front of him. She looked at the power list in the sky that day and laughed. Um, I want to see what the first force in the sea looks like. At the same time, Charlotte Linlin couldn't help but think of Zoro. Her complexion became penetrating, but Charlotte Linlin agrees with Zoro's strength. Too strong. Even she had to admit that Zoro could indeed afford a strong man in the second force. And just when countless people on the sea looked up, the power list trembled. Afterwards, a line of large characters saw the appearance of the river. 63. The Shocking World. The reason why Xiao and Jinglingting are on the list. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Inside naval headquarters. The atmosphere was silent. No one spoke. Everyone's mind is completely focused on that sacred and magnificent power list. Everyone looked forward to it. This power list is number one, how long have they waited? Jing Lingting and Xiaodu, who were second and third in the power list, were as powerful. Now that the first power list is released, what kind of terrifying power is this? Everyone's eyes widened, watching nervously and expectantly. At this moment, including the five elders in the world palace. Even, the group of celestial dragons who are proud of themselves all day. They are all looking up, looking up at the sacred golden list, preparing to see what power is the first in the power list. Although many celestial dragons have some disdain in their hearts. Because they don't believe that there are forces that can be stronger than the world's government. Although they enjoy themselves all day long. But as the descendants of those 18 kings. Their hand clocks are also masters with mysterious powers. It is precisely because of this power that they can firmly control the world. Now tell them that there are actually three forces that surpass the world government. How can that be? What a joke. So many celestial dragons treat this gold list as a joke. But now that the first power list is about to be released, they are still very curious. Even, 383, in addition to them, that between the flowers. The extremely mysterious I am is watching the golden list in the sky with interest in his eyes. And in this moment of world attention, the gold bulletin shook with a bang, and then a line of brilliant golden characters slowly emerged. The first power list, Xi Palace, the king of Nether Palace, Chu Sha. Closed black lens bracket. Boom. The whole world was in an uproar. Countless people stared at this line of names with their eyes wide open. The first power list. Xi Palace. The King of Nether Palace. Chu Sha. Closed black lens bracket. Inside naval headquarters. At this time, whether it is marine or pirate. No one made an initial statement. No one broke the silence. Everyone stared and stared at the top name in the power list in disbelief. Night Palace. This is another force that they have never heard of. But, the king of the night palace, Chu Sha, boom. Naval headquarters was full of uproar. My god, are you kidding me? Chu Sha, why is this still Chu Sha? If I remember correctly, he was the leader of Jinglingting and Xiao, who was the second and third in the power list back then. Now you actually tell me that the first force, this Xi palace is also his. Everyone looked at each other in shock, their eyes full of disbelief. Advertisement. This is so shocking. It just subverted their three views. Yeah, how is that possible? One person, master, the top three forces in the ocean, my god. Is he still human? Is he a god? 35. How is it possible that there really is a god in this world? Many marine soldiers and pirates have asked themselves the history. Because what they saw was really incomprehensible. One person, at the same time, the top three forces of the master in the sea. How is this possible? On the execution stand. Marshal Sengoku's eyes were also wide-eyed. Looking at the name of the number one in the power list, looking at the king of the virtual night palace is still Chu Sha. Rao is the resourceful general Sengoku, and now his heart is empty. He really didn't know what to think about. How did that Chu Sha do it? Offstage, in the seat of Admiral, Kazaru is no longer in the mood for light-hearted jokes. The eyes under the sunglasses were already rounded, Kazaru muttered. How can that be? Aokiji Akainu on the side is not much better. The two also looked full of disbelief. But for so long. Xiao and Jing Lingting frequently take action on the sea. These two have proven that they have that strength. Through the tip of the iceberg of the strength of the two, they have been able to predict. If these two are completely exposed for the first time, then the whole sea will surely be convinced. And in this way, that Chu Sha is very likely to be that strong. One person, the master is not talking about the second and third forces. Now, this power list is number one, Xi Palace. It's still his. The bell of the crowd present. Maybe only Namikaze Minato is calmer. 
But even him. Looking at Chu Sha's brilliance again, Namikaze Minato was also a little shocked. Not to mention outsiders, even Namikaze Minato can't figure it out. Chu Sha, how exactly did this happen? Namikaze Minato used to be godless. But now, he kind of believed it. Maybe that adult is really a god, right? Namikaze Minato looked disappointed. Not far away, in the recruit camp. Kirby also looked up at the number one power list, and couldn't help but smile. The Espada group of guys, we are all captains, are they really better than them? Kirby was curious. If Espada, and their 12 captains a decent fight. Kirby is very confident that he can win. Advertisement. But in this gold list, why did the Xi Palace rank first? It stands to reason that under Chu Sha, there is no affiliation between the three forces. Unlike the Marine and the World Lord, the three powers are equal to each other. Whether it is Xiao, Jingling Court, or even Xi Palace. There will even be some frictions and fights between the three parties on weekdays. But now, why does Xi Palace take the first place without a doubt? Apart from the one or two extremely powerful beings within Akatsuki, the rest of the overall strength is not as good as the 13th division of his guardian court. This Kirby understands. But their 12 captains, including that guy Sabo, really can't compare to Espada. Kirby was dissatisfied. If this time on top of the station, if Espada comes to intervene, he must fight with it in a dignified manner. The name of the Gote 13th division was corrected with the Hirenru on his waist. The presence of Kebi and Namikaze Minato were relatively calm. The rest is full of shock. In Shichibukai, Shang closed his eyes tightly, not knowing what he was thinking. Moria looked shocked, unable to say a word for the first time. Eagle's eyes flickered, as if eager to try. The 13th division of the Jingling Court Guardian is so strong. So how strong is this virtual Knight Palace? He is really looking forward to fighting the strongest among them. Now, the few shots of the Jingling Court powerhouse have not made him eagle-eyed. I don't know how long this made Hawkeye regret. On the side is Boa Hancock, the Pirate Queen. She covered her face with frosty hands, and her eyes were full of admiration and little stars. She actually saw that adult's name again. The Empress is now like a little woman from a small family. Fortunately, everyone around was shocked at the number one power list, and no one paid attention to her. Otherwise, the Empress appearance would be noticed, and it would definitely shock many people's jaws. And just after the shock of the crowd continued for a moment. There was a sudden uproar on the Moby Dick. Point zero. Whitebeard looked at the line of small words below the top of the power list and muttered in a trance. Marco, Joes, look at the reasons for the list below the Void Knight Palace. When Marco and the others heard the words, they all looked at it curiously. This time, Whitebeard caused a stir when he shielded the ship. Marco and Joes stared, because just now, they are all paying attention to the Shuyi Palace and Chu Sha. No one is looking down. But after this reminder from Whitebeard, they all saw it. Under the name of the number one power list, this time there is a reason for it to be on the list. Everyone was shocked. The second and third in the previous power list, the gold list did not give a reason for being on the list. So that almost everyone thinks that the top three will not give a reason for the list. But this time, the power list was released first, but the gold list surprisingly gave the reason for the list. Marco and the others looked curiously. Afterwards, all of them opened their mouths in astonishment. Advertisement. Come on, are you kidding me? The man Jaws's eyes widened, and his chin had dropped to an exaggerated arc. At this time, the surrounding people also noticed the strangeness of the Whitebeard Pirates. 1 past 10, 10 past 100 under. Throughout the naval headquarters, everyone has paid attention to the reason for the list. Reason for making the list. The Espada Palace has a strict hierarchy and has an extremely powerful Espada Legion. Every Espada has an extremely powerful force, somewhere between Shinigami and Void. The Void Knight Palace can easily sweep the entire sea by itself. Close black lens bracket. Boom. Plus, between Shinigami and Void, with just one power, Xi Palace can easily sweep the entire sea. The entire naval headquarters, and even the entire sea, shook. Countless people showed horror in their eyes. Their hearts were full of unbelief. But the Golden List has already verified its authenticity. Everything that Jinbang has released today is not fake at all. Then the Xi Palace, the first in the power list, is likely to be true. But if this virtual night palace is real, then this world, on the execution stand, Sengoku looked at Garp with a bitter expression. Marine has mobilized far more troops this time than planned. That's because Sengoku is afraid of what kind of changes Akatsuki and 4.4 Jingling Court will cause. If the two get on top of each other, then Marine must be able to catch it. But now it seems, not counting Akatsuki and Jingling Court. Under Chu Sha's command, it was the Espada Legion alone. It's just that the virtual Night Palace shot, the whole world can't catch it. He Sengoku delusionally catches with Marine's strength alone. The truth is a bit delusional. Sengoku couldn't help but feel ridiculous for his own thoughts. He took people seriously and was nervously preparing here. But people don't look down on him at all. Looking at Sengoku's bitter gaze. Garp was also silent in his heart. 
he couldn't say anything to comfort his old buddy. However, at this time, Kazaru below the execution stand. He looked at the reason for Zai Palace's listing, and his heart was shocked at the same time. There was also a curiosity in Kazaru's heart. Number one in the power list, and now the reasons for the list have been announced. So what about the second and third who have yet to announce their reasons for the list? With this curiosity, Kazaru looked down. Immediately. Kazaru stood up in shock and exclaimed. F asterisk K. F asterisk K. 99. F asterisk K. 64. Chu Sha, is he Joey boy? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hearing Kazaru's repeated rants, Sengoku's expression turned ugly. You Marine Admiral, now it's blatantly lying. What a system this is. Sengoku's eyes turned towards Kazaru with a slightly unkind look. Akainu, who was beside Kazaru, also looked ashen. This Pelusolino is really a Marine Admiral. Shame on the Marine Admiral. Akainu's doe has no place to rest. But, dare to be stared at by Akainu, but Kazaru didn't answer at all. He just stood there, dazed and shocked. Aokiji and others all noticed a touch of strangeness. Although Kazaru is the lightest among them. But that's not the case, is it? Several people followed Kazaru's gaze and looked suspiciously. But after reading it, a few people still didn't find a reason. That's a gold medal, there's nothing wrong with it. This is now known to the whole sea. What is Kazaru doing so surprised? But, Sengoku et al. did not find it. Now naval headquarters has 150,000 elite marines, plus a group of pirates brought by Whitebeard. One of them was sharp-eyed, and was the first to spot the extra two lines of small characters. Naval headquarters once again caused an uproar. Quick, look at you. What are you looking? I don't know. 99. Look at the reason why Jing Lingting and Akatsuki are on the list. Countless people heard this sentence and looked up. Then, the audience was shocked again. Aokiji. F asterisk K, F asterisk K, F asterisk K. Akainu. F asterisk K, F asterisk K, F asterisk K. 39. Sengoku. F asterisk K, F asterisk K, F asterisk K. Countless people were full of shock. The second power list. Jingling court. Captain. Chusha. Close black lens bracket 20. Reason for the list. Jing Lingting has a powerful force composed of the 13th division of the Guardian, Master of Shinigami Power. There are 13 captains in it, and each captain has the power to destroy the world. And the forces of Jingling Court don't stop there. It is a complete force composed of Technology Development Bureau, Secret Mobile Team, Spiritual Arts Academy and so on. Close black lens bracket. Before, Jingling Court was only exposed by name, and Chu Sha is the captain. But now, in the original unknown column, the reasons for the list are no longer unknown. But now this line of text. Akainu and the others were full of shock. The Gote 13th Division was indeed a powerful existence attached to the Jingling Garden. And also known as Shinigami. Every captain has the power to destroy the world. Plus that what Technology Development Bureau, Spiritual Arts Academy and so on. Advertisement. Sengoku pursed his lips. His stature, Marshal Marine, couldn't help but feel a little lonely. After it was revealed that Zixiao and Jinglingting were forces that surpassed the world's official government. Marine's worldwide prestige has dwindled again and again. Now, the first virtual night palace on the power list is now in the world. The undercurrent of the entire sea was almost at its peak. Sengoku can even see, see the storm that is about to engulf the world. Zai Palace, Jingling Court, Xiao, murmured the three names. Sengoku suddenly felt powerless. It was so desperate. If there is only one power in the world's official government, that's all. But now, that turned out to be three. Still as strong. Take a look at how many people are appearing today. First, the orange village of Kokoja Island was transformed into the Kingdom of Frost. Afterwards, Garp fought with the Shuangwu of Shaoji, and was finally severely injured. And according to Garp, that Shaoji Shuangwu seemed to have not done his best when facing him. Garp was seriously injured without trying his best. If this is the best effort, do you want to match Whitebeard in his prime? Or the once overlord rocks? Sengoku was reluctant to think about it before. Because of tiredness. But now, he really had to think about it. And after that, it was Luo who appeared in Dressrosa and pinned Doflamingo to the king's heights. Even, Dover called the phone bug to the five elders at the time. But the five elders made the final decision. Abandoning Doflamingo, Marine heads to Dressrosa to wrap up. When Luo left, Admiral Candidate Mamasugi was taken away, and his life and death are still unknown. After that, Yamato and Kaido, a lunatic calling himself Kenpachi, cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm. Until now, the first power list has been released. Ace also has a brother, Sabo, who is ranked second in the Kendo list. It has now been confirmed that that person is likely to be the captain of the 13th division of the Jinglingi Guardian. Even an extremely powerful captain. And he, do not know when will come to naval headquarters. Sengoku suddenly had an impulse. He really wanted to throw this righteous cloak straight away. Don't do it, but that can only be thought. Wanokuni, the island of ghosts.
Kaido was silent for a long time as he watched the number one in the power list in the sky. A spot a core. Kaido muttered the name, and there was war in his eyes. Among them, there must be many strong ones, right? I don't know if anyone can kill him. Advertisement. But this time, perhaps it was the sensation caused by the first release of the power list, or perhaps the injury had fully recovered. Yamato, who was sleeping, suddenly woke up. Yamato looked around blankly. Yamato gritted his teeth when he saw Kaido. Bastard father, how long have I slept? Yamato sat up, clutching his aching head. Having ventured into that bullheaded form before, this was too much of a burden on her. So much so that with her physique, she was in a coma for several days before recovering. However, she did not gain anything when she entered the bull's head state. At least, she finally touched a corner of the clothes in the bullheaded state of the big mouth. Next time, if you come closer, it will definitely not be like that time again. Watching Yamato wake up, Kaido's eyes flashed with joy. But the mouth and feet are a grin. Silly son, who do you call your bastard father? Kaido silently took out the mace from his waist. Yamato showed no weakness, Zanjetsu was in the palm of his hand. The father and daughter looked at each other and did not hesitate to spell it out. Dare to accept the power from the Yamato sword, Kaido couldn't help but smile. Subsequently, the father and daughter stopped and hummed for the rest of their lives at the same time. Silly son, it seems that my teaching method really works. Looking at Yamato's strength now, Kaido is somewhat relieved. After all, Yamato's ability to be so strong has a lot to do with his stick education from childhood to adulthood. It's good that Kaido doesn't mention this. But when he heard Kaido say this, Yamato's shield was furious. Father bastard, do you want me to kill you? Kaido doesn't care about that. If you have that ability, come on. However, after Kaido finished speaking, he realized something was wrong. Because, if Yamato has mastered that bullhead pattern now, then he Kaido may really die at the hands of his stupid son. But Kaido didn't give in, how could his father give in? Yamato thought about it, and really had the urge to directly turn into a bull and hack Kaido to death. But in a blink of an eye, she saw the influence phone bug on the side. Looking at Ace on the execution platform, Yamato was taken aback. Ace, she remembers. Before, Ace broke into the island of ghosts. That's when she became friends with Ace. And it was because of Ace's break in that Yamato accidentally got close to, Hueco Mundo. Thinking of this, Yamato made a decision in his heart. Ace was her friend and she couldn't ignore it, even without looking at this. It was only because of Ace that she successfully entered, Hueco Mundo, and successfully met the adult. Because of this, she is going to save Ace Chu. While Kaido saw Yamato awake, he also asked the question that had been gathering in his heart for a long time. Silly son, who is that Chu Sha? Kaido frowned and said in a low voice. Advertisement. Is he, Joey Boy? 35. The name Chu Sha has been echoing in Kaido's mind for a long time. He also once incarnated in the form of a blue dragon and went out to find it. But for that Akatsuki and Jing Lingting, Kaido didn't find any trace at all. Now that the first power list is released, Shuhi Palace is still Chu Sha's. This made Kaido even more curious about Chu Sha. And Kaido's head is not stupid. He thought that his son Yamato was a man of jingling court. So, Kaido spontaneously wanted to find out some information here in Yamato. But hear what Kaido says. Yamato's eyes showed a touch of 387's disdain. Joy boy, he doesn't deserve to carry shoes for adults. For this long-standing legend of the sea, including Kaido for so many years, is also looking for traces of Joey Boy. But Yamato didn't really care about it. Because Joey Boy and Chu Sha are so close together, they're trash to the extreme. However, Yamato did not speak his mind. Instead, he said. Bastard father, how about a deal? 99. Kaido's expression froze. How can my stupid son learn to be smart now? Kaido nodded. What deal? Yamato looked at the screen on the side, which was naval headquarters. Go to naval headquarters with me and rescue Ace. As long as I do it, I will tell you what I know. Yamato is confident in his own strength though. But she also keenly noticed Namikaze Minato, who was sitting firmly on the seat of Admiral below the execution platform. Namikaze Minato is Akatsuki's person, and he has nothing to do with her on weekdays. Yamato wasn't sure he was going to let it go backwards. And in the recruit camp, there was a pink-haired guy that Yamato was familiar with. Yamato has also heard about that guy's dream. Therefore, it is the safest choice to bring your own bastard father. And hear Yamato's words. Kaido's eyes lit up without hesitation. Make a deal. Kaido turned into a dragon with a length of several hundred meters and left with Yamato. And at the same time. World government. The five elders were sitting or standing, and their expressions were all solemn at the moment. Everyone, this Chu Sha is actually the top three powers on the master power list. And every one of them is beyond the existence of the official government of our world. Five. This Chu Sha, who is he? A few people said a word to me, and after that, they were all silent. Today, the name Chu Sha is on their minds, almost driving them crazy. After a long time, in the silent room, one of the five elders suddenly spoke. 
Chu Sha, is he Joey Boy? 65. Bai Tuan vs. Marine, the official battle. The strongest man in the world. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. World government. In the office of the five elders. The atmosphere is depressing. Ever since the five elders asked if Chu Sha was Joey Boy. The atmosphere has been silent until now. No one spoke. Every five elders is thinking about this shocking possibility. Joey Boy, as a legend on the sea, and an important figure in the blank 100-year history. The five elders, of course, have heard of its name. Even, what the five of them know. It is possible that everyone in this sea knows a lot. Several people frowned and remained silent. Waited a long time. The mustache five elders spoke solemnly. No, that Chu Sha, unlikely to be Joey Boy. But if he's not Joey Boy, why is he so powerful? 35. The top three in the power list surpass our world government. This, I'm afraid only Joey Boy can do it. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere fell silent again. They really don't want to admit it in their hearts. But Chu Sha, there's a real chance it's Joey Boy. Because he is too strong. Everything about him is too much for Joey Boy. This made the five people involuntarily think in that direction. After a long time, the five people shook their heads and sighed. That's it. Even though he's Joey Boy, there's nothing we can do. One, two and three on the power list, all belong to him. 35. Our world's official government is no longer the overlord of the sea. 35. This five elders lamented a lifetime. They who have been in control of the world all the year round, how dare they ever suffer such a sense of powerlessness. But now, they really dared to accept it. In Chu Sha, the only thing they felt was powerlessness. Several people seemed to be no longer the five powerful five elders. It was just five ordinary old people at random. After a few sighs, they stopped discussing this topic. Because this is almost beyond their control. At this time, one of the five elders looked up, wanting to take another look at the power list. And when he saw the power list, the five elders' eyes narrowed. How is this possible? The other people frowned and looked over. What's wrong? Is there anything more shocking than that Chu Sha could be Joey Boy? The five elders said, and looked up again. But this time, he was also stunned in place. Subsequently, the five elders staged the same act. Advertisement. For a long time, the mustache five elders swallowed, his forehead covered in cold sweat. But now, he can't even remember to wipe it. It startled him. That's why Jingalingting and Xiao were on the list. Special hold as Xiao. The third power list. Xiao. Leader. Chu Sha. Closed black lens bracket. Reason for the list. Xiao has ten extremely strong men, even if not counting the leader Chu Sha, nine of them can crush the entire sea in the world. Its power is self-contained, and even Xiao is studying the nine-tailed beasts inside. If it succeeds, perhaps Uranus, the official government of the world, cannot compare with it. Close black lens bracket. Xiao is studying the nine-tailed beasts internally. If it succeeds, perhaps Uranus, the official government of the world, can't compare with it. One of the five elders read, unable to say a word. The rest of the people were the same, stunned in surprise. What did they see? Don. Inside is actually researching something comparable to Uranus. Uranus. That's an ancient weapon, and that is the ancient weapon of the only master in the world today. It is precisely because of the existence of Uranus that the celestial dragons can maintain their own rule for 800 years. But now, someone told them. Akatsuki, who is third in the power list, is actually researching some kind of tailed beast. And once it succeeds, it will be able to match Uranus, even surpass it. Five elders, you look at me, I look at you, silent for a long time. Everyone, what should we do? What can be done? Is there anything else we can do? Said one of the five elders angrily. Since the golden list came into existence, the five old fellows may have experienced major events that would never have happened in their entire lives. Yeah, what can we do? Did you send Marine to find Akatsuki and sabotage their plan? We don't have that strength. When several people heard this sentence, their faces were full of sighs. When did they five elders receive such a suffocating treatment? I think I am inferior to others. Not even the heart of resistance. What's the matter? And the five elders were shocked and powerless at the same time. Naval headquarters. The reason why Jingalingting is on the list is shocking enough. And when they saw the reason why Akatsuki was on the list. Under the execution stand, Kazaru's eyes flicked. Then he took a few deep breaths. Kazaru couldn't calm down his shock. Just kidding. That Xiao, is actually researching a power that is even more fearful than ancient weapon. What exactly is that? 35. Kazaru's eyes widened, and a shocking thought occurred to him. The same goes for Akainu and Aokiji, who are sitting next to him. Ancient weapon, as Marine Admiral they all know. Pluton is said to be an ancient warship. Advertisement. Destroy an island in one run. And Poseidon is a powerful force that can control the large sea kings. As for the more mysterious Uranus, they didn't know much about it. Uranus is simply too mysterious. But none of them doubted that it was one of the three ancient weapons. 
Even Uranus, known as the head of the three ancient weapons, must be very powerful. Powerful enough to pervert, even enough to destroy the world. Available today, Jinbang told them, what tailed beast is Akatsuki studying? And once the research is successful, it will at least be comparable to Uranus. Can even surpass. How can that be? The three of them were full of disbelief. Namikaze Minato, who was sitting beside them, smiled in his heart. Unexpectedly, their recent actions were exposed by this golden list. But what if it was exposed? Does anyone dare to do anything wrong to him? And once the study of the Nine-Tailed Beast is successful, the Ten Tails project can be launched. Until then, even if the world's official government dispatches Uranus. Then the nine of them can push the world's official government horizontally, without Chu Sha's personal shot. Thinking of this, Namikaze Minato smiled again in his heart. Sharing the worries of adults is their eternal mission. And marine admirals like Akainu couldn't hold their own shock at all. Those weak sailors were even more shocked when they looked at the golden list. Someone even started a crash. The top three forces on the power list are really too strong. They really felt a little desperate. On the execution stand. Sengoku and Garp looked at each other. The two had already sensed the shocking storm that was about to engulf the world. And naval headquarters, likely to be at the center of the storm. The eyes of the two were full of caution. Xiao, Jingling Court, Zai Palace. But thinking about this, the hearts of the two suddenly calmed down. After all, the battle with Whitebeard in front of him was the main thing. After calming down his shock, Sengoku looked at the Whitebeard pirates in front of him. No matter what happens in the future. Today, he must take Marine to take the lead against the Whitebeard pirates and destroy it. Whitebeard on the Moby Dick met Sengoku at the same time. Both know it, how the world changes, how the sea rises. These have nothing to do with them for the time being. At least today, he Whitebeard had to save Ace first. And, coming to naval headquarters today, Whitebeard had no intention of leaving alive. So how the world changes, it doesn't have much to do with him. His last wish and belief before his death, it was to rescue Ace and watch his sons escape from naval headquarters safely. Whitebeard glared with tenderness in his tiger eyes. Advertisement. Watching Sengoku, Whitebeard laughed. Backquote cool la la la. Cool la la la. 99. Sengoku. Garp, you old bastards. Are you shocked by this? Today, I want to show you something even more shocking. 35. I must save my good son today. On the execution stand. Watching Whitebeard speak, Sengoku's face was ugly. Whitebeard. The sins you have committed as a pirate are countless, and Ace is the bloodline of the Devil Roger. 5. Today. The two of you will be buried in this naval headquarters. This is what first, Marshal Marine, Sengoku said. Sengoku growled loudly and threw the megaphone away. The many pirates and Marine who heard the words of the two also turned their eyes back. Many people came back to their senses and recovered from the shock of the first release of the power list. They looked at Marine and Pirate across from them. Both sides bared their teeth when shielding, showing their ferocity as much as possible. Countless people on the sea also refocused their attention on the video phone bug. Everyone watched solemnly watching the battle at naval headquarters. No matter how turbulent the sea is, the battle in front of them is the most important and what they are most looking forward to. Everyone's eyes showed, Ho Nuo Zhao, strong expectations. They want to see Whitebeard, the world's strongest male silver, take action. I want to see how the battle between Marine and Bai Tuan will end in the end. It was the Whitebeard pirates who successfully rescued Marine and escaped from naval headquarters. It was Marine who directly destroyed the Whitebeard pirates with this unprecedented power. The uproar is revived all over the world. Everyone temporarily forgot the top three forces on the gold list that were pressing in their hearts. Leaning on a large razor, Whitebeard looked at Ace kneeling on the execution platform and laughed. Cool la la la, cool la la la, Ace, my dear son. Wait for me to save you. Whitebeard's heroic aura was released, igniting the entire Whitebeard pirates. Marco and others also shouted. Ace on the execution platform had tears in her eyes and bit her lower lip. Daddy, a smile appeared on Whitebeard's face, and hockey's crescent-shaped beard leaked out. Whitebeard slashed the big razor clump toward a pillar on the deck next to him. Then, Whitebeard clenched his fists. On his fists, there was a shocking force that was extremely terrifying. The expressions of Sengoku Garp and others changed. Subsequently, Whitebeard smashed Zhu with his fists beside him. Kaka, Kaka, the air spreads like cracks. The sea shield around naval headquarters is turbulent. Subsequently, two tsunamis as if covering the sky rose and swept in. 66. Before Aokiji shot, Kebi, Sit in the frosty sky, Hyrenmaru. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Impel down, Impelton Grand Prison. This Lee is located in the calm belt. It forms a triangle with naval headquarters and Eni's lobby. Between the three there is the Uzumaki current that can sail fast. So that if you start from naval headquarters, you want to arrive at Impel down. It only takes an hour at the earliest. And this time. The entrance to this steel prison. Blackbeard grinned and took Van Oka and the others as Shichibukai. 
The purpose of their coming here is naturally to find some partners in the Impel Down. With Blackbeard's ambition, only by coming here can he find all the partners he needs. When I saw Blackbeard and the others boarded the Marine Shield guarded by Impel Down, I became vigilant. Who? That? That is the new Seven Warlords of the Sea, Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach. Why is he here? At this time, shouldn't he face the Whitebeard Pirates at Naval Headquarters? Several Marine soldiers exclaimed. The Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Station there also noticed something was wrong. Immediately called the phone bug to Magellan. Impel down on the fourth floor, inside the director's office. Magellan was looking at the influence phone bug on the wall. Among them is the display of Naval Headquarters. Magellan is watching a tense moment and is shocked to learn that Ace is the son of One Piece. Then, the first power list was exposed. The reasons for Xi Palace, Jingalingting, and Xiao on the list are released. This once again shocked Magellan deeply. But this time, just as Magellan froze, the phone bug on his desk rang. Magellan frowned and answered the phone with some displeasure. Moses Moses. 39. No greeting. Vice Admiral from the headquarters over there hurriedly said. Magellan, Blackbeard brought people to impel down with unknown intentions. Hearing the words over there, Magellan frowned. Blackbeard. 397 He didn't just become seven warlords of the sea, he should be at naval headquarters now. Magellan had the same doubts as the average marine. However, he turned his head and looked at the first image projected by the video phone bug. Magellan's eyes narrowed. Sure enough, Blackbeard wasn't really at naval headquarters. So what is the purpose of his coming to impel down? Magellan's heart secretly raised a little something wrong. Before Magellan could say anything, the vice admiral, the headquarters over there, burst into flames and screamed for a lifetime. Ah, Blackbeard, attack impel down, is your status as seven warlords of the sea not wanting to take medicine? Naval headquarters vice admiral is not weak. Advertisement. But in front of Blackbeard, he simply couldn't see enough. No matter how he struggled, at this moment, Blackbeard couldn't break free. Blackbeard grinned, showing his jagged teeth. Thief ha 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 ha. I came to impel down, of course to attack. Can pirates and marines coexist peacefully? Seven warlords of the sea. Thief ha 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 ha. Hearing Blackbeard's words, Magellan frowned. He hurriedly called out the influence phone bug outside. The screen appears. Seeing the instant shoulder in that picture, Magellan's face changed greatly. I saw Blackbeard's group. Without hesitation, they shot at Marine who was stationed outside. Groups of Marine soldiers fell, and the clocks of Van Oka and the others did not last for half a second. Moreover, Blackbeard held the Vice Admiral in one hand with a grin on his face. Blackbeard picked up the phone bug on the Vice Admiral clock and laughed. Magellan, if you want to save him, come here yourself. 35. Thief ha 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 ha. 35. Blackbeard was never stupid. Rather smart. In the original book, the Blackbeard group was almost wiped out by Magellan. But that's because of Luffy. Luffy makes an impel down and leads Magellan away. The Blackbeards killed all the guards outside and were unable to reach Magellan. In addition, Blackbeard and others are in a hurry, and then they have to go to naval headquarters. So, Blackbeard ventured into impel down with people. Otherwise, his original plan was the same as today. Threatening the life of this naval headquarters vice admiral, Magellan himself comes to fight him for the first time. Magellan is a poisonous fruit with strong abilities. But that's only strong in that kind of enclosed space inside Impel Down. And now, all he had to do was bring in Magellan. With his Blackbeard's dark fruit, taking down Magellan is no problem. Don't look at Blackbeard laughing all day long, looking like a fool. But he was never shrewd. It has been more than 20 years since Blackbeard convinced the Whitebeard pirates, only for a dark fruit to see it for the first time. Blackbeard is definitely not simple. Listen to the blind tone from the other end of the phone bug. Watching the Blackbeard gang keep taking shots at the headquarters vice admiral. Magellan's heart was burning with anger. However, he also understood that if he went out, it would definitely have a great impact on his strength. His venom works wonders in this enclosed place inside Impel Down. But if go out, in an open place, then he's even an admiral backup. But watching that vice admiral from the headquarters was being brutally treated by Blackbeard and others. Magellan couldn't help it. After all, he was a friend who guarded Impel Down with him for a long time. Magellan couldn't turn a blind eye. After informing Deputy Commissioner Hanyabal of the Blackbeard attack, Advertisement. Magellan, bubbling with purple venom, took the elevator up. The elevator door opens. Magellan bursts out in anger. A purple poisonous dragon attacked Blackbeard's group. But Blackbeard was ready. Dark fruit ability activates. The headquarters vice admiral was pinched to death in an instant. Blackbeard laughed at Magellan. The truth was as Blackbeard expected. Magellan's venom ability does wonders for re-enclosed places. And once in this empty place now, Magellan's strength has been greatly reduced. With Blackbeard's stable admiral level combat power, plus the help of Van Oka and others. It didn't take long for Magellan's figure to fall directly to the ground. But Blackbeard didn't kill him, but gave him a choice. Magellan, your strength is good, and you are too wrong to be in this dark impel down Kai all day long. 
Don't you want to conquer this sea? I, Blackbeard, give you a choice. After we first arrive, if you agree to join, then everything will be fine. If you don't agree, then you can go into the sea to feed the fish. Demon fruit power into the sea, you know the consequences. Thief ha 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 ha. Blackbeard laughed and turned to lead the man into Impel Down. Magellan's breath was weak, and he looked at the backs of Blackbeard and took out a phone bug. The phone worm rang twice and was connected by Sengoku over there. Stand on the execution stand. Sengoku was looking at Whitebeard with an ugly face. At this time, the phone bug in his arms rang. Sengoku picked up the phone bug, and Sengyin spoke in a low voice. Moses Moses. I am Sengoku. Sengoku's voice fell, and Magellan's weak voice came from there. Marshal Sengoku, I'm Magellan. There's something wrong with Impel Down. When Sengoku heard Magellan's words, his brows trembled. What did you say? What happened to Impel Down? Sengoku's tone was tense. Now naval headquarters and Whitebeard battle. If there is an accident on the Impel Down side, naval headquarters will not be able to draw any reinforcements. At least after defeating most of the Whitebeard pirates' force, Sengoku will have the energy to send reinforcements. As for now, Sengoku shook his head, he just hoped it wasn't a big deal. But in the end it backfired, Magellan sighed and said. Marshal Sengoku, seven warlords of the sea, Blackbeard attacking Impel Down, don't know what his purpose is. I have lost my fighting power, and once Impel Down falls, the consequences will be unimaginable. Magellan's words fell, and the phone worm stopped breathing. Magellan, what did you say? Blackbeard offense Impel Down. This guy, advertisement. Anyway, you're going to stand up, do you hear? Anyway, keep the Impel Down and give me three hours. In three hours, I will send Admiral for reinforcements. Sengoku said in a condensed voice. On the naval headquarters side, there is no way to draw combat power now. Impel Down there nodded and didn't say much. He also knew how dire the situation at naval headquarters was right now. But at this time, Magellan, who was on the ground, kicked his eyes. He saw the sky in the distance, and there were two figures in white flying towards this side. Yes, he read it right. That is fly, not moonwalk or anything. After seeing the two figures clearly, Magellan opened his eyes again. Marshal Sengoku, Impel Down I may really be unable to hold. When Magellan said this, the sound disappeared suddenly. Sengoku held a blind phone bug, his face froze. But. How about Impel Down, he really can't control it. Now the naval headquarters side is the most important. Two devastating tsunamis swept towards Marineford. The surrounding seas are shaking violently under Whitebeard's shocking force. Countless marine soldiers looked up, their eyes full of shock. Are you kidding me? As that, tsunami, shadows loomed, and naval headquarters seemed to suddenly become dark. Two tsunamis as high as 100 meters swept towards naval headquarters. No doubt, if these two tsunamis were really suppressed, naval headquarters would be destroyed in an instant. Although the Whitebeard pirates will also lose a lot. But the damage to naval headquarters must have been worse. Countless marine soldiers would simply be washed away and then drowned. Thinking of this, countless people shuddered. Sengoku's expression on the execution platform was also a little shocked. But he wasn't too worried. Whitebeard's trick may be one size fits all for others. But what about marine? Some are not enough. Aokiji, one of the four admirals, was still sitting below. As long as he makes a move, it is not a problem to freeze the entire sea in an instant. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help but look at Aokiji. Aokiji also nodded, signaling Sengoku to rest assured. But, but no one found out. In the recruit camp at the forefront of the lineup. However, there was a figure with pink hair, slowly stepping forward. He held the long knife around his waist with one hand and raised his head slightly. A smile appeared in Kirby's eyes. Whitebeard, don't underestimate Marine. Sit on the frosty sky, Hirenmaru. 67. This should be an admiral. You tell me this is just a recruit. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this moment. On both sides of Marineford, two tsunamis were about to sweep. The two tsunamis caused by Whitebeard eclipsed the sun. Countless Marine soldiers looked up, and their eyes were full of shock. In the eyes of these ordinary sailors, the sea earthquake caused by Whitebeard was truly the level of destruction. Many marine soldiers stared, their minds blank. Am I wrong? Are people really that strong? Is this the power of the New World Four Emperors? There are elite marines who have been summoned from the Grand Line, and even the Four Seas, muttering questions. They had encountered the strongest pirates before, but they only offered a reward of 400 million to 500 million. Four Emperors level figures like Whitebeard, that is really never seen. Now I see this scene in front of me. I don't know how many Sela's hearts were hit. No matter how shocking this was, it had already subverted all their three views. And in a shocking ordinary marine. Inside the recruiting camp, Kirby looked at the two tsunamis with a calm expression. Even, his eyes are eager to try. Kirby had taken several steps forward. Some elite recruits who knew him could not help but speak. Kirby, what are you doing? 35. That's Whitebeard, get back, don't be noticed by the Whitebeard pirates. 
Otherwise, you will be called later, and you are likely to be targeted by their people. A burly man spoke to Kirby. All of them are brothers in the recruit camp. So the guy didn't want to see Kirby doing something stupid. But Kirby turned a deaf ear and kept walking forward. In this naval headquarters where time seems to stand still. Kirby has almost become a special scenery line. Kebby, come back soon. Are you going to fight now? Don't be silly, Kirby, I know you're strong. 99. But in this middle level field, don't do stupid things. Some recruit camp marines who knew Kirby also spoke up. We were all brothers, and they really didn't want to see Kirby as the first marine to die in this battle. But, there is hustle and bustle all around. Kirby remained silent. He was still walking forward, out of tune with all the people around him who were standing there. On the execution stand, Sengoku swept his gaze and saw Kirby's figure as well. Really again, everyone stood there, and no one moved. Even on the pirate side, no one moved. Everyone was watching how Marine would pick up the Whitebeard Pirate's blow. But, just under this silence, Kirby moved. He walked forward step by step, ignoring everything around him. Healthy, more and more people are taking notice of Kirby. Some veterans could not help but be full of ridicule. They could probably imagine what Kirby was thinking at the moment. A recruit, in this level of standing, the ignorant is fearless. Advertisement. Do you want to express yourself well and be looked down upon by Marshal Sengoku? So as to quickly improve and get closer to the sight of Admiral and the Marshal. However, is it that simple? In their hearts, Kebby's behavior is courting death. Wait until the war begins. There will definitely be someone on the Whitebeard Pirates looking after Kirby. Keep an eye on the pushy guy he is. Admiral's seat in front of the execution stand. Akainu also noticed Kirby. For this opportunistic, come attention grabbing way. Akainu has always hated it. Akainu's face suddenly darkened. Ignorant recruit. Akainu whispered. Kazaru raised his eyebrows and pouted. Yo yo. What a great recruit. Sakazuki. He has a bit of your style back then. Kazaru said, and looked at Akainu jokingly. Akainu's face was ashen. Kazaru was just mocking him. He Akainu was strong back then, and of course he was qualified to be the first to rush over any situation. But what about the pink-haired recruit? Simply stupid. Seeing that the two of them didn't care about Kebi. Namikaze Minato on the side showed a grinning smile. Underestimate Kirby, even if he faced Kirby. If you want to win with medicine, you also need to show all your strength. AJ. Namikaze Minato smiled. He wanted to see Akainu's expression later. That must be wonderful. Kazaru also saw Minato's smile and raised his eyebrows. Minato, you said what I said, right? Back then, Sakazuki was the first to rush to anything. Namikaze Minato nodded and smiled without saying a word. Aokiji of the four had a calm face. Since the recruit wants to be in the limelight, give him a chance to speak. Anyway, he is not in a hurry, he can freeze at any time with these two tsunamis. Everyone's attention was focused on Kebi's body for a while. Sengoku and Garp were somewhat relieved. Marine, how long has it been since such a promising seedling appeared? Still a recruit. The two of them made a decision in their hearts, and then they must train Kebi well. And the pirate side. The Whitebeards also noticed Kirby. A group of small and medium-sized pirates sneered. A recruit. Want to make a splash. Looking in the wrong place. Many pirates even laughed. Some laughter is born. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard and others are also smiling. Advertisement. No one is wary of Kebi as a recruit. Everyone was watching his jokes. But, facing the monstrous tsunami shrouded around naval headquarters, Kirby smiled faintly, then raised his head. Pirates, don't underestimate Marine. 35. Sit on the frosty sky, higher in Maru. Kirby's faint words resounded loudly. Everyone's expressions were stunned, and some did not respond. And right now, the Rayatsu around Kirby suddenly erupted. Marine recruits' robes were blowing wildly. From the Zanpakuto of the Kebi hand clock, an extremely cold air suddenly burst out. When the cold shield swept around the station, it hit the tsunami that was hundreds of meters high. Kirby stepped on the ground. The ground beneath his feet suddenly spread cold. Then, Kirby's figure flashed into the air at naval headquarters. Hyrenmaru was pulled out by it. Frost appeared on Kirby's face. The fearful cold air spread, sweeping towards the two tsunamis. Instant shoulder. The shocking tsunami that had enveloped naval headquarters and was about to swept down was directly frozen into flickering ice crystals. And, the cold air spread rapidly. The moon-shaped port in naval headquarters was frozen into a thick layer of ice in an instant. All silence. Until Kirby finished all this and landed at the forefront of Oak Square again. Everyone still didn't respond. Aokiji, who was about to rush out, froze the tsunami and stopped in his seat. His eyes widened, and he was shocked when he saw Kirby. Akainu's face is also extremely exaggerated, and his eyes are full of disbelief. Kazaru was even more surprised. With your mouth open, you can almost swallow two eggs. Under the sunglasses, his eyes shrank, his face full of disbelief. Zero flowers. The entire naval headquarters was silent. Even the whole world was silent for two seconds. Then, a shocking uproar spread from all over the world. 
My god, what did I see? Is that pink-haired sailor the legendary Marine Admiral Aokiji? Nonsense, of course not. Marine Admiral Aokiji, he's clearly sitting in front of the execution stand. 35. I go. Then who is this sailor? In the whole sea, in addition to Marine Admiral Aokiji, there are people who can freeze the whole sea in an instant. 35. How is this possible? 35. Is he also a frozen fruit ability? I'm going. Marine is secretly holding back a shocking birthday. It's too scary. My god, an ordinary sailor, you told me he froze the whole sea in an instant. Tell me to lie to a ghost. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes today. Yeah, I don't believe it either. A hustle and bustle all over the world. Two shocking tsunamis froze on Kirby's shoulders. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes. Otherwise, no one would believe this outrageous news. Advertisement. Point zero zero. In particular, Marine Admiral Aokiji was clearly sitting there. And, now even he is full of astonishment, completely unclear why. So this must not be a secret shot by Aokiji. Well, this is all the strength of that ordinary sailor. Oh my god, a shocking article all over the world, and everyone's expressions are full of consternation. And inside naval headquarters, the silence continued. Silence, long silence, compared to the people who watched this scene while sitting on the screen. They put themselves in their shoes and saw it with their own eyes. The shock brought by this is far from being compared with each other. Compared to the people behind the screen, Kebby's move just now really shocked them deeply. Even many people are now numb to the whole brain. Without it, it would be amazing. For a long time. Only someone took a sip of saliva. The recruit who advised Kebby earlier muttered. I am not wrong, right? Several people around did not respond. As they have been with Kirby for so long, they knew that Kirby was strong, and could even be called a geek. But that was only in their recruiting camp. But who can know? The power that Kirby has shown. It's not a strange thing to describe, is it? This is such a weird one. It's the whole Marine's fault. As powerful as Marine Admiral, several of Kirby's companions in the recruit camp were shocked and didn't know what to say. And under the punishment stand, Akainu's face was shocked to ultimate. Just now, he also mocked the recruit. Now it's. Although Namikaze Minato and Aokiji next to him didn't look at him. But Akainu already felt, an old face of his own has been beaten. It's literally 120 decibels up. And Kazaru is similar. He was also mocking just now, and he didn't care about Kebi at all. But now, the face is coming. Kazaru just felt that there was no place to put an old face anywhere. Fortunately, he is thick-skinned. Akainu relied on that tough justice to suppress the suffocation in his heart. And this time, Sengoku and others on the execution platform were also shocked. Garp's eyes widened. Sengoku muttered, you tell me it's just recruit. 99. This should be an admiral. Chuan. 68. Zoro is coming to impel down. Magellan. I can't hold it anymore. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Sengoku murmured. Garp nodded in agreement. This, really should be Admiral. Ace kneeling on the side also shocked Ultimate. Who would have thought that the case of Kebi, an ordinary sailor, would have such a terrifying combat power? This is almost equivalent to the second Aokiji right. Thinking of this, the face of Ace kneeling on the execution platform became more and more sad. The Whitebeard pirates came to rescue him. How many people did it cost? Ace had tears in his eyes and clenched his teeth. And the Shichibukai at the forefront of the lineup. Empress Boa Hancock didn't care much about the scene in front of her. She is here for only one purpose. But others are different. At this moment, even Hawkeye shrank his eyes and stared at Kebi, who was standing not far in front of them. Moria's spirit trembled. Tebi was daring to be exposed to the bone-chilling coldness that Zekebi was still showing. Moria was dying. He was still going to touch the fish before, and this war is over. But now it seems, he's still playing hard. Marine silently held back Marine Admiral's arrival. Now give him an Admiral-level combat power. Moria really didn't feel that there was anything wrong, let alone having the slightest idea of her own. And at the same time as a shocking article in Naval Headquarters. The World Palace, inside the office of the Five Elders. Five people, you look at me, I look at you, a silence. This, this is just Marine recruit. Five Elders looked shocked. I propose that this Marine be immediately promoted to Marine Admiral. Now the situation in the sea is turbulent, this is a good opportunity to win over Jingling Court. Several people listened and nodded. Seconded. Second. 20. Naval Headquarters. Sengoku on the execution stand picks up the phone bug from the Five Elders. Then, Sengoku's face changed. Yes, Lord Five Elders, rest assured. Garp's eyes came over suspiciously. There was a hint of joy between Sengoku's eyebrows. He actually heard it just now. The Five Elders who have always suppressed Marine's development. He even proposed to promote Kebi directly to Admiral. But Sengoku can roughly guess what the Five Elders are thinking. After all, the situation in the sea is too severe now. Maybe they can only do this, to win over Jingalingting, Xiao, and the most mysterious Zai Palace. 
Whenever there is a chance, they should not let it go. Slightly calmed down and shocked, Sengoku picked up the megaphone again, looked straight, and said. Marines, as marshal, I read the order of the five elders. The marine soldiers in the audience all looked over. Advertisement. Even pirates are no exception. Doubt appeared in everyone's eyes. The four admiral looked different. Aokiji was a little surprised. Kazaru is a lifelong silent. He was afraid of being slapped in the face again. Akainu, on the other hand, has a livid face. He can probably guess what the order from the five elders is, it must be an exceptional promotion of this Kirby. Most likely, it was promoted to naval headquarters vice admiral. Thinking of this, Akainu's face became more and more ugly. Naval headquarters vice admiral, this is how many qualifications it takes to be promoted. Thinking of his Akainu, he also trained for five or six years before becoming the vice admiral of the headquarters. As for admiral, it was even longer. However, now a sailor can be directly promoted to the vice admiral of the ministry. Just when Akainu looked unhappy and everyone on the scene looked puzzled. Sengoku's voice fell steadily. Five elders order, recruit Kebi is exceptionally promoted to Marine's fifth admiral, the order will take effect immediately. 99. Sengoku's voice fell. Everyone in the audience looked surprised. Akainu's eyes were staring straight at the first time. He never thought of it. The order of the five elders turned out to be to directly promote Kirby to admiral of headquarters. That's admiral. How many years did he take Akainu to take the seat? But now, Kirby just showed his strength and became an admiral. Is Marine Admiral kidding? Akainu stood up in anger, lava gushing out. Seeing this, Kazaru couldn't help holding Akainu down. Sakazuki, this is the order of the five elders. Five. The pirates are still watching, don't do stupid things. Kazaru was surprised but understandable that Kirby was directly promoted to admiral. After all, Marine and the world's official government are very powerful now. Kirby shows shocking strength, then he will definitely be valued, there is no doubt. Akainu's face was blue and purple, and in the end he couldn't hold back. Namikaze Minato was previously promoted to admiral in an exceptional manner, which has already made him unhappy. Now, Kirby can also be promoted to admiral by a new recruit. This made Akainu completely unbearable and broke out directly. But, on the execution platform, Sengoku's eyes came to him. Sakazuki, you are fighting against pirates now, what are you doing? 99. What's the matter? Wait until after this battle, don't let the world see our marines jokes. 35. Watching Akainu stand up, Sengoku doesn't have to think about it to know what this Akainu is thinking. So he spoke mercilessly. What else could Akainu say? However, Akainu was also calmed down by Sengoku's words. After all, the most important thing in front of you is to fight the Whitebeard Pirates. Kebi, who was at the forefront of Marine's lineup, was also taken aback when he heard the order. His dream was to join Marine and become an admiral. Unexpectedly, this dream came true so easily. Advertisement. Kirby smiled, although he couldn't stay in the Marine for long. But in this battle, he will use the identity of Marine Admiral to destroy the Whitebeard Pirates. The Marines were stunned for a few seconds after listening to Sengoku's order. Then, inside Marine, a shocking sensation broke out. Marine used to have only three admirals. Available today. Two new admirals. Then in this battle, they Marine will definitely win. Countless Marine soldiers raised their arms and shouted Kirby's name. Tebi is the comrades in Kirby's recruit camp. One by one they looked excited and shouted Kirby's name. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard's face sank again at this scene. The situation in front of them was simply too unfavorable for them. Marco and others also know that they can't delay any longer. Several people raised their arms in order to attack. The battle of the top, a complete outbreak. At the same time when the top station is on the field. Impel down, Impelton. Blackbeard and others have been in for a long time. And Magellan's eyes were still wide open, trying to see the two white figures in the sky. At this time, the two white figures seemed to have a direction, and then came towards this side. After a while, two figures descended on Impel Down and smashed in front of Magellan. It was two figures in white Captain Yori with long swords on their waists. One of them, the hand clock, holds a serrated handle of Zanpakuto. With his left eye closed, a green algae head dazzled in the sun. The other has a big red nose, like a clown. However, there is also a long sword attached to his waist. Behind the two is one with eleven written and the other written with twelve. Looking at these two figures, Magellan's eyes suddenly tightened. Although he was in the dark Impel Down. But Magellan is the director. As for the two major forces that caused the turbulent sea, Jing Lingting and Akatsuki. Magellan has also heard about it. Akatsuki's members are wearing red cloud trench coats with black background. The jingling court strong man is wearing a long white coat. And, Magellan contrasts the two guys. Magellan's eyes narrowed again when he saw Zoro. Quote dot 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 quote. Magellan thought about the Cake Island not long ago. Boom. Magellan's brain roared. Formerly the Blackbeard Pirates. Then there is this lunatic who cut off the arm of four emperors Charlotte Linlin. Magellan was shocked and didn't know what to do. Besides, 
This time, I didn't know that green algae-headed lunatic. There was another person he didn't know. Advertisement. But just by looking at it, he must also be the captain of the 13th Division of the Guardian. Dot 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 dot. Magellan looked shocked, stunned in place for a long time. The people from the 13th Division of Gote, what are you doing here at Impel Down? Just when Magellan was upset, Zoro turned to look at him. Hey, do you know how naval headquarters goes? He and Buggy were going to naval headquarters. But after reaching this point, there is no 403 direction at all. When the two saw a building, they came down and asked for directions. But Magellan didn't answer. Buggy looked at Magellan's figure, and then looked at the surrounding buildings. His expression was taken aback. This Lee is, impel down. Buggy's face changed. He was also a pirate captain before stumbled upon, Hueco Mundo. However, his pirate group was besieged by Marine, and in the end he was the only one who escaped. After that, he accidentally entered, Hueco Mundo, and joined Jingling Court. Buggy was moved when he saw Impel Down and his face shielded. All the crew members he used to be in this Impel Down. Thinking of this, Buggy looked at Zoro. You wait for me for a while. This is Impel Down, and I'm going to rescue my former partner. 39. Although I can no longer be their captain, I can count as my captain to do the last thing for them. Hearing Buggy's words, Zoro raised an eyebrow. Red Nose, is there any strong person under this? He is only interested in the strong. Zoro has no interest in saving people or anything. When Buggy heard Zoro's words, he hurriedly shook his head. Eternal Hell certainly has strong men in custody. However, he didn't feel like making Zoro any more trouble. No, there is absolutely no strong person under Impel Down. You are waiting for me here, I will come back after saving my former partner. Zoro nodded, his face full of impatience. Come on, Red Nose. Give you ten minutes. If you don't come here for the first time, I'll leave first. Buggy nodded, turned quickly and entered Impel Down. But just when he rescued his former partner, Impel Down outside. Zoro's expression froze. It seemed that he dared to receive, this Impel Down, there seemed to be some kind of sensation. Is someone fighting? Zoro raised his brows with interest in his eyes. Subsequently, Zoro completely forgot about Buggy's words and went into Impel Down with his jagged Zanpakuto. Watching the figure disappear in front of him, Magellan dared to exhale. But, Magellan's expression changed drastically again, and he called the phone bug to naval headquarters. 69. The inferior Whitebeard Pirates, Bista and Little Oz joined the battle to the top. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Poor. Poor. Taking out the ringing phone bug in his arms, Sengoku frowned. Magellan, I can send reinforcements to you in as little as an hour. You hold on, don't rush. Sengoku spoke impatiently. He really can't get away from here. After Sengoku finished speaking, he planned to hang up the phone. But over there, Magellan didn't care about Sengoku's words at all. He murmured, Marshal Sengoku, impel down, I might really be on the fence. Sengoku frowned, Magellan, what did you say? I tell you, if you use your life, you have to hold me for an hour. In just one hour, I will definitely send combat power to reinforce you. The situation here is not good, you must. But before Sengoku finished speaking, Marshal Sengoku, Gote 13th Division, the guy who cut off the arm of four emperors Charlotte Linlin, here comes Impel Down. 39. He just entered, and I can't stop him, and I can't stop him. Hearing Magellan's words, Sengoku suddenly froze in place. He didn't even bother to take care of everything in front of him. In Sengoku's mind, only Magellan's words remained. Garp, who was beside him, was keenly aware of Sengoku's mistake, and came to him and asked. Sengoku, what's wrong? What's making you so nervous, this guy? Hanging up the phone bug, Sengoku swallowed. Then he calmed down a little, looked at Garp and murmured. The Blackbeards attacked Impel Down and beat Magellan seriously. Garp's expression changed, and disgust appeared in his eyes. Blackbeard, I knew that guy wasn't a good thing. For this betrayal of the Whitebeard pirates, slaughter his comrades. And also Blackbeard captured by Ace, Garp can't wait to kill him directly. However, Sengoku's voice changed. But that's not what I want to say. What I'm trying to say is. 35. The maniac who cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm went to Impel Down. 35. And he's not the only one, the other captain of the 13th Division of the Guardian, also went in together. What? Garp's voice raised several degrees. Sengoku, what did you say? What are the 13th Division of Gote doing at Impel Down? He thought Blackbeard went to Impel Down, which was bad news. Did not expect. More news to come. Sengoku shook his head. Who knows what the Gote 13th Division is doing at Impel Down? However, we have no combat power at all right now. 35. Advertisement. Even if we're here for the first time, facing the two captains of the 13th Division of the Guardian, we. Sengoku didn't finish his words, but his meaning had already been made clear. Garp nodded heavily. Yes, if it's just Blackbeard, they Marine still have a handle on it. But the Gote 13th Division. 
Still two captains. Their marine battle strength is all together. I am afraid that they may not be able to win. The two of them looked ugly. But after thinking about it, Garp suddenly smiled. Sengoku, let's start the battle in front of you. 99. At least, it's not all bad news. 55. The 13th Division of the Guardian has always done things according to common sense. What do you think it would be like if Blackbeard went up against him? 35. Hearing Garp's words, Sengoku's expression changed. You mean, Garp nodded. It's a blessing, not a disaster, it's a disaster that can't be avoided. We can only think about other things when we start the battle at hand. Sengoku nodded, agreeing with what Garp said. Subsequently, the two turned their eyes to the station in front of them. Impel down, although good news came one after another. But now the top station is in good shape for Marine. Looking forward, Sengoku was somewhat satisfied. At the same time, he was also shocked that Kebi could have such strength. In his eyes, and in the eyes of many Marine soldiers, Shichibukai. Kirby was like a powerful god of war, and with the strength of one person, he blocked the attack of the Whitebeard pirates. The pirates under Whitebeard hadn't started yet. But many captains of the Whitebeard regiment have already taken action. Marco and Joes took the lead, and rushed out with a group of captains, ready to tear the field apart. Only, Marco and Joes had just rushed in front of Kirby when they were blocked by him. Marco was enveloped in green flames, and his feet turned into sharp claws to grab at Kirby. Half of Jaws's body has been turned into a hard diamond, and he is rushing towards Kirby. However, the two strikes just arrived in front of Kebi. Kirby's mouth and feet are twisted. It's good to come. Higher in Maru. Kirby shouted all his life. Its hand clock, Zanpakuto, suddenly released a chill. The coldness spread very fast. In an instant, a wall of ice rose in front of Kirby. The figures of Marco and Joes collided, and their shoulders didn't collide for a moment. The two were stunned. Why is this ice so hard? Joes was a little surprised. This ice wall is almost harder than Marine Admiral Aokiji's. Marco frowned, and his claws smashed the ice wall in front of him frantically. Advertisement. Aokiji, who was under the execution stand in the distance, raised his brows when he saw this. It is also a strong person who uses ice-type abilities. Aokiji understands better than others how terrifying the chill released from Kebi's body is. The temperature of the cold air was almost lower than his. This also means that the ice produced is even more dangerous. Aokiji couldn't help but doubt himself. Isn't he a frozen fruit capable of spontaneous combustion? It should be the strongest among the ice devil fruits. Why now? This Kebi's ice-type ability seems to be stronger than his own. Aokiji doubted that he had eaten a fake frozen fruit. And the front. Marco and Joe spent a lot of time trying to break Kirby's ice wall. The two punched and clawed at Kebi again. Crystal over the blow just now. They are very clear. In front of this newly promoted 5th Marine Admiral, he is definitely a strong man. At least, his strength must be worthy of the position of Admiral. The two of them were not careless, and this blow attached all their strength. However, Kebi was still calm in the face of the two's hits. He looked at the two. First, the long knife of the hand clock waved towards Marco. An ice dragon rushed out from in front of Kebi and roared at Marco. Boom. The phoenix incarnation of Marco was blown away in an instant, and the whole person struggled with the ice dragon, unable to escape. Looking at this scene, all the pirates of the Whitebeard pirates were shocked. Captain Marco. Captain Marco was knocked into the air by him. And Captain Joes. The two captains are now no match for the new Marine Admiral, how strong is he? 35. A group of pirates asked in shock. However, what responded to them was Kirby's initial strikes against Joes one after another. Boom. Boom. Even if Joes has a diamond fruit, his whole body is extremely hard. But now he was also beaten back and forth by Kebi, and his face was pale and ugly. A touch of frost was attached to Jaws's body, and his mouth was about to be frozen purple. Jaws's heart at this time. Dealing with this Kebi is almost harder than dealing with Aokiji. Dare to endure the cold air, his actions were greatly affected. And just when Marco solved the ice dragon and rejoined the battle group. The chill around Joes had accumulated to the extreme. Kirby smiled faintly. Subsequently, Joes was frozen by Kirby when he was shielded, and could no longer move. Looking at this scene, Marco's face was ugly. Fortunately, he has green flames, which can be dispelled less when facing Kebi. 18. For a time, Marco had to use all his strength to barely hold Kebi. Looking at this scene, the morale of the pirates fell again. Whitebeard frowned as he stood on the Moby Dick. Advertisement. He really didn't expect that it would be so difficult to rescue Ace at naval headquarters this time. Originally in his mind, although it is difficult to meet Ace, it is a life and death situation. Even he, Whitebeard, didn't plan to go back alive. But now, it's not a question of whether Whitebeard can come back alive. It's not even a question of whether Ace can be rescued. It's a question of whether he will completely destroy the Whitebeard pirates here. Thinking of this, Whitebeard's face became more and more ugly. The hand holding the big razor Kong Yunchi also trembled. Whitebeard, somewhat reluctant. Some are happy and some are sad. 
Whitebeard had a sad face here. But on Sengoku's side, they were extremely happy. He had no idea that this time against the Whitebeard pirates would go so smoothly. The four admiral hadn't even started, and even the marines, except for Kobe, hadn't even started. But Kirby alone has crushed the morale of the Whitebeard pirates over and over again. Look at the big captains under Whitebeard. All of them were full of sad faces, frowning tightly. Sengoku was simply in a good mood. And the four admiral who were sitting under the execution platform also moved their faces. Several people are lamenting the power of Kirby. At this time, Kai, what's Zhao, dog looked at Yoja who was frozen by Kebi, and his heart couldn't help but move. Just when Kirby played against Marco and Joe's alone. Akainu suddenly disappeared from under the execution stand. Backquote great eruption. Akainu's body was steaming with high temperature magma, and he blasted away at Joe's, who was frozen by Kirby. If he hits this blow, Joe's will at least be seriously injured. It is even possible that Akainu's blow will directly end it. Akainu had a sneer in his eyes. As long as he tackles Diamond Joe's. Then this is bound to be another word for the morale of the Whitebeard Pirates. Boom. Akainu succeeded with a magma punch. The ice cubes around Joe's dissipated and were evaporated by the high temperature magma. However, while breaking free from bondage, Joe's also spit out a mouthful of blood on the first day of the first year. Wow. Joe's took a few steps back, clutching his chest buckle. The whole person knelt on one knee on the ground, his face pale. Marco's face changed greatly when he saw this. Whitebeard on the Moby Dick is also holding a big razor and wants to join the Pong. If he doesn't play again, then Joe's must be beaten to death by Akainu in front of him. However, that was when Akainu was going to attack Joe's again and was about to kill him directly. On the two frozen tsunamis in the sky, there was a lifetime of roars. Akainu, I'm going to kill you. Years. Then, the shadowy figure came down. Little Oz, Bistarga, you are coming to the station. 70. Let's roar, God's condemnation. Shocked white group. Little Oz, you are so strong. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. A tall figure descended. It was nearly 40 meters high, like a giant clan, and smashed into the ice in front of Oak Square. The entire ice layer trembled. Then, the figure of Little Oz appeared in front of everyone. Little Oz stood in front of Joe's, facing Marine Admiral Akainu. Little Oz wore a straw hat on his forehead and looked extremely angry when he saw Akainu showing his fangs. Anyone from the Whitebeard Pirates is his Little Oz family. But this Akainu was going to kill Joe's just now. He will never forgive. Seeing Little Oz appear, Ace's eyes also shrank. Little Oz. He couldn't help thinking about everything between the two. Tears streamed down Ace's eyes. So many people come to save him, it's not worth it. How many people will the Whitebeard Pirates have to die? Ace was powerless and full of grief. Joe's, who was guarded by Little Oz, stared wide. Little Oz, you are still alive. Joe's was full of surprise and joy at the same time. Little Oz is still alive, so what about Bista? Although Bista was ranked fifth in the Kendo list, after all they had not seen anyone, they were still very worried about him. Seeing that Little Oz is intact now, is there nothing wrong with Bista? Hearing Jaws's words, the anger on Little Oz's face subsided slightly. With a simple and honest smile on his face, he looked back at the Moby Dick. Dad, we're back. Joe's turned back suddenly and looked at the Moby Dick. Afterwards, many members of the Whitebeard Pirates showed smiles on their faces. Because they saw, a man in a floral shirt and a straw hat landed beside Whitebeard. Bista, with two long swords slung on his waist, first looked at Whitebeard. Dad, we're back. Whitebeard turned his head. Until he saw Bista's figure. Whitebeard shuddered, then laughed. Cool la la la, cool la la la. Bista 407, it would be nice if you and Little Oz could come back. Bista nodded and turned to look at Marco Joes and others. We're back to save Ace. Bistana's dull voice resounded throughout the audience. Naval headquarters was silent. Hearing Bista's words, Ace, who was kneeling on the execution platform, widened his eyes. Bista, Little Oz, you, you, Ace was moved to the extreme. However, the Whitebeard pirates are still in danger right now facing the naval headquarters. Ace didn't say much, his eyes were full of moving. At this time, Ace's eyes widened. Be careful Little Oz. Marco turned his head when he heard the sound, and then his expression changed. A shadow spear suddenly shot out, stabbing at Little Oz. Moria's laughter remembered. Advertisement. Cough he he he. Little Oz, do you want to be reunited with your ancestors? 35. The greed in Moria's eyes was hard to contain when she saw Little Oz. The clock in his hand has the former devil Oz. But that Oz is a corpse, unable to exert the strongest combat power of his shadow fruit. If he can get the body of this Little Oz, then it will definitely bring him super strength. Thinking of this, Moria couldn't help it. So, when others were shocked by the appearance of Little Oz and Bista. He's out. The sharp shadow spear pierced Little Oz very well. The expressions of the people around them changed. Little Oz also heard Ace's exclamation of grief and indignation. However, he turned his head. 
After seeing the shadow gun stabbing at him, Little Oz smiled disdainfully. Moria, Little Oz grabbed the shadow gun in front of him with one hand. Then, the shadow gun was firmly grasped by Little Oz. Under everyone's eyes, Kai, Little Oz held his hand. Moria let out a scream at the beginning of the shield. Ah 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 ah. Stop it. Ah 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 ah. Little Oz gave Moria a dismissive glance. On your strength, are you still attacking me? Little Oz shook his hand. Moria was directly thrown aside by him. Moria, who was already weak, fell to the ground, screaming and wailing. Watch this scene. Many people were stunned. The special hold is Joe's Akainu and others. When did Oz become so strong? However, what's even more shocking is in the back. Akainu was in front of Ozzy, after watching him beat Moria with ease. Akainu's face was astringent and gloomy. Magma rose up all over the body. Akainu looked at Little Oz and shot without hesitation. Dark Hound. The faces of the Bai Tuan people who were immersed in joy changed again. Just now, it was just a Moria shot. Moria's strength can be said to be weak in their eyes. So being able to be blocked by Little Oz is not worth shocking. But now, this shot, but Marine Admiral Akainu. When Moria and Akainu were compared, their combat power was almost 108,000 miles apart. In the face of Akainu's blow, can Little Oz react? On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard clenched the big razor, and even had the urge to shoot. But Bista, who was beside him, shook his head. Father, trust Little Oz. Bista smiled. Whitebeard's expression changed, and he looked at Bista. He always felt that Bista had changed a lot. Advertisement. But because Bista is wearing a floral shirt, and Little Oz is also because of his tall stature, so there is no suitable captain for him. So no one could tell that these two were members of the 13th Division of the Guardian. Whitebeard hadn't been able to guess for a moment why Bista had changed. But in the White Regiment, everyone's faces changed drastically. Marine thought that with Akainu's blow, Little Oz would fall to the ground. Little Oz was engulfed by two magma dogs. Akainu sneered. Perhaps in front of ordinary pirates, your size has an absolute advantage. 5. Even the General HQ Vice Admiral is not necessarily your match. But in front of me, body shape is never the capital you can be proud of. Some Marine soldiers nodded, agreeing with what Akainu said. However, Kirby's face is very exciting. The moment Oz and Vista appeared, he recognized the first. This time it's hard for Kirby. What should he do? Is it to stand firm and destroy the Whitebeard pirates? Are directly against the water, in turn attack Marine? These two options, whichever one, can't be easily decided by Kirby. So, he'd better watch the play first. As for Akainu's punch, Little Oz will take this now well-recognized idea. Kirby scoffed. They underestimated Little Oz too much. Just when Akainu sneered, he was about to see Little Oz fall to the ground. Little Oz's voice recalled again. The voice was filled with terrifying anger. I haven't counted with you the surprise attack on Joe's. 99. Are you going to use your low temperature magma to attack me first? Akainu, are you courting death? Boom. Little Oz's voice fell. Another sound of suppressed anger sounded. Roar. God damn it. 35. In a firelight, Little Oz loomed. But then, just when Little Oz's voice fell, the soaring fire was dispelled. Instead, it was a powerful knife from Ozzy. In the void, the fearful Reiatsu condensed and erupted. An arm in samurai armor appeared in the air. In his hand, he held a knife several hundred meters long. The long knife fell with a bang. That fearful Reiatsu crushed her shoulders in an instant. Boom. Akainu's body burned violently and was hit. Afterwards, Akainu's complexion changed, and he was about to escape in elemental form. But, massive Reiatsu blasted him. Akainu's figure that wants to be elemental is stagnant. Because he found that even if he became elemental, he would still be hit by this sword. Akainu's body suddenly flew upside down, and he vomited blood. The enormous strength of the samurai arm almost shattered Akainu's figure. Lava scattered all over the place. Akainu's figure was blown away by that terrifying force, flew straight across the execution platform, and crashed into the naval headquarters office building. Advertisement. Boom. All silence. Everyone looked at Little Oz in disbelief. Everyone stared and acted in disbelief. Little Oz, how can he be so strong? Sengoku on the execution platform almost glared at Chu Chu. Kazaru and Aokiji were also wide-eyed and shocked. Captain of the Oz Pirates, affiliated to the Whitebeard Pirates. They know this, although the name is very loud. But it definitely won't make Akainu vomit blood and blow away with one blow. Is Akainu weak, or is Little Oz too strong? Several people's faces were full of shock, and their hearts were full of inconceivable. Don't talk about them, as the members of the Whitebeard Pirates who know Little Oz the most. They were even more surprised by this scene. Little Oz, he was a top-level vice admiral at best. But now, that mysterious knife directly blasted Akainu out. How can that be, although accounted for by surprise? But Akainu is also Akainu. It's impossible to be bombarded by Little Oz like this, right? Marco, Joes and others were simply shocked and surprised to the extreme. 
Whitebeard on the Moby Dick also shrank his eyes, his eyes full of surprise. Little Oz was his son, and he weighed a few pounds and two tails, and he couldn't be more clear in Whitebeard's mind. But in front of this scene, it's really not good enough for him. Whitebeard's eyes turned to Bista. I saw Bista smiling faintly, as if he had expected this. Whitebeard couldn't help but be shocked. What chance did Bista and Little Oz get? At the same time, Little Oz is so strong. What about Bista? Thinking of this possibility, Whitebeard was shocked. But right now, Akainu's figure rushed out again. But he did not come directly to the front. But the figure flashed and went to the execution platform. Akainu was bursting with magma, and he was about to attack the kneeling ace. Sengoku's face changed greatly when he became agitated. Sakazuki, what are you doing? 39 feet. Countless people all over the world were also in an uproar. It's not time for punishment yet. What is this Akainu going to do? Countless people of the Whitebeard Pirates exclaimed. Little Oz stepped forward even more angrily. Akainu, I'm going to kill you. 35. Little Oz rose up in Reiatsu, like a real devil. Field, Bista, Kirby, and their faces changed at the same time. Little Oz, he wants Bankai. 71. Akainu is a madman who wants to execute Ace in advance. Little Oz is furious. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On the execution stand. Seeing the hot lava around Akainu, he was about to punch Ace. Both Sengoku and Gark changed their faces. Countless people at the scene were all nervous. It's not time to execute Ace yet. But Marine Admiral Akainu, what is he doing? There was an uproar in countless places on the sea. Akainu what is this for? It's not yet the execution time announced by Marine. Does he want to execute Fire Fist Ace in advance? I think Akainu Admiral did the right thing, one should be eliminated first. Fire Fist Ace, as the son of One Piece Roger, should die in naval headquarters. In the event that Ace was inadvertently allowed to run away, it would be a huge loss to Marine. This wave, I support Akainu Admiral. The first half of the Grand Line. In a tavern on an island. A man dressed in aristocratic clothes said viciously. But the next moment, the reason for the rebuttal is to remember. What are you talking about? You bastard nobles are afraid of Roger. Marine Admiral Akainu has now blatantly violated the agreed time and wanted to execute Fire Fist Ace earlier. Doesn't this prove that Marine is afraid of the Whitebeard Pirates? If Marine had the confidence to win, how could he be afraid that the Whitebeard Pirates would rescue Fire Fist Ace? Right now, the early execution is the act of a Marine Admiral's anger, and I am ashamed of Marine. That Akainu, shame on Marine Admiral too. Many people said with righteous indignation. This scene has played out all over the world. Some people support Akainu, and some people oppose Akainu. But more, are neutrals. They don't want to see Fire Fist Ace rescued by the Whitebeard Pirates, they want to see Marine win the fight. But they also didn't want to see Marine blatantly violating his credibility and punching himself in the face. Countless people continued to watch with complicated eyes. On sight, compared with the uproar around the world, the scene was even more chaotic. Akainu's move to execute Ace's shield stimulated everyone on the pirate side. Even some people who were afraid of Marine and felt that the pirates would lose in this battle were now angry. Akainu was to be executed early, and he was not moral at all. Marine Admiral, is that the one? Countless pirates were startled and angered. They looked at Akainu on the execution stand, and countless people shouted. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard's brows furrowed, and he couldn't help holding the clock's big razor. If Akainu dares to attack Ace now, Whitebeard would definitely shoot without hesitation. Although it is far away from the execution platform. But Whitebeard is the strongest male silver in the world after all. If he made a full effort, it would be very easy to destroy the execution platform with one blow. Bista frowned beside Whitebeard. Advertisement. He can guarantee that if Akainu really wants to execute Ace now. He must have rushed straight over and removed Akainu's head. Although Chu Sha has stipulated that the forces under his command are not allowed to greatly influence the situation in the sea. But before then, now the restrictions are lifted, although everyone is still acting according to the old style. But the scruples will be much less. Not to mention. Although Bista does not have that power, he decides to go to war with the world government. But he only represents himself, and he can stably control the current situation in this station. Of course, that's without Namikaze Minato and Kirby getting involved. On the execution stand, Akainu's body erupted with hot magma, and his fists had condensed extremely terrifying power. No one doubts. As long as he hits this punch, then Ace, who is still wearing sea stone shackles, will surely die. Even normally, when Ace faces Akainu's punch, it doesn't necessarily say that he can completely block it. What's more, now he, wearing sea stone shackles, has lost all his combat power. However, Ace is very calm in the face of his fate that he is about to be killed by Akainu. The Whitebeard Pirates came to his rescue. This made Ace feel guilty and felt guilty for everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates. Captured by Blackbeard for his mistake. That's why the Whitebeard Pirates came to rescue him. And how many people will be lost by saving him? Ace doesn't think so. So, if he could end this battle with his life. 
Let the Whitebeard pirates give up on rescuing him, thus reducing most of the losses. Then he will. Asa's eyes trembled, tears streaming from her eyes. Dad. Brother Marco. Big Brother Joe. Big Brother Bista. Five. And Little Oz. You guys, don't save me. You still have to help Dad become the Pirate King. Fifty-five. Although I Ace died here today, you must help Dad become the Pirate King. Thirty-five. Listening to Ace's words, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates fell silent. Marco and others are also complicated. Whitebeard was never after One Piece. All he wanted was his family. However, Marco and Ace and others don't think so. Their long-cherished wish is to assist Whitebeard and make him the Pirate King. This is the dream of everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates. Of course, that doesn't include Whitebeard. On the Moby Dick. Whitebeard was in tears. Hot tears flowed down Hockey's face. Bastard, what are you talking about? Advertisement. I, Whitebeard, have never pursued that broken one piece. I, Whitebeard, want medicine, only you cute sons. Ace. Whitebeard roared all his life, which directly moved the pirates in the audience. Countless people's eyes were shocked, looking at Whitebeard, looking at this old sea legend. Stand on the execution stand. The faces of Sengoku and Garp also changed. They suddenly discovered that Whitebeard, the old opponent who had been fighting with them for half his life, seemed to be really old. Kneeling Ace's eyes widened, he had no idea that he was so important to Whitebeard. He always thought his life was worthless. He himself has given up on himself. But Whitebeard and others never gave up on him. Ace shook her head desperately. Dad, everyone, 99, you guys, let's go, don't save me. I'm not worth it. But when Ace's voice fell, the tall little Oz was born with a roar. Ace. Why don't you cheer me up? You are very important to dad and to us. Don't take yourself too seriously. 35. In my eyes, you are not the son of that bastard, Roger. 5. You're just my little Oz's brother, father's son. Don't forget the love between you and me, that straw hat. Zero flowers. Little Oz said loudly. Ace, who was kneeling on the execution platform, was stunned. Straw hat. Ace was in a trance. He couldn't help looking at the huge straw hat on little Oz's head. Ace was stunned. Little Ozzy was also frozen. He still remembers. Once I was basking in the sun, I didn't know it was hot all day, I thought it was normal. But then, Ace gave him a certain straw hat. Since then, he has only understood what the feeling of coolness is. Then, he used to go out in the rain. The heavy rain was still on his body, but it would not let him get wet at all. Going out on a snowy day, he sits among the snow. Only he himself will not be buried by the snow. These are all because of Ace. It's all because of an extra large straw hat that he, a Maramara fruit capable person, woven for himself. Little Oz looked at Ace, the Rayatsu all over his body rose, and he had faintly reached the edge of the outbreak. And Ace on the execution platform was also relieved. He also remembered the straw hat he knitted for Little Oz. Advertisement. But it was just an unintentional move by him at the time. Unexpectedly, Little Oz actually remembered it now. Point zero. Ace's eyes widened, never feeling that she was so important in the hearts of others. But, Akainu will not hold back at all because of the love between the two. He looked at Ace kneeling in front of him and prepared to punch him to end. In the eyes of Akainu. Only when Ace is dead can this be subordinated to the Whitebeard Pirates. Only then can they fight Marine to the death. Only in this way can the Whitebeard Pirates be wiped out here. So he completely disregarded Marine's face. It didn't matter what the early execution would do to Marine's face. Akainu looked at Ace and was ready to shoot. However, Sengoku on the side had a pale face. Sakazuki. What are you doing? Sengoku was literally furious. The battle is now being broadcast live around the world. But Akainu did such a thing for him. What's wrong with Marine's face? Moreover, it is not Marine's disadvantage now, and Marine is not unable to control the situation. The current situation is a good one for Marine. Not even one of the three remaining admirals did anything. Even if the two of them came over from Whitebeard, so what? Instead, it's you Akainu. When he was beaten by Little Oz, he became furious. Is this still a Marine admiral? On the execution stand. Sengoku looked at Akainu seriously. Sakazuki, as a marshal, I order you to stop. Marine's face, today really let you lose. Sengoku growled and growled. But Akainu didn't listen at all. He looked at Ace, and the magma fist lifted. The hot magma fist is facing Ace, and it is about to smash. Ace, who had just ignited the hope of living, despaired again. Because he knew that with one punch from Akainu, he would die. Even Father Whitebeard might not be able to save him now. Because of Whitebeard's divine body, it has long been devastated. Thinking of these, Ace closed the double performance slightly. But, just when Akainu's face was abrupt, he was ready to end Ace's life. Little Oz's anger also reached its peak. His still-looking Reiatsu rose into the sky and turned into a circular white beam of light. Ace, wait for me, I'm here to save you. Akainu, Chuan. 72. Ace, I'm here to save you. Bankai, the king of black rope. 
Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Just when Little Oz was still in Reyatsu's outbreak. All eyes turned to Little Oz. Whether it's a noisy pirate, or a marine who is ready to fight. Everyone saw the tall Little Oz. The fluctuations that are still erupting in his body are simply extremely strong. Many people looked at Little Oz with a healthy and shocked expression. All over the world there was a commotion. That devil Oz, what is he going to do? Look at him, he still has that kind of power, I can even stand on the screen and be afraid of that kind of fear. 33. Are all the giants so strong? I heard Charlotte Linlin, one of the four emperors, is also a giant.35. Little Oz, the bigger giant, is it stronger than the four emperors Charlotte Linlin? Many people were shocked. Because of the shocking Reyatsu that Little Oz was surging up at the moment, it was simply too powerful. Countless people dared to be shaken by their souls, as if they were on the scene. And on top of the station. Little Oz clenched Zanpakuto's curse and looked at Akainu angrily. Today, he must kill this marine admiral. Dare to move Ace. Dare to touch his brother Ace. Little Oz looked at Akainu, the whole body spirit, 410, pressure broke out to ultimate. The expressions of Kazaru and the others sitting under the execution platform changed. Kazaru didn't have the heart to joke anymore. He looked at Little Oz, his eyes full of solemnity. Hey, is this really that Little Oz? 99. This terrifying power. Aokiji is also frowning. Looking at Little Oz, he always felt that he had never seen this power before. Can be for a while. Aokiji has not seen it for the first time. The calmest of the three. Probably Namikaze Minato. For Little Oz, Namikaze Minato has long heard of it. Although not very familiar. But this is also a captain of the 13th division of the Gotei. Strength will be simple. Namikaze Minato smiled faintly and glanced at Akainu on the execution stand. It seems that Akainu is afraid of suffering. And in front of Kebi, his expression became more and more hesitant. He really didn't know what to do now. Whether it's still watching the show, or helping Marine. Kirby was really confused. Advertisement. Let's go to the play. He's really afraid that Akainu will be killed on the spot by Little Oz. Don't watch the show and join the fight. Kirby feels a little bit unhappy. After all, everyone is essentially a colleague. Kirby shook his head, shaking his disturbed thoughts out. Since rescuing Ace, that is the goal of Little Oz. Then he won't stop. Kirby put his sword back in its sheath, looking like he was watching a play completely. Marco, who was not far in front of him, breathed a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that Kebi would take another shot. And just when countless people were watching Little Oz, the Reyatsu that Little Oz condensed also finally reached the apex. He looked at Ace, and Akainu who was about to attack Ace, suppressing his anger. Ace, I'm here to save you. Bankai, the black rope is punished by the king. Boom. Little Oz's voice fell. The even more shocking Reyatsu at the beginning of the outbreak when he was still a shield. That Reyatsu soared into the sky, and even moved the clouds in the atmosphere. And at this moment, countless people who looked at Little Oz narrowed their eyes. Because behind Oz, a giant with a height of 100 meters slowly emerged. The giant was wearing pitch black armor. Just like the arm that Little Oz had when he shot the first time. Now the entire black armored warrior appears in front of everyone, and the shield shocks the audience. Marco and the other's eyes widened to the limit. Every one of them was unbelievable. Who can believe that this turned out to be Little Oz? Little Oz, when did Master become so powerful? This is too scary. Even Whitebeard on the Moby Dick couldn't help but stare. He looked at the black armored warrior, his eyes full of solemnity. The black armored warrior was fully formed, and as Little Oz walked forward step by step, the ground of naval headquarters kept shaking. Countless marine soldiers looked at the black armored warrior with horror on their faces. The black armored warrior's face was covered with a red scarf, and he was still wearing extremely heavy armor, with two long horns similar to Little Oz on his head. The body bound by the black rope is thick and exudes an extremely powerful breath. The dark armor is almost taller than naval headquarters. It looked at the execution platform not far away, as if looking at an ant. Countless people all over the world saw this scene simultaneously. Everyone looked shocked, completely unable to understand the powerful power of Little Oz. I go. I've heard of this Little Oz, he's just a captain under Whitebeard. 35. He's not even the captain of the squad, but now. Why is this Little Oz so strong? Who can tell me? Advertisement. Yeah, look at that black armored warrior. I am a god, and I am absolutely convinced that the power possessed by the black armored warrior will definitely destroy the sky and destroy the earth. This is too scary. Countless people opened their mouths in shock, and their eyes were full of solemnity at the beginning. And there are also some pirates who gloat in misfortune. I just wanted to see how naval headquarters would hold up against little Oz. Ugly naval headquarters, ugly marine admiral, who made that Akainu want to execute Ace early, but angered little Oz instead. I'll see what he'll do this time. World government. Inside the five elders' office. Five people you look at me, I look at you. They were silent again. This power, through the screen, they can dare to receive it, how powerful is that? Even the five of them dared to receive an extremely dangerous aura on it. 
This means that the five of them are likely to be killed on the spot in the face of this black armored giant. The five were silent. After a long while, one of the five elders spoke. Everyone, don't you think this little Oz is too strange? 99. When several people heard the words, their expressions changed. Yes. Problems that ordinary people can see, of course they also find. That is this little Oz, why is he so strong? Why did it suddenly become so strong? In the past, little Oz's strength had always been mediocre. They couldn't even get into their eyes at all. But how long has passed, and little Oz has become so powerful? The five people looked puzzled, but they still suppressed the thoughts in their hearts and continued to watch. Point zero. And naval headquarters. Sengoku on the execution platform understood a little. The five elders didn't see it for the first time. But he witnessed the battle between Yamato and Kaido in Onishima Island. It is Yamato's phrase, Bankai, Tensa Zanjetsu. Dot. Sengoku still remembers it to this day. So, Sengoku looked at Little Oz in shock. Isn't this guy from the Gotei 13th Division too? That's a big deal. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help but glance at Garp. But the two made eye contact. When Sengoku shields, he wants to yell at him. Because there was a wicked smile in Garp's eyes. But seeing Sengoku looking at him, Garp hurriedly took back the wicked smile. Advertisement. Sengoku was speechless in his heart. Emotion. I am dignified here, but you are happy. Are you on the marine side or the pirate side? Sengoku was angry, but he couldn't do anything about Garp either. Having been together for so many years, he knows Garp's character all too well. And the black armored warrior was still stepping forward. Marine soldiers along the way were simply unstoppable. That was too strong. Countless soldiers avoided involuntarily, lest they be trampled to death. The flying squirrel and other headquarters vice admiral's face is ugly. But they understand. Even if they faced the black armored warrior, there was absolutely no chance of them winning. Even. More than a dozen of their headquarters vice admiral gathered together, there may be some, but only the whole army was destroyed. Because the other party gave them a crush, even stronger than marine admiral. And a lot stronger. The marine soldiers looked terrified and retreated. Just like that, little Oz broke into the square of naval headquarters in a grand manner. And it's not far from the execution stand. But everyone was still stunned. No pirates followed little Oz for a while. 4.4 on the execution platform, seeing the tendency of Little Oz to rush over in front of him. Sengoku couldn't help it, he looked at Akainu, who was a little dumbfounded, and said in a displeased tone. Sakazuki, you are Marine Admiral. A strong enemy is coming, don't you want to meet the enemy? I am the marshal on the execution platform, don't you worry. We Marine have made enough jokes for the world to see. Sengoku growled, Akainu finally seemed to have calmed down. He looked at the black armored warrior, and his face became extremely gloomy. For the ace in front of him, the killing intent in Akainu's heart became stronger and stronger. But Sengoku is here, and he will definitely not allow him to execute ace now. Think about these. Akainu flew up with an ugly face. He stepped on Moonwalk and met the black armored warrior. Countless marine soldiers breathed a sigh of relief, and their morale recovered. Look, that's Akainu Admiral. Akainu Admiral is going to meet the black armored warrior. Can Akainu Admiral be a match for that black armored warrior? That momentum is simply too terrifying. Look. Akainu Admiral collided with the Black Armored Warrior. 73. The Crushed Akainu. Mutation. The Battle Power List Released. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Just under the spotlight. Akainu erupted with magma, and suddenly attacked the Black Armored Warrior. Facing the attack of Akainu. Little Oz smiled faintly. Subsequently. Little Oz waved his bell sword lightly. The thick Black Armored Warrior synchronized with Little Oz's movements. Boom. The long sword wrapped the fearful Reiatsu and attacked Akainu, whose half-body had spontaneously burned. Akainu is also not to be outdone. He was Marine Admiral after all. He was bombarded by Little Oz before because he was completely unprepared. Now, Akainu is very confident about this blow when he is prepared. Dark Hound. Akainu roared, hot lava gushing out all over his body. The two magma dogs collided with the long sword of the black armored warrior's bell. Boom. Powerful air waves spread out. Many people frowned. Marco Joes and others were all worried. It was Akainu after all. The reason why Marine Admiral is known as the most powerful fighting force in the world. That is they are almost the apex of this sea. Although there may be a slight gap with the four emperors. But that's just a little, a little. If a four emperors and Marine Admiral fought to the death, the outcome of the two sides would be at most four to six. After all, Marine Admiral is not just talking. So even just now Little Oz almost showed a blow that crushed Akainu. But they are still very worried about 20 ounces. On the Moby Dick. Bista watched the two fight without worrying at all. Instead, there was a smile on his face. The figure of Bista, Jonjian and a certain uncle who loves to laugh overlap. And just when the people in the audience had different thoughts and thought that the two were inseparable. The two faced each other in the center, but a figure was blown away. Many people are sharp-eyed, even if they find out that person is a Kainu. 
Yes Akainu Admiral. Akainu Admiral was blown away again. Many Marines murmured in shock. Many of them have listed their life goals as Marine Admiral since joining Marine. And in their hearts, Marine Admiral is the strongest being on this sea. What four emperors can also compete with Marine Admiral? Advertisement. This has always been their philosophy. But now, many people's ideas collapsed. Admiral Akainu was blasted twice in a row by that little Oz. Countless people were shocked. However, Akainu was blown away this time, and he quickly recovered. He looked at little Oz with a very angry expression. Under the eyes of countless marines, he, the admiral, actually fell into a disadvantage. This made Akainu almost unacceptable. Looking at little Oz, the temperature of the magma around Akainu increased a lot again. The two fought again. The station roared. And Akainu, has always been suppressed by little Oz. And little Oz's Bankai black rope scourge Ming Wang is extremely destructive. In just a short time, many buildings around naval headquarters were destroyed. Little Oz can't play Bankai's full power these days though. But King Ming can easily blast the hills as he draws his sword. The mighty Reiatsu scattered. Akainu's elemental body shape is improperly condensed. Then he was broken up by Little Oz. In this way, the battle between the two became more and more fierce. Many people watching the battle were all stunned. Is this really the Little Oz they knew? How could it be so strong? Everyone, you look at me, I look at you, and the expressions are shocking. Everyone in the Whitebeard group is even more so. Little Oz can be so strong, they really did not expect. And there are also many people who can't help but look at Bista who is beside Whitebeard. They knew that Bista went out to practice with Little Oz at the beginning. Now that Oz is so strong, what about Bista? Marco and Joes looked complicated. When the two left, Bista was already very strong, and he could even fight against Hawkeye, and he was undefeated in a short time. So now Little Oz is so strong. What about Bista? Will it be stronger? Incredibly strong. Marco and the others looked expectantly. They kind of wanted to see Bista take a shot. Hawkeye at the forefront of Marine's lineup also raised his eyebrows. With the big black knife on his back, Hawkeye couldn't help but look at Bista. His eagle eye, the former world number one Dalton John Howe, only ranks seventh on the kendo list. And this Bista is the fifth on the current kendo list. In other words, Bista's kendo is stronger than his eagle eye. This can't help but let Hawkeye's heart freeze. Hawkeye's reputation as the world's number one swordsman has never been self-proclaimed. That was when he found someone to challenge him on the road of swordsmen. Advertisement. All the swordsmen who fought against him were defeated. So Jianjian, Eagle Eye was called the world's first Dejanhao by the sea. For so many years, Hawkeye has been lonely for a long time, and he has not been able to find a swordsman who was stronger than him to fight. Now suddenly there is a powerful swordsman in front of him. Will Hawkeye let it go? But, just when Hawkeye was about to go to Bista and challenge it. The golden list in midair roared for a lifetime. Countless people looked up. Some of the fighting pirates and marine couldn't help but stop. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard raised his eyebrows, and then his eyes narrowed. And on the execution stand, Sengoku also looked up suspiciously, and then his eyes showed shock. B. Kazaru, Aokiji, and Namikaze Minato, who were still sitting, also raised their heads in confusion. Subsequently, Kazaru and Aokiji have a pupil. Both of them showed great interest in their eyes. And even Namikaze Minato's expression changed, and then he smiled faintly. On the whole sea, everyone couldn't help but look up and look at the sacred golden list. At the time of the naval headquarters war, has there been a change in the gold list? Many people looked puzzled. Then, under the gaze of everyone in the sea, the kendo list in the center of the golden list trembled, and then slowly walked to the side. The original middle position was replaced. It's a brand new gold medal. Its name is the battle power list. Seeing this, many people's expressions became shocked. Following the power list and kendo list, the golden list has finally released the list again. Countless people's expressions froze, and discussions started. The golden list has been released again, and this time it turned out to be a battle power list. Yes, compared to the power list, the battle power list is more shocking, do you think that? Yeah, this should be the dream list of countless experts in the sea, right? Many people murmured the three words battle power list, showing extremely strong interest in their eyes. Even the battle going on at naval headquarters was heard. Except that Oz and Akainu are still fighting. The rest of the people all stopped and looked up at the golden list. Sengoku's brows trembled involuntarily. He was a little confused. Is this battle power list a blessing or a curse for Marine now? But what Sengoku can understand is that, the release of the battle power list will definitely allow the whole world to see more of the true face of the top three forces. It will definitely allow more people in the sea to see the strong among the top three forces. Sengoku's eyes couldn't help but freeze. Can they, too, see that Chu Sha's name appear on this battle power list? Advertisement. By then, they will know. Who is this Chu Sha? How strong is it? At the same time, there are also many people with the same idea as Sengoku. They looked up, and their expressions were extremely frozen. Kazaru pursed his lips and pretended not to care. 
Can we see the true strength of that Chu Sha? The controller of the top three forces, how strong is he? It must be scary, right? Aokiji next to Kazaru nodded involuntarily. Ah la la, who knows? The 420 scene at that time must be very shocking, right? I was thinking of waiting until the battle power list was exposed Chu Sha, when his identity and strength were exposed at the beginning. Just thinking about it, Aokiji can dare to be shocked by the shock in his bones. At that time, the whole world will be shocked. And the one that appears love, after all, is human. Our god, but that will be revealed soon. With expectation in the eyes of countless people, they continued to look at the golden list. Then, a line of small characters slowly appeared on the gold list. Because the battle power list is too complicated, the release of the battle power list this time will only arrange the top powerhouses in the sea. And take each force as a unit, it will be released in order from low to high, and those on the list will be rewarded. Close black lens bracket. Looking at Jin Bang's words, there was another uproar in the sea. But many people can understand. After all, if the battle power list is arranged, then many people may be dissatisfied. Let's take an example first. Who is stronger between four emperors and marine admiral? Presumably many people can't say why. Therefore, the release of the gold list this time is based on the power list, and the strength of the strong in each faction is ranked first. In this way, everyone is familiar with each other, and it is relatively easy to accept. Many people nodded secretly, as for some scattered powerhouses, those who did not join the big forces. Then they can only consider themselves unlucky. Check out this ranking rule. The Blackbeard gang at Impel Down laughed. Because they are the tenth in the power list. Therefore, this is the first time that the battle power list is ranked, and they must be the first. The Shiryu of the Rain and the San Juan Evil Wolf who just joined couldn't help but be glad they chose. If they can get on the gold list, they will definitely get a lot of rewards. Thinking of this, everyone watched in awe. But what they don't know is. A fearful madman is approaching them. The lunatic had already smelled the, big meal, and was coming quickly. 74. Horror Kenpachi. Zoro is crazy. Single play Blackbeard Black Thieves. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Impel down. Impelton Grand Prison. External. Magellan is still lying there, recovering from his injuries. When he saw that the battle power list was released, and the Blackbeard pirates were about to be listed. Magellan's face darkened. Blackbeard this guy. Magellan already hated Blackbeard to the extreme. If it weren't for Blackbeard. How could the Impel Down, known as the Iron Wall, be invaded? Magellan's face was very ugly. Eternal Hell entrance on the sixth floor. Blackbeard brought his newly harvested partner and couldn't help laughing. Follow me Blackbeard, and you will surely become the strong men on this sea. I Blackbeard will take you to become the second Roger Pirates. 99. Thief ha 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 ha. Blackbeard laughed. Fighting champion Burgess was infuriated. Even Shiryu of Rain is no exception. No one would refuse to be on the gold list. And this time, as everyone expected. The battle power list was shocked, and then the list was released. Blackbeard Pirates Battle Power List. Close black lens bracket. First place. Blackbeard Pirates Captain. Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. Those with the ability of dark fruit have the ability to restrain all demon fruit power, and Blackbeard's own strength is extremely strong, and his character is even more of a hero. The Blackbeard Pirates are well deserved first. Close black lens bracket. Second place. Former Impel Down Warden, Shiryu of the Rain. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. Formerly the head guard of Impel Down, but because he was addicted to murder, he often murdered prisoners. He was sentenced to death row on probation. Second. Close black lens bracket. Third place. Van Oka. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket fourth place. Naval headquarters. Looking at the strength rankings of the Blackbeard pirates, many faces are ugly. On the execution stand, Sengoku's face was ashen. Blackbeard the bastard, is it for this group of prisoners to invade Impel Down? This bastard guy, Sengoku growled in a low voice, having a very bad impression of Blackbeard. Garp was also full of disgust. Also the nemesis of all demon fruit power. Gold List really looks up to Blackbeard. If Blackbeard dares to come to Garp, he must use his iron fist to teach Blackbeard how to be a man. Without Blackbeard, would Ace be in this field? Except for Marine. On the Moby Dick, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates disliked Blackbeard even more. Because this is the traitor on the Whitebeard ship. Not only kill Sachi, but snatch Dark Fruit. Even more, he captured Ace, and shamelessly exchanged the position of seven warlords of the sea with the world official. It can be said, Blackbeard is the culprit behind this top flight fight. How can everyone not hate the Whitebeard Pirates? Whitebeard's majestic body stood on the Moby Dick, his face gloomy. Advertisement. Quote dot 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 quote. And so do all the people at sea. For Blackbeard, basically no one has any good opinion of him. This is a traitor, 25. Although you can call it a hero. But now in the whole sea, many people worship real men. They didn't care about insidious and cunning people like Blackbeard. 
but it is different from the disgust of the outside world towards them. Impel down. Blackbeard's group has rushed back to the fifth floor of the extremely cold region. Watching the release of the battle power list at the moment. Blackbeard's group couldn't help but stop. Blackbeard looked at the names of himself and others on the battle power list and couldn't help laughing. Thief ha ha ha. Thief ha ha ha. Little ones, follow me Blackbeard, and you will definitely gain more power. And I tell you, the first stop of my trip, Impel Down, invites you to join the Blackbeard Pirates. And the second stop, that's going to Naval Headquarters. 99. Blackbeard's mouth and feet twitched into a smile. He has been eyeing Whitebeard's shock fruit for a long time. If he can get shock fruit, then in the whole sea, no one must be his opponent again. By the time, what Shao, Jingling Court, Zai Palace. Even Chu Sha didn't take his eyes off it. Blackbeard laughed, arrogant to the limit. Afterwards, Gold List Exchange announced the rewards for the Blackbeard gang. First place in Blackbeard Pirates, Blackbeard. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. 10 years of top level physical skills. Close black lens bracket. Second place in Blackbeard Pirates, Shiryu of the Rain. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. 10 years of top swordsmanship. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket the third place in Blackbeard Pirates team, close black lens bracket. Seeing this reward, Blackbeard and the others couldn't help laughing. Each of them received a lot of awards. The special one is Blackbeard. His physical skills were pretty good. This can be seen for the first time when he could leave three scars on his red-haired face when he didn't get dark fruit. Blackbeard is by no means a fuel-efficient lamp. And now, he gained another decade of top physique attainment. Blackbeard's strength jumped up. Even Blackbeard himself is now impressed. After accepting the gold list reward, he can single out Whitebeard. Thinking of this, Blackbeard laughed. Shiryu of the Rain and the others were also very excited. The special is Shiryu of the Rain. His original strength is very strong, and it is slightly lower than Magellan. Now he has acquired 10 years of Kendo attainment. His Shiryu of Rain's strength jumped up. Not to mention the current Eagle Eye. But it must also be similar to the previous Hawkeye. Advertisement. And Fanoka and others have improved a lot, and they have all received very generous rewards. Seeing this scene, countless people in the sea could not help but be jealous. But they couldn't do anything about it. Jinbang was shocked. Rewards are exchanged. Blackbeard dared to accept the powerful force that melted into his body, and laughed again. But, just when everyone in the Blackbeard Pirates received the Gold List Award, a heavier tremor came. Blackbeard and the others didn't care, and thought that the Gold List was rewarding them. But, the vibration is getting bigger and bigger, and Jonjian's whole impel down is shaking. A green algae-headed man with an extremely strong desire in his eyes broke into the fifth layer extremely cold region. Second lower floor. Buggy is holding a long knife, saving his former friend. The crowd looked at Buggy gratefully. Captain. Captain. 35. Everyone was grateful, watching Buggy with tears in his eyes. Facing their eyes of admiration and admiration. Buggy waved his hand and said proudly. It's all right. I, Captain Buggy, are stronger, and spontaneous combustion will not forget you. Hurry up. You are still looking for a warship to leave. 99. Buggy said goodbye to the former crew in tears. After they leave. Buggy is back outside impel down. But Zoro's figure has long disappeared. Buggy's face changed, and he looked at Magellan beside him. Magellan, where's that guy? Buggy was a little puzzled. Could it be that Zoro couldn't help it and rushed to the top of the station first? This is bad, the lunatic never knew the way. If he gets lost again, won't he find Zoro again? Still, it wasn't until Buggy's ramblings finished. Magellan pointed down. Then, the air was quiet. Boom. It was at this time. The whole impel down roared. Buggy's face changed. Magellan, why don't you stop that guy? Before Buggy finished speaking, he hurriedly headed for the entrance to impel down. Leaving Magellan stunned. After a few seconds, Magellan burst into tears. Backquote how can I stop it? Magellan felt helpless. Let him stop that lunatic. Stop the lunatic who unloaded Charlotte Linlin's arm. He is afraid of dying. And the extreme cold region at the moment. Zoro carried the jagged Zanpakuto on his shoulders and walked forward step by step. Advertisement. He has seen extremely abundant, food. Zoro's gaze was like that of a beast, looking at Blackbeard and the others with hot faces. Although these people are not very strong in front of them. But for him, it was also a big meal that he could barely eat. After cutting these people, he must be able to endure the loneliness in his heart, so as not to starve to death on the way to naval headquarters. Zoro took this thought and looked at Blackbeard and others. He didn't attack. These two words are not in his dictionary at all. Zoro just like this, quietly watching Blackbeard and others accept the gold list reward. Shortly after, Blackbeard and the others shuddered, and their expressions froze and recovered. Blackbeard dared to accept the powerful power in his body, and his confidence rose in his heart. He really thinks, even if he faced Whitebeard now, he was completely able to win. He no longer had to be afraid of Whitebeard. After that, 
head to naval headquarters to capture Whitebeard's shock fruit. At that time, he Blackbeard will be invincible. What Chu Sha? What are the top three in the power list? Go to hell. The skyrocketing strength gave Blackbeard extremely strong confidence. Shiryu of the Rain and the others were similarly stunned by their soaring strength. Burgess looked at Blackbeard, clenching his fists. Captain, I feel that I can kill 10,000 cows with my bare hands in my current state. Presumably the captain's promotion must be greater, right? Now the captain must be unimaginably strong, and that Chu Sha may not be the captain's opponent. 55. Hearing what Burgess said, Blackbeard laughed. It just went with what he wanted. And this time, the joy of the crowd. Zoro got impatient. He is really hungry. Hey, 99, are you all right? Hearing these abrupt words, Blackbeard and the others frowned. When are there more people? Everyone turned their heads and saw Zoro carrying the jagged Zanpakuto on his shoulders. Several people looked stagnant. Then Blackbeard narrowed his eyes. He has come for the first time. This is the maniac who chopped off Charlotte Linlin's arm. Moreover, this person is said to be a strong man in jingling court. Burgess was embarrassed by what he had just said. Blackbeard and others also looked stunned. Arrogant with the network cable, and arrogant in person. This is so two different things. Even Blackbeard fell silent for a while. But Zoro was impatient. In a blink of an eye, he saw the only one with a sword among the few. Looking at Shiryu of the rain, Zoro said lightly. Come on, cut a knife first, and cheer me up. 75. The shocking world, damn it. The Blackbeard pirates are singled out. Just kidding. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Come on, cut a knife first, and cheer me up. Hearing Zoro's arrogant words, Shiryu of Rain's face was ashen. Then it turned ugly. Burgess and others also changed their expressions. Is this guy too arrogant? Blackbeard's solemn face was stunned. Is this guy in front of him a fool? The Blackbeard pirates looked at Zoro. And Zoro was still standing there, with a wide grin on his lips and feet, looking at Blackbeard and the others as if he were looking at prey. The silence continued for a while, and Shiryu of the Rain couldn't help it. After all, he used to be a great swordsman. And he was a great swordsman with a lot of slaughter. Fang Kai even gained the 10-year kendo insight given by Jinbang. How dare this guy in front of him look down on him so much? Shiryu of Rain looked at Zoro and said gloomily with a cigar in his mouth. Are you serious? The people around were silent when they heard the words. They looked at Zoro like a fool. And listening to Shiryu of the Rain, Zoro grinned. Of course, not mother-in-law or mother-in-law. Zoro said, baring his chest. The strong chicken shield appeared in front of everyone and there are several scars on it. However, the Blackbeard pirates and others were not shocked. Which of the strong men in the sea does not have a few scars yet? Without scars, is that still the sea boy? Then, with a sneer still on Shiryu's face, he took out his long sword and stepped forward. Then don't blame me, Blackbeard and the others watched with bated breath. They all know that Shiryu of Rain is definitely not weak. Fang Kai also received the reward given by the Golden List. Today's Shiryu of Rain is definitely a figure standing at the top of the sea. The fool on the other side was unsuspectingly stabbed by Shiryu of the Rain. He must surely die, at least he was seriously injured. Shiryu of the Rain stepped forward. And Zoro's mouth and feet are also raised, and there is really no defense. 423. Instead, he looked somewhat satisfied. In the past, when he asked others to slash him, few people dared. Now this person in front of him is not bad. Zoro smiled. Shiryu of the Rain also sneered and came to Zoro. Subsequently, the long sword in his hand chopped out without hesitation. Swish. A blood-red sword shadow appeared and slashed towards Zoro's bare chest. Shiryu of the Rain sneered. No matter how strong the person in front of him is. But to suffer a sword from him unprepared, that is at least the result of a serious injury. Advertisement. Even more likely, he was executed on the spot. However, who made this fool in front of him arrogant? Blackbeard and the others also had the same thoughts as Shiryu of the Rain, waiting for the scene where Zoro was seriously injured and died. But when Shiryu of the Rain slashed Zoro's chest with his sword, Ding. I remember the sound of gold and iron symphony in my life. Shiryu of the rain froze for a moment. Blackbeard and others also changed their expressions. Subsequently, everyone's expressions turned from healthy to stunned, and then they were shocked. Blackbeard's eyes widened in disbelief. The cigar that Shiryu of rain was holding fell to the ground, and he looked at Zoro in front of him in shock. But, in this silent moment, Zoro looked at Shiryu of the rain, but Bibi shook his head. It's so boring. I thought you could bring me some fun, but I didn't expect it to be so weak. So, are you ready for a chilling fight? Zoro looked at Shiryu of the Rain, Blackbeard and others. Subsequently, when Shiryu of the Rain didn't react, Zoro slashed out, this one is coming to an end. Brush. Golden Rayatsu overflows. Shiryu of the Rain flew upside down, and the long sword dropped. After landing, Shiryu of the Rain spit out a lot of blood. And in front of him, Zoro cut a bone deep wound. The wound was spewing blood. Apparently, Shiryu of Rain was seriously injured in one blow. 
Everyone in the Blackbeard Pirates was taken aback for a moment, but they still didn't react. But Zoro looked at Shiryu of the Rain with regret and remorse on his face. Alas, I can't control the strength. 99. I also hope you can accompany me in a good fight. I didn't expect it to be so weak. Zoro said, shaking his head involuntarily. I remember what you said just now. 99. Lord Chu Sha, can you all easily defeat? Then I'll borrow a sentence from that lord. Is it Shiryu of the Rain? 35. It is very difficult to control the force of stepping on an ant without stepping on it to death. 5. Zoro's voice fell lightly. Boom. The whole place was silent. Everyone in the Blackbeard Pirates was wide-eyed. Including Captain Blackbeard. As for Shiryu of Rain, who was seriously injured on the ground. His eyes were blank, and he muttered indiscriminately. It is very difficult to control the force of stepping on an ant without stepping on it to death. 5. Boom. Advertisement. Shiryu of the Rain received a 10,000 critical hit. He even started to doubt that he had always insisted on the kendo. He has worked hard for half his life in kendo, is he so weak? Rain of Shiryu's eyes were blurry, and then he fell into a coma. The whole place was silent. Afterwards, everyone in the Blackbeard Pirates had not yet recovered. Zoro carried his jagged Zanpakuto and continued to move forward. Blackbeard, don't pretend that I didn't hear the words you insulted your lord just now. Although I don't really care, but cutting you guys off will make me a little more angry. Watching Blackbeard and the others, Zoro rushed out. Brush. Boom. The long knife slashed through the air. No one in the Blackbeard Pirates could stop him. In the end, only Blackbeard, and Zoro broke out. Zoro laughed like a real lunatic. And Blackbeard, et al. Also used doubts about life. Is this really human? Why is this madman so strong? Only a quarter of an hour passed. The roaring vibration of Impel Down stopped. Zoro looked at Blackbeard and the others standing in front of him, his face full of helplessness. Kai and Blackbeard looked at him with fear and disbelief. Afraid of the future. The shadow in Blackbeard's heart was no longer Father Whitebeard. And it has been changed to the madman in front of him. But right now, at the entrance of Eternal Hell, I remember the sound of footsteps. Blackbeard and others broke into Eternal Hell, and spontaneous combustion would not release only those people. They released almost all of the Eternal Hell prisoners. It even includes old sea legends. Red Earl, Ballery Clydefield. Zoro moved his eyes and looked at the entrance of Eternal Hell. Figures rushed out one after another, wanting to return to the embrace of freedom. The next moment, Zoro's eyes brightened, and he greeted him with a long knife. Boom, boom, the roar of Impel Down vibrated again. And wait for Buggy to get here. He only saw a scene that he will never forget. Zoro stood there, Captain Howry already died red. In front of him, there are countless broken limbs and broken arms. Among them, all are prisoners of eternal hell. There's the Red Earl, Barlery Clydefield. There is a crew member of the former One Piece, the descendant of the devil, Bullet. There are also countless big pirates who gallop the sea in the past. Available today, they met a lunatic. That's the one with the serrated long knife. Advertisement. In the face of them, a madman Kenpachi of a child with one knife. In ancient times there was Admiral Kazaru, a supernova with one foot. Now, there is even more lunatic Kenpachi, a legendary pirate with one knife. Buggy's eyes widened and he was speechless for a long time. I'm so special, and Magellan above impel down also heard the vibration stop, and couldn't help being a little curious. After recovering for so long, he has probably recovered some mobility. Magellan supported his severely injured body and returned to his director's office on the fourth floor. Then, looking at the video phone bug on the fifth floor, Magellan was stunned. His eyes widened, he couldn't believe his eyes. But Magellan rubbed his eyes several times, turning them several times. Subsequently, Magellan was completely stunned. Until Buggy pulled Zoro hard, left Impel down, and continued to rush to naval headquarters. Magellan recovered. He quickly took out the phone bug and called Sengoku. Poor. Her. Hearing the phone bug ringing in his arms, Sengoku frowned again. What happened to this Magellan? Everyone told him to wait, and he really couldn't go away. Sengoku picked up the phone with a sullen face. Then, Magellan's voice recalled. Sengoku was completely stunned. The telephone bug of his hand clock fell on the execution block all his life. I don't know which button was hit. The sound of the phone bug suddenly expanded. Afterwards, it spread throughout the naval headquarters and even the entire sea through Sengoku's megaphone bug. Just listen to Magellan's words resoundingly. Marshal Sengoku, this is Impel Down. Impel Down no more support. 99. Because, because of the Blackbeard group, they have been given to the town duck by that lunatic. Also, all the big pirates of Eternal Hell released by the Blackbeard gang. Among them, there is the Red Earl Barlery Clydefield, there is the Devil's Descendants Bullet. They were all beaten by that lunatic. Impel Down, no support needed. Magellan finished the shocking news one after another. But what he didn't know was, after Magellan finished speaking, the entire naval headquarters, and even the whole world, was stunned. And just when the audience was silent, Magellan suddenly thought of something and said. 
By the way, Marshal Sengoku, I have a message for you, hold on. Hearing that there was no sound coming from there, Magellan frowned. But the news was too important, he had to say it. Marshal Sengoku, that lunatic. He went to naval headquarters, and in no time he would be at the station. 5. Magellan finished speaking, frowning again. Why isn't there a word over there? It's a bit like a stand. 76. Beast is shot, Kaden Kyokutsu. Let's make a game together. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Inside impel down. Magellan is standing in his fourth floor director's office. Holding the phone bug, Magellan looked puzzled. Why has there been no sound at all since he finished speaking? The station is chaotic, shouting and killing, Genshin. Even if the news is shocking. Marshal Sengoku was shocked. But that doesn't mean the whole station is so silent. Magellan frowned deeply. He wondered if there was something wrong with the phone bug in his hand clock. Magellan coughed lightly, then spoke again. Marshal Sengoku, Marshal Sengoku. Can you hear? I don't need support here at Impel Down, there's a lunatic. But this time, before Magellan finished speaking. Boom. The naval headquarters broke out in a shocking uproar. Whether it is marine or pirate at this moment. Everyone looked shocked at the phone bug on the execution platform. Even. Because of the world live broadcast. Everyone in the world heard the shocking news from Magellan. I got a big weed. I remember that Blackbeard was strong, right? This is at least an admiral level combat power. Even with the reward of the gold list, Blackbeard's strength must have improved a lot. My second Austrian. But what did I hear? The Blackbeard gang was singled out by one person. My second time. That's a pirate group composed of powerful pirates such as Shiryu of the Rain, San Juan Evil Wolf, etc. This is a full lineup of the Four Emperor's Regiment. But what did I hear? That lunatic, singled out the Blackbeard pirates. Also, he also took care of many big pirates in the Impel Down Riot. My second time. The world is boiling. Everyone's eyes widened and their hearts were extremely shocked. The news was so shocking. Even many people are completely incomprehensible. Some people are skeptical. Is this news true? But on the other end of the phone is Magellan, the director of Impel Down. Many people in the sea have heard of this now. The pirates are even more familiar with their name. And it's no good for Marine to expose this. Because that lunatic wasn't their Marine at all. Advertisement. So, this thing is 100% true. Everyone who thought about this was shocked again. On top of the station. Listening to Magellan's words, the scene was silent for a moment, and then caused a shocking sensation. Under the execution stand, Kazaru's eyes widened, and he looked at Aokiji next to him. What did I hear? Kuzan, did I hear it right? Brother Minato, did I hear it right? Namikaze Minato nodded. And Aokiji was shocked and had no time to respond to Kazaru. Kazaru leaned back in the chair, feeling weak all over. What kind of lunatic is this? Single play the Blackbeard gang, and beat the Blackbeard gang into serious injuries. Following that, one more person suppressed the Impel Down Eternal Hell Riot. I am Grass. 35. Even Kazaru couldn't hold it back now, and uttered foul language. This news is too appalling. It simply shocked them to the extreme. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard frowned, although he did not know the strength of Blackbeard Teach. Because in the past on the Whitebeard ship, Blackbeard was always silent, just like an ordinary pirate. But since he exposed his ambitions and robbed Dark Fruit, even Ace was defeated by him. Blackbeard knows how powerful Ace is. Although it is not as good as Marco, it can definitely fight with Joes and others. After all, before joining the Whitebeard Pirates, Ace was repeatedly invited by Shichibukai, the official government of the world. It's just that he refused to be Shichibukai, and after that he met Whitebeard. So Ace's strength is definitely not weak. Even encountering Admiral has a good chance of escaping. But Ace lost to Blackbeard without a doubt. This is enough to see how strong Blackbeard really is. But now, someone told him. There's a lunatic who single-played Blackbeard. What's more, it's a single brush for the entire Blackbeard pirate group. And, after a single brush, that lunatic has smothered all the pirates in the Eternal Hell Riot. Rao is Whitebeard, who is well informed and used to seeing strong winds and waves in the sea. But at this moment, he was still stunned by shock. He heard the names Magellan had said that the lunatic had been ducked by. Among them is the Red Earl, Barler Clydefield, whom Whitebeard is very familiar with. This is the powerhouse of his era. Once alone, he could be on an equal footing with the Whitebeard Pirates and the Roger Pirates. Known as the Lonely Red, it was even more so because of his arrogance that he had a solo battle with the former Marshal Marine and the current Commander Kong. In that battle, the former Marine Marshal Kong lost. Advertisement. Although he only lost half a move, it was also his defeat. In the end, Garp, who was driven by the Red Earl, picked it up, captured him in Impel Down, and imprisoned Eternal Hell. Although the Red Earl is old now, but the combat power is still not to be underestimated. Even if he faced Whitebeard, he had to deal with it extremely dignifiedly. But, that lunatic, after single-handling the Blackbeard pirates, will no doubt kill him. And, the descendant of the devil, wants the bullet on the Roger ship, this powerful one with the ability to combine fruit. 
Even he was defeated by that lunatic. The madman also slayed many pirates and impelled down eternal hell. Thinking of this, Whitebeard couldn't help but look shocked. And this time, there was an uproar between some marine soldiers and the bottom pirates. They don't have that much knowledge, they only know that the lunatic is very strong and has crushed the Blackbeard pirates and others. And after the shock, naturally they caught another message. That's what Magellan said, the lunatic has gone to naval headquarters and will arrive at the station later. I'm so special. 9. Many people were directly a little broken. If that kind of lunatic joins the field, what are they going to fight in this battle? Listen to the uproar at the scene. Sengoku and Whitebeard also took notice. Previously, they were also immersed in Zoro's one man duck and fell down. But now, the two have recovered. Then, the two were stunned again. Sengoku's face was ugly, and he really wanted to curse. Don't play like that, the station is now in chaos. If the lunatic joins the station, so what should they do in the battle between Marine and the Whitebeard pirates? The results are bound to be more confusing. Opposite Whitebeard. Whitebeard frowned deeply though, but if that lunatic came to the station, it might be a good thing for their Whitebeard pirates. Because the more chaotic the battle, the better for him the Whitebeard pirates. Zero seeking flowers. Whitebeard wished more people would come to naval headquarters. Thinking of this, Sengoku made up his mind. It can't go on like this any longer. The battle here must be quick. Try to solve the battle with the Whitebeard pirates before the madman arrives. After all, Sengoku knew how powerful that madman was. She cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm the other day. Now, impel down is happening. Sengoku was anxious. He looked at Aokiji and Kazaru sitting under the execution stand, and said solemnly. Pelusolino, Kuzan, the two of you will join the fight, we marines, we need to do our best. Advertisement. Both Kazaru and Aokiji nodded. They also knew the situation was urgent. But before Kazaru left, he didn't forget to talk to Sengoku. Mr. Sengoku, if I break my arms and legs in this battle, you will have to let Marine support me for the rest of my life. 5. Sengoku didn't care about Kazaru's words. Can he just break his arm and break his leg? Something is afraid of running faster than anyone else. Sengoku turned to look at Namikaze Minato. Minato, the execution platform will be handed over to you. If something goes wrong later, Garp and I will go off ourselves. The execution platform is left to you alone to guard. Sengoku said in a deep voice. Namikaze Minato nodded and smiled. Marshal Sengoku, don't worry. With me, no one can rob Ace. Of course, he still had another word that he didn't say. With him, no one would kill Ace. Sengoku nodded, looking at Minato's smile with a little peace of mind. After all, the power of Namikaze Minato is not fully revealed yet. Sengoku is still looking forward to his full strength. After ordering Kazaru and Aokiji off the field, Sengoku's gaze turned to the seven warlords of the sea in front of the formation. Although Shichibukai is now only three people left, Moria is being taken care of by the Whitebeard pirates and others, and has basically lost her combat power. But Hakai, Shang, and Empress almost didn't take any shots. Sengoku couldn't help but curse the Shichibukai in his heart. He picked up the megaphone bug and said, Now, first order, Marine and the Whitebeard pirates go to war. If anyone escapes from battle and fights to catch fish, don't blame me for settling accounts in the autumn. Hearing Sengoku's words, Kazaru, who was flying slowly ahead, couldn't help but glance back. Seeing that Sengoku wasn't looking at him, Kazaru breathed a sigh of relief. Eagle Eye, Bear, and Empress naturally knew what Sengoku was talking about. But, except the bear took two steps forward and started to shoot. The Empress and Hawkeye were still standing in place, without any intention of making a move. Because the Empress has her own goals, she came here to watch the battle. Hawkeye, on the other hand, heard the news that Zoro's madman was about to arrive at the station, and a fighting spirit ignited. For Zoro, the third-ranked player in the kendo list, Hawkeye has long been piercing his ears. Therefore, he has been adjusting his state and preparing to fight Zoro with all his strength. Even he has lost interest in Beasta now and is wholeheartedly preparing for the battle with Zoro. Watching this scene, Sengoku was helpless. And the other side. Watching Admiral Kazaru and Aokiji attack, Beasta on the Moby Dick also looked at Whitebeard. Dad, I'll go first. 35. Whitebeard nodded hard. Beasta, be careful. Beasta smiled faintly and drew out the two long knives from his waist. Kaden Kyokutsu, let's play a game together. Chuan. 77. The Devil of Hell, Kenpachi came to the top of the battlefield. Ha 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 ha, let's fight. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. After Marshal Sengoku's life order, almost all of the marines moved and launched an all-out attack on the Whitebeard pirates. Admiral Kazaru and Aokiji are also on their way to the station. With two swords in hand, Bista flew out of the Moby Dick. Seeing this, Kebi's face couldn't help but move. Ding. The two long knives collided in midair. Seeing this, Kazaru and Aokiji couldn't help but stop not far from Kebi's body. The two also thought that Kirby was going to fight Bista, so they watched it with interest. 
But, after Kirby collided with Beasta's long knife, they had a long chat. Kirby looked at Beasta, his brows dignified. On the other hand, Beasta's face was calm, mixed with a smile. Kirby, are you going to stop me? Beasta said lightly. Kirby shook his head. No, I just want to ask you, don't kill them. 995. Now the sea, after all, still needs them to maintain justice. Kirby said, if they stop me from rescuing Ace, then. Kirby nodded. When necessary, I will help you rescue that guy. Although I don't want to save a pirate. Beasta, 433, smiled. Then, the cream hand suddenly took advantage of it. Kirby's figure flew upside down in an instant, and was knocked away by Beasta 100 meters away. Kazaru and Aokiji's eyes changed. What happened to these two? It was like saying a few words there just now. And after that, Kirby was blasted away. This is the newly promoted admiral on their marine side, and his strength has been verified. Definitely not lower than either of Kazaru and Aokiji. But it was directly hit by this Beasta. I don't care about Kirby, who was knocked into the air by himself. Beasta's eyes turned to Kazaru and Aokiji. Wearing a floral shirt, Beasta's mouth and feet turned up. Two admirals, let's play the game. Hearing Vista's words, Kazaru and Aokiji's expressions changed. This man is going to dare to challenge the two Marine Admiral. Although they admit that the gold list is released today. Marine Admiral's level of powerhouse emerges. The madman from the town Duck and Pell Down doesn't know how strong he is. However, you can't look down on the two of them so much. In this sea, who dares to say that one person can challenge two Marine Admiral? The faces of the two are a bit ugly. Kazaru pouted. Advertisement. Brother Bista, your tone is too loud, isn't it? Although you're the fifth in the kendo list, you can't look down on me like that, can you? Kazaru said, frost hand pulled in front of him. A golden lightsaber was taken out by Kazaru, full of force. Aokiji is also not showing weakness. Frost held her hands in front of her. A flickering ice blade appeared in the hand clock. Armament hockey clings to it, blessing the defense and power of the ice blade. Seeing this scene, Bista smiled. I just said, play a game with the two of you. Aokiji shook his head. The battle of the strong is never a game. Bista smiled. If that's the case, then. It's two long knives formed a cross in front of him. The flowers are chaotic, the flower gods cry, the sky is chaotic, and the demons sneer. 99. Kaden Kyokutsu. Bista's voice fell softly, not far away, Kebi's eyes narrowed. And Kazaru and Aokiji both looked alike. However, the scene that appeared in front of the two made them a little surprised. Bista, turned his hands over. Then, the originally two narrow long knives turned into two wide knives. Does this make any difference? The two were a little surprised and didn't understand what Bista was doing. But Bista smiled. The game is on, he thought for a while. For the first time, let's be a ghost. Bista raised the long knife in his left hand, and the long knife flashed a touch of light. Aokiji and Kazaru were even more puzzled. At this time, Bista looked at Kazaru, who was wearing an orange-yellow plaid suit, and Aokiji, who was wearing a blue shirt with white insides. Then this time, let's choose what we all have, white. Bista's voice fell. Kazaru and Aokiji are still unknown. Next moment, Kazaru smiled and attacked Vista. The Tiankong cloud sword slashed through a golden light and slashed straight at Bista. Bista raised his hand to block it. Another long knife waved. Brush. Kazaru's clothes were cut off. However, the place where Bista was slashed was white. Kazaru's expression changed during the battle, and his face turned pale. Aokiji frowned. Pelusolino. Kazaru is also frowning. No more jokes. His ability is very strange. He obviously didn't hit me, but I was injured. Aokiji's expression changed. Advertisement. The two looked at Bista with unprecedented solemnity. This ability is too weird. Although they know that Bista is also likely to be a strong man in the jingling court. But he never imagined that Bista's ability would be so strange. Make them invisible at all. The two frowned and did not dare to attack for a while. But Bistako didn't listen. A stormy attack came from his hand. Kaden Kyokutsu slashed out again and again, and slashed at the two of them. Kazaru and Aokiji resisted warily. But because I can't figure out Bista's ability. When the three finally separated, Aokiji and Kazaru still have many wounds. The two were scarred, and their eyes were full of solemnity as they looked at Bista. Bista shook his head. Let's switch to another game. Shadow Ghost. After Bista finished speaking, his figure flashed and he came to Kazaru. He slashed at Kazaru with a long sword in his hand. Kazaru's expression changed, and he raised his sword to resist. Bista's mouth and feet twitched when he saw this. Another long knife stabbed at Kazaru's shadow on the ground. Kazaru looked at this scene, his mind was confused. And in the next moment, cold sweat broke out on Kazaru's forehead and shoulders, and he hurriedly turned and left. But even so, Kazaru's abdomen was still bleeding. In just a moment his beige plaid suit was dyed red. Aokiji's complexion changed, and Kazaru's complexion was even more ugly. The two of them looked at Bista with extreme solemnity. Why is this Bista's ability so strange? 
Before you know it, you fall into his tricks. Beasta smiled and looked at the two and said again. Point zero. This time, it's a brand new ghost. The words fall. Beasta took the lead in the sky. Kazaru and Aokiji are still unknown. The next moment, Beasta snapped his fingers. I won. Subsequently, Beasta stabbed the two of them from top to bottom. The two knives were still unremarkable. But when hitting the duo, the expressions of the two changed greatly. Kazaru's hand clock's Amakusa cloud sword was severed by violent flames. Aokiji wasn't much better either, the hand clock covered with a thickly armed skating blade broke. Beasta's two long knives and shields slashed in front of them respectively. Blood flow. The two flew upside down. Advertisement. Kazaru and Aokiji's faces turned pale. Apparently had some injuries. However, neither of them are fools, and their fighting wisdom is strong. Looking at each other, Kazaru spoke first. Kuzan, his ability, should have something to do with the rules. Beautiful ghost, it should be the color of the opponent's body that has been cut, and it can be blessed with power strikes. Shadow ghosts can strike from the shadow of the opponent. And the new ghost just now, it seems that the higher the standing, the better. Aokiji nodded solemnly. That's probably why he said he would play games with us. Five. Kazaru nodded. Then, golden light flickered. Kazaru dashed up. In midair, Kazaru's frosty hands gleamed with gold. Eight feet Joan Tomo. Countless golden light particles shot towards Bista, and the ground was splashed with smoke and dust. Kazaru dared to take the power of his own blow, and was convinced of what he had just thought in his heart. Really, the higher the station, the stronger the power and blessing. Aokiji, not far away, also discovered this. But at this moment, Aokiji's expression changed. Kazaru, be careful. Bista's voice came from Kazaru's ears. Marine Admiral is phenomenal, just a few games to see what I'm capable of. But I forgot to tell you, I can change the rules at will. 39. Ghost, yellow, brush. Bista pierced it from the thickness of the yellow 4.4 ape with a knife. The long knife was pierced with blood. Although Bista didn't try to kill Kazaru, he just stabbed it, not hitting the spot. But after being hit by a ghost, Kazaru is still not light. He spit out a large mouthful of blood, turned his head to look at Bista in amazement, and his eyes were full of horror. Aokiji's face was ugly, and he was ready to help Kazaru. But at this moment, the two tsunami frozen ice sheets around naval headquarters shook. Then, the two layers of ice suddenly exploded. A silhouette of golden Rayatsu came down, smashing the entire naval headquarters to the ground. Ha 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 ha, come and fight. The figure looked around the room, and was the first to see Whitebeard standing on the Moby Dick. The figure's expression changed, and he rushed out with extremely fanatical eyes. The ground trembles, and the fearful Rayatsu erupts. Bista's expression changed. He doesn't care about Kazaru and Aokiji anymore. Bista broke out at full speed and rushed towards the Moby Dick. Sengoku and others also changed their expressions. They looked intently, then looked shocked. That madman, here we come. 78. Buggy. I can't control this madman, anyone who gets mad will cut it. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On the Moby Dick. Whitebeard's eyes narrowed, looking at the figure that was shrouded in golden Rayatsu, rushing towards him. Whitebeard clung to the clock and the big razor clump of clouds cut. He could feel the fearful aura coming from the other party's body. This one is definitely an extremely powerful person. Whitebeard didn't dare to be careless, and his whole body was tense to ultimate. And Zoro was still laughing and slashing away at Whitebeard. At the top of the station, many people stopped fighting. They couldn't help but look in the direction of the Moby Dick. When they saw that figure, many people were slightly taken aback, and some did not understand why. They have only heard about the Battle of Cake Island, and few people know Zoro's true appearance. However, looking at the Captain Howry that Zoro was wearing, they still had some guesses. Could it be that this one took off Charlotte Linlin's arm? The one from Impel Down who hit the duck not long ago. Everyone's expressions moved slightly, and they watched in shock as Zoro slashed at Whitebeard. And on the execution stand, Sengoku watched Zoro appear, and was nervous for a moment. But Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief after seeing Zoro go to cut Whitebeard. Even, Sengoku is still cheering for Zoro in his heart. If this one strikes Whitebeard to death, then this battle will be a good one. Sengoku has his own good calculations. Everyone around was watching Zoro make his move. The eagle's eyes were frozen, and the fighting spirit was violently agitated all over his body. The world powerhouses watching the battle also held their breaths. Could this one be the lunatic? Cake Island. The Charlotte family is also watching the live broadcast of the battle at Marine 20 headquarters. Their home stealing operation is almost in progress. A lot of land has been grabbed. All that remains is to wait for the outcome of the battle between naval headquarters and Whitebeard. Otherwise, even if they took all of Whitebeard's territory, it would be useless. In the end, it will be taken back by Whitebeard. So Charlotte Linlin took it as soon as possible. After grabbing some territory, she let Katakori and others come back. Everyone watched the live broadcast together. At this time, 
Seeing the figure of the madman appear, the expressions of Katakori and the others changed suddenly. Charlotte Linlin's face in the main seat was even more gloomy. Her left arm is still empty. These are all thanks to that madman. Looking at Zoro's figure in the picture, hatred appeared in Charlotte Linlin's eyes. Perospero said angrily at this time. Mom, it's this guy who cut off one of your arms. I just stay away now, or I'll have to go to him to avenge my mother. Advertisement. Perospero said, hatred in his eyes. Katakori and the others were full of contempt. This Perospero, forgot when he was cut by that lunatic. Why didn't Perospero dare to speak later? In front of that madman, he would only pretend to be a grandson. Is it more powerful now? Everyone was very disdainful of Perospero. Charlotte Linlin in the main seat laughed and looked at Perospero. Perospero, I'm really glad you can have this kind of filial piety. Then, take someone to naval headquarters and bring me the head of that lunatic. When Charlotte Linlin said this, the audience fell silent. Perospero froze in embarrassment. He remembered Zoro's madness again. Charlotte Linlin's face changed. Mom, naval headquarters is far away from us. It will take a week to get there, and it will take five days at the earliest. By that time, the war must have already ended. 35. Perospero said hesitantly, with an embarrassed expression on his face. Katakori and the others were more and more disdainful of him. And this time, just when everyone thought Charlotte Linlin was just kidding. Charlotte Linlin gets up in the main seat. The fearful conqueror's hockey erupted all over her. Charlotte Linlin looked at Katakori. Prepare the battleship, my mother is going to naval headquarters to seek revenge for the madman for the broken arm. Charlotte Linlin said, the audience fell silent again. Katakori's complexion changed drastically. Cracker and others also looked nervous. Mum, that's naval headquarters. Let's go, not just the lunatic, but marines. It's time. Hearing marine, Charlotte Linlin looked disdainful. Marines bastards are still trying to destroy the Whitebeard pirates and take our four emperors to power. But you know, the Redhead and Kaido have gone to naval headquarters. Charlotte Linlin said, stepping out. The faces of Katakori and the others were also thoughtful. Charlotte Linlin laughed. How can I miss this kind of battle? Marine, he he, and that lunatic, this time, the old lady must report her past humiliation. Charlotte Linlin said as she boarded the battleship and headed for naval headquarters. She had her arm cut off by Zoro, which made her angry for a long time. And the four emperors are all emperors on the sea, how could they yield or be afraid? And originally, Charlotte Linlin had the intention of participating in this top battle. After all, such a grand competition, without him Charlotte Linlin, it would be a pity. The whole world thought that Charlotte Linlin was afraid of Marine. Advertisement. Now that she saw that lunatic appearing at the station, she couldn't help it in a blink of an eye. At the same time that the Big Mom Pirate Group came out. Naval Headquarters. Zoro laughed wildly, his eyes like a fearful beast. He looked at Whitebeard and cut down without hesitation. But didn't wait for Whitebeard to resist. Beast's figure appeared in front of Zoro. Double knives out. The two long knives collided, and the air waves exploded in circles. Now, even Whitebeard on the side was a little shaken, unable to open his eyes due to the wind. The ice layer trembled, and the three whale boats trembled slightly. Beast's figure was pushed upside down by Zoro, and the two fought fiercely in midair. The waves of fear exploded in circles. Watching this scene, Kazaru and Aokiji looked at each other. Afterwards, the two of them were full of bitterness. Kazaru looked at Aokiji and shook his head. It turns out that he was fighting with us without all his strength. Aokiji nodded melancholy. Yes, the two of them were silent for a while as they watched Bista, who was fighting back and forth with Zoro at the moment. And the two men in the air fought for a while. Zoro stopped and watched Bista shake his head. Boring. 9. It's not that I haven't fought with you, it's boring. Zoro shook his head. Bista's face was ugly. Buggy, why are you here to take care of this lunatic for me? Bista roar was born. If it wasn't for his quick reaction just now. This lunatic is about to fight Whitebeard. Father Whitebeard's body is like that now, and the damage will definitely not be low in a fight with this lunatic. When Buggy listened to Bista's words, his figure also fell from the air. However, when he looked at Bista, he spread his hands and looked helpless. I can't handle this lunatic. He's crazy to even cut me down, not to mention Whitebeard. When the audience heard Buggy's words, they were speechless for a while. Bista is also holding the forehead. But he looked at Zoro with a firm expression on his face. If you want to cut, Go cut the people on Marine's side, and there are many of them strong. 35. Otherwise, you're going to fight Father Whitebeard, and I won't agree. Bista said with a decided look on his face. Zoro stood there and thought about it. It's too boring to fight with you, your Bankai is okay. Bista shook his head. Advertisement. You know your lord's rules, my Bankai, can't be used against you. Hearing his words, Zoro nodded, his face full of regret. Unfortunately, I still want to taste your Bankai 437. Bista still shook his head. Subsequently, Zoro rolled his eyes and looked towards Marine. His line of sight was the first to see Namikaze Minato under the execution stand. 
Namikaze Minato looked at him with a smile, without any intention of making a move. Zoro was helpless and looked at Sengoku and Garp again. Immediately, his eyes lit up. The murderous intent in those eyes appeared again. Brush. The figure flashed, and Zoro rushed out. Sengoku's heart skipped a beat when he looked at Zoro who was coming towards him and others. Let this lunatic come over, and don't ask for the execution stand. Garp. Sengoku said solemnly. Garp beside him nodded. Armament hockey condensed on his fist. Boom. Zoro's figure descended to the execution platform. Garp punched him. But when the fist collided with Zoro's blade, Garp's expression changed. He really wanted to scold her. But the next moment, before Garp scolded, its body shape is very ruthless fly upside down. The huge office building of naval headquarters was shattered when the shield was hit by Garp. Then, before Garp arrived, Zoro moved and chased away. Boom. Boom. The huge naval headquarters. Since this lunatic came, it has been roaring inappropriately. Garp cursed in his mouth while fighting Zoro with all his strength. However, after fighting for a while, Garp was opened several times by Zoro, dripping with blood. Zoro stopped and watched Garp shake his head slightly. Boring. 35. As soon as these words came out, the whole place fell silent. What did this madman just say? Fight the marine hero, Garp the fist. He was so boring. Hash. Countless people raised an uproar. Ask for free data such as monthly passes, big guys. 79. Zoro versus the world's largest swordsman before the war, three knives kill. Hawkeye's self-doubt. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this time. Hawkeye pulled out the thick black knife knight and looked at Zoro with a burning gaze. Hawkeye stepped forward, and the sword intent of the whole body rose to the sky. Zoro felt the sword intent, like a hungry beast smelling blood. Zoro's eyes moved, and he looked at Hawkeye who was walking towards him. Hawkeye's face was serious, and he clenched the black knife knight tightly. It still seems to have a very unique temperament. The aura seemed to be out of tune with the surroundings. But Zoro's eyes lit up. He can feel it. That was the war intent from Hawkeye. That was from Hawkeye's unique fighting intent towards him. Your Excellency, can you fight me? Hawkeye looked at Zoro and asked. However, when he was talking, the Black Knife Knight of the Eagle-Eyed Hand Clock was already ready to start. Seeing this scene, many people present were shocked. Countless people watching the live broadcast also changed their expressions. Hey, look, the former world number one Dajin Hao, Eagle Eye, is going to challenge that lunatic. Hawkeye is the seventh in the Kendo list, and the lunatic is the third in the Kendo list, is there any comparability between the two? 35. It can't be said that, although the madman ranks higher than Hawkeye. But don't you think that Hawkeye has a unique temperament? 5. Could it be that he will definitely lose in the face of this lunatic? When the strong fight, life and death can be decided in an instant. 35. Many people have this idea. They look at me and I look at you, and they think this idea is quite right. With anticipation in everyone's eyes, they stared at Hawkeye and Zoro. And the scene, there are also countless people who stopped the battle in the book. This is the first time that two strong men on the Kendo list have fought each other. One of them was the former world number one Dajin Hao. They were looking forward to the battle between these two swordsmen. And Zoro listened to Hawkeye's words, and the fighting intent in his eyes became stronger and stronger. Ha 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 ha, of course. 35. Finally met a decent swordsman. The impel down can't stop me, and those old guys are also powerless. 35. I hope you can stop me a few more knives. 99. Zoro looked at Hawkeye and said with a big laugh. On the execution stand, hearing Zoro's words, Sengoku couldn't help but shrink his eyes. The guy in the mouth of this lunatic couldn't stop him, could it be Shiryu of the rain? Those old guys, could it be that it was Earl Red and others? Sengoku's face was astringent and solemn. And Garp came back to him at this time. Garp condensed. This madman is too strong. Sengoku shook his head. Advertisement. I saw Garp's face was solemn. This lunatic is just like the Shuangwu of Shaoji that I faced back then. Furthermore, in the normal state of the madman in front of him, he is like the full power of that Shuangwu of Shaoji. Garp's voice fell. Sengoku's eyes widened. How can that be? Just when Sengoku was shocked, Hawkeye looked at Zoro, and the fighting intent was already condensed to the extreme. Your Excellency, then, I'll take action. Hawkeye's words fell. Black Knife Knight vertical split. A 100 meter high sword chi shot towards Zoro on his shoulder. Zoro laughed, but just when everyone in the outside world was speculating about how he would respond, Zoro put down his hand clock instead. Instead, bare your chest. Everyone looked stunned. Instead of waiting for them to be surprised, Hawkeye's knife had already hit Zoro. Chi Chi. It's like the original scene is reproduced. Just like Hawkeye slashed at the weak Zoro. But, Zoro at that time was a pure rookie for Hawkeye. Even the opponent can't be called the existence that will only be killed by a single knife under the eagle eye. But today's Zoro, he is not the Zoro in the original book, he is a thousand times stronger now. Zoro laughed and greeted Hawkeye's knife without any precautions. 
Hawkeye's eyes were full of shock, shocked by Zoro's aura. Boom. Zoro's entire body was suddenly smashed back by Hawkeye. Zoro's feet plowed a ravine hundreds of meters on the ground. Countless people stared at this shocking scene. The smoke slowly dissipated. Many people looked at Zoro nervously. They can just see. This lunatic had no defense at all, and just took Hawkeye's knife. So this lunatic, he must be seriously injured if he doesn't die. This is the thinking of all normal people. Because even the Marine Admiral, or the Four Emperors. If they were unprepared and suffered the knife just now, they would be seriously injured even if they didn't die. Although this lunatic perverted, he wouldn't be able to pervert to the point where he was harmless, right? Just in front of everyone's expectations. The smoke dissipated. Blood spurted from Zoro's chest. But he was still laughing. Ha 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 ha, your knife is quite strong. As expected of the world's no. One Dalton John Howe. Everyone's faces in naval headquarters were frozen, and their brains were sluggish. This. They didn't expect it wrong. The madman was injured. Advertisement. But, how can this lunatic laugh? Just when countless people were shocked and shocked. Zoro continued to laugh, as if he didn't care about the bloody cut on his chest. Hawkeye. Dracula Mahawk. I remember you. 99. Then next, it's my turn. Zoro shook hands with the clock sword, and the golden Reiatsu rose into the sky. Faced with the best opponent, I will use all my strength to give you respect. 5. Zoro laughed and opened his left eye. The top station was shocked. For Zoro this knife, Hawkeye also had a dignified expression and raised his knife to meet him. But, right under Zoro's knife, the eagle-eyed hand clock and the black knife trembled at night, almost unable to stop Zoro's powerful power. Hawkeye's expression changed suddenly, but the next moment, Zoro's knife arrived. Brush. A more violent knife fell. The black knife trembled at the beginning of the night. The ground dozens of meters below Hawkeye's body crumbled inch by inch, almost unable to withstand the extremely powerful force. And the third knife. Zoro raised his sword and slashed horizontally. Brush. Hawkeye spurted blood from his mouth, and the hat on his head was blown away by a powerful air wave. Hawkeye was also blown away by Zoro, hitting the tall ice on both sides of naval headquarters. The ice on one side shook and then collapsed. Three swords fell, the former world number one Dalton John Howe. Hawkeye. Defeat. The whole place was silent. Countless people looked at the madman with his upper body bare, and their faces were full of shock. Now, whether it is on sight or at sea, no one can speak, and no one can have any superfluous thoughts in their hearts. And this time, in the silence of the pirates and marine in the audience, a tall pirate ship came slowly from outside the port. When approaching, everyone on the pirate ship jumped and landed on the ice. The red hair was wearing a black robe and walked in the forefront leading the crowd of red hair pirates. They finally arrived at the top of the station. So, it's time to end the battle that consumed both marines and pirates. There was determination in the redhead's eyes. Before following the captain's orders to find Joey Boy. This sea cannot be completely chaotic. Thinking of this, the redhead walked slowly with Ben Beckman and the rest of the crew. But, walking on the ice, everyone fast forwarded to naval headquarters. But still no one was shocked by their arrival. And what's up with this naval headquarters? There was no sound of fighting at all. The redhead frowned. Advertisement. Lakalu and others joked. Quote dot dot dot. Backquote Captain Idiot. Look at your leadership. Our pirate group has lost even this prestige. 99. I just want to know, are we a fake four emperor's regiment? 95. Otherwise, we have all arrived here, and it has not caused the slightest sensation. Rekalu said. The rest of the crowd also made fun of the red hair. Redhead with black lines all over his forehead. But he wasn't in the mood to joke. Because he was impressed, there was something wrong with this naval headquarters. The crowd continued on. Almost all of them have come to the pirate ship under Whitebeard's command. Even some of Whitebeard's pirates saw them. However, no one had the slightest reaction to their arrival. This time, Red Hair Pirates was completely confused. What happened just now? Due to the rush to travel, the signal on board is also very unstable. So they didn't watch the live broadcast of the battle at all. No idea what just happened to naval headquarters. Everyone frowned and continued to walk forward. The redhead entered the naval headquarters aggressively with a group of Red Hair Pirates. They crossed a group of pirate ships under Whitebeard's command and came to the tall Moby Dick. Finally, many people saw the arrival of Red Hair Pirates. But, woo good Zhao. Those people's eyes were only slightly surprised. Then it was gone. Turn around and look all in one direction. Everyone was shocked. There was even a hint of awe. Looking at this scene, the red hair couldn't help it at all. He was about to speak, but was stopped by Ben Beckman, the co-captain. Ben Beckman's face became extremely dark, and he looked in one direction. The red-haired and the others looked at them in disbelief. The topless Zoro appeared in front of everyone. The bloody wound on his chest caught his eye. But, despite such wounds, the common man may have died long ago. But Zoro, still standing in the same place, didn't even tremble. There was no sign of pain on the face. It seems that this wound is sparse and common to him. 
Everyone followed Zoro's gaze. Subsequently, the red-haired eyes narrowed. The eyes of Ben Beckman and others were full of shock. I've got a big weed. The redhead scolded the mother in his heart. What did he see? The world's first Dejanhao Hawkeye. He is now lying beside the distant ice layer. There was a big pool of blood in front of him. Hawkeye opened his eyes, ignoring the tear-like pain at the wound. He just stared at Zoro with eyes full of self-doubt and shock. Red Hair Pirates was stunned on the spot, then burst into shock. 80. The kendo list is refreshed, and the second change. Zoro. Who is shocked? That is my master. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In Red Hair Pirates. Yusop looked at the redhead in shock and swallowed deeply. Captain. Am I right? Hawkeye. Was defeated. Still defeated so badly. 39. That guy's kendo is stronger than you. Now that he has been rewarded by the kendo ranking, his strength is not even lower than you before. 5. But now, Yusop spoke halfway and couldn't speak any more. Ben Beckman and others were also shocked, unable to say a word. And redheads too. The tall and straight figure stood on the spot, and his eyes were full of unbelievable colors. The redhead's mind was also full of disbelief. He knew how strong Hawkeye was. Because he had fought against Hawkeye many times before. And before the redhead doesn't use conqueror's entanglement skills like this, he and Hawkeye are both winners and losers. This is enough to show that Hawkeye's strength is definitely at the top of the sea. But, Hawkeye now, the hat on the head has no idea where to go. There was a large pool of blood under his body, and blood continued to flow from the wound. And, that's not what scares the redhead the most. What surprised him the most? It's Hawkeye's sword, Black Sword Knight. As the world's number one swordsman, Hawkeye is addicted to swords. Therefore, his Black Sword Knight will always be in the body. Even sleeping is no exception. But now, Hawkeye's black knife was inserted 100 meters away from him at night. And Hawkeye opened his eyes, but he didn't have the slightest intention to retrieve his sword. What does that mean? It means that Hawkeye has definitely experienced a fiasco. This fiasco even made Hawkeye doubt himself. Doubt your own kendo. Thinking of these, the red-haired heart can no longer maintain peace. And this time, Black Blade Knight 437 was inserted into the ground, surrounded by many marines and pirates. They all saw this supreme sword. Black Blade Knight, what many swordsmen dreamed of at this time. Even in the past because of Hawkeye's title of the world's number one swordsman. Hei Dao Yi was also dazzled by this, and was known as the first place in the supreme sword. Who will not be moved when they see this knife? Therefore, looking at this long knife so close at hand, many marines and pirates could not restrain their desires. Next moment, the people around Hei Dao Yi moved. Their faces were still full of greed. Black Saber Knight is mine. Take him, I will be the world's no. One Dejan Hao. Black Saber Knight is mine, no one will rob me. 99. Bloody war broke out. Everyone in the 100 meters around Hei Daoye began to fight. But finally, advertisement. The Knight of the Black Knife was acquired by Vice Admiral, a Marine's branch. Holding the Black Knife Knight, the eyes of Vice Admiral of that branch were full of joy and anger. This is Black Blade Knight, something that countless swordsmen dream of. His face froze and he laughed wildly. Countless people looked at this scene with complicated faces. And Hawkeye, who used to regard Black Saber Knight as more important than his own life. He's doing nothing about this scene now. If he wants to get back the Black Knife Knight. Even if he is still seriously injured at the moment. Even if he has no sword in his hand. But that branch, Vice Admiral, will still not be the enemy of Eagle Eye. But Eagle Eye, indifferent. Countless people looked at this scene with complicated expressions. But at this time, Zoro looked at Hawkeye who fell to the ground and said. You are my opponent. 99. It's not bad to be able to pick up the three knives with all my strength. You are proud enough to know that Impel Down, the head guard, didn't catch a single knife. Boom. Zoro's voice Kai fell, and the audience fell silent again. Red hair pirate's eyes widened. What did they hear? What am I? Hawkeye only took that madman's three swords. My second Olympic. 99. The red haired eyes suddenly widened. And that sentence, Impel Down, what kind of warden, didn't even catch him. Does this mean that Shiryu of the rain? F asterisk K. The redhead was full of curses. And at this time, Hawkeye, who was lying on the ground, heard Zoro's voice and recovered slightly. He looked at Zoro, barely able to squeeze a smile on his face. Yes, you are really the most powerful swordsman I have ever seen, I really want to become stronger and defeat you. Hawkeye's voice was extremely melancholy. This sentence is what he used to say to countless opponents who died under his hands. But today, it was his turn. Although Hawkeye knew that day would come. But I never thought that this day would come so soon. Hawkeye closed his double acting and accepted death lightly. The swordsman's battle, go forward bravely. The loser has only death. But, hearing Hawkeye's words, Zoro shook his head and laughed. Then quickly become stronger, and then come and defeat me. This world is too boring, and I need to train my opponents myself, it's really boring. 
Zoro finished speaking, ignoring the shocking gazes of everyone around him. His beast-like eyes turned and looked at the branch vice admiral who was holding the Black Saber Knight. Golden Rayatsu outbreak. Zoro didn't even use a knife, and crushed that branch vice admiral into mashed meat. Zoro's face was still full of disgust. How can the weak use the sword of the strong? 39. Even if you lose to a strong man like me, that's not something that weak people like you can humiliate. Advertisement. Zoro finished speaking and walked to Hawkeye's side. Hey, don't die, I'm still waiting for you to challenge me. The world's no. One Dajin how, this title should be discarded. Because the number one in the world is something you can't imagine. Zoro said, his eyes couldn't help becoming very serious. Hawkeye lay on the ground and silently took over his black sword knight. Subsequently, Zoro looked at Buggy. Hey, Red Nose. Buggy looked ugly. I said, don't call me Red Nose. Zoro didn't care. Red Nose, treat him, don't let him die. I'm still waiting for him to get stronger. Buggy was helpless, but did so anyway. He took out a few small pills and some special devices, and sutured the wound where Hawkeye was cut by Zoro. After a while, Hawkeye's injury was successfully controlled by Buggy. Zoro looked at Buggy with interest. Hey, Red Nose. Let me cut that worm out of you. Buggy's face changed greatly when he heard this. Don't stare at my little cutie. Zoro looked disgusted. You'll release it later and let everyone see if it's cute. The eagle eye on the side was speechless. The two are still chatting here. However, after such an interruption, the top station also recovered calmly. And the redhead also noticed Buggy. Hey, Buggy, long time no see. The red hair calmed down and shook his heart, looking at Buggy's eyes with curiosity. This Buggy is also wearing the same Captain Howry as Zoro. Could it be that he also became a member of the 13th Division of the Guardian? The red-haired face was full of doubts. And Buggy was even more displeased when he saw the red hair. It turned out to be an idiot with red hair. Red hair pirates. Ha ha ha. Idiot captains are idiots everywhere. Red hair. And this time, at the top of the station, many people discovered that red hair pirates was coming. Sengoku frowned, looked at the red hair and said condensedly. Redhead Shanks, what are you guys doing here? But I haven't waited for the redhead to reply. The sacred golden list in the sky was shocked again. Above the battle power list, the next list will be released. On the top of the station, the field fell silent again, and everyone looked at the battle power list. First place in the red hair pirates list, Captain Red Hair Shanks. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Armament hockey, observation hockey top. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket second red hair pirates power ranking. Deputy Captain, Ben Beckman. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Observation hockey top. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket red hair pirates. Close black lens bracket. Red hair pirates power list released. The red haired and the others closed their eyes slightly, all accepting the reward of the golden list. Ben Beckman's eyes lit up. Advertisement. Hey, redhead, do you feel it? Five. I have awakened to the sight of seeing the future. Ben Beckman was overjoyed and a little shocked in his eyes. Unexpectedly, this top-level knowledge-colored look directly awakened the knowledge-colored look that foresees the future. And the redhead nodded. What I have awakened is the voice of all things. 99. The red-haired voice fell. Everyone at Red Hair Pirates was taken aback. Then they were shocked. Ben Beckman looked dull. What's so special? Idiots have stupid blessings. 35. F asterisk K. The voice of everything. This is the ability of Roger, the Pirate King. Yusop and others looked envious. Captain Idiot, your luck. Redhead. How can I wake up only by luck? Red hair pirate slapstick. And this time, a madman's eyes also turned to look at them. Zoro carried Zanpakuto, with war intent in his eyes. Hey, this is the same as the Blackbeards. By accepting the gold medal reward, your strength must have improved a lot, right? 35. Zoro said. After that, many people around came to think of it. The strength of Blackbeard and others is already very strong. After the release of the battle power list, the entire Blackbeard team also received a big boost. However, Blackbeard's gang is still being brushed. Many people who thought of this changed their expressions. I got a weed. That said, this lunatic waited for Blackbeard and others to accept the reward before moving his hand. Depend on. Many people scolded mother in their hearts. The redhead also looked at Zoro solemnly. He knew that Zoro was very strong. So he can't be careless, his heart is full of dignified. Red found that he couldn't help but feel ridiculous about his previous thoughts. With the red hair pirates, he had wanted to end the fight. But now, with their strength alone, do they still want to end the battle? Redhead shook his head, completely abandoned that idea and prepared to take a step-by-step -step look. On the execution platform, Sengoku felt slightly relieved. Fortunately, the maniac is a fighting maniac, and it is against the red hair pirates. Otherwise, if the red hair and others came, he really didn't know how to deal with it. This is a four emperor's regiment after all. Now Marine, 
facing two four emperor's regiments at the same time, is really reluctant. However, just when Zoro grinned and was about to start, Jinbang was shocked again. But this time, it's not a change in the battle power list. It's the kendo list. Also at this time, Zoro's expression changed as he carried the jagged Zanpakuto on his shoulders. Looking in one direction, his eyes showed shock. 81. The audience was shocked, who can be the master of this madman? Sister Wa is ranked second in the kendo list. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. Countless people stopped fighting and looked up. Even the little Oz who fought with a Kainu temporarily stopped. Everyone raised their eyes and looked at the sacred golden list in the sky. And this sight shocked everyone in the whole sea. On the execution stand, Sengoku narrowed his eyes. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard's eyes were horrified. Countless marines and pirates were shocked by the scene. Even the people of jingling courts such as Kebi, or Akatsuki's Namikaze Minato. Each of them hearts are full of doubts. Because in the eyes of countless people at this time, the kendo list above the sacred golden list actually began to tremble. As if something was going to change. This shocked Sengoku and others, thinking that the number one in the kendo list will be released. But Namikaze Minato and others knew it. Number one on the kendo list, the name of that adult will never be released now. That adult has too many identities, too strong and too fearful. The golden list will never expose that adult now. So what is this kendo list mutation? Everyone at the scene was full of shock and doubt. And only Zoro, the madman who inherited the Zoraki Kenpachi template. Instead of looking at Jin Bang, his eyes looked in one direction. Feel the sense of despair coming from that direction. Even Zoro, the madman, was shocked. This may be his second shock. For the first time, it was to see that adult. And now, it's the second time. And the reason for this all comes from the breath coming from the distant void. The breath was too familiar to him. But Zoro was also full of disbelief. He turned his head to look at the mutated golden list. World government. Inside the five elders' office. The five elders present either sitting or standing. But at this moment, they all stood up, looking at the mutated kendo list with shock on their faces. What's going on? How can the kendo list tremble so violently? 35. Could it be that, sword fighting five elders spoke in shock, and the double acting under his eyes was already wide-eyed. He didn't even finish speaking. Because the words behind it are so shocking. So much so that he, the five elders, could no longer speak. The others didn't answer. Because they are also shocked in their hearts. That kendo list is so different. Could it be that the number one in the kendo list is about to be released? And before, advertisement. They also have some guesses about the first place in the kendo list. It's quite possible. It is the master of the first three forces, Lord Chu Sha. That's why everyone has such a shocking expectation for the number one in the kendo list. At the same time, the whole sea is also speculating about this. Because Chu Sha is too mysterious. The three forces created. Only Jing Lingting and Xiao, the strength they have now displayed has already crushed the entire world. So how strong will that adult be? The number one on the kendo list is bound to belong to that adult. This idea is now recognized by almost everyone. Countless people looked at the kendo ranking and waited with anticipation for the first release. What a shocking scene that would be. Can see the strength of that adult. Even if it is just kendo, it is bound to shock the whole world. Countless people watched quietly, their eyes full of anticipation and tension. But, just under the spotlight, the kendo list was shocked. But it is not the first in the kendo list. Instead, its top list has changed. Sabo, who was originally second in the kendo rankings, dropped directly to third. Zoro, who was third in the kendo list, fell to fourth. The rest of the people all fell down one by one. On top of the station. Looking at this scene, the red hair wanted to cry without tears. He was originally in ninth. But now, he fell directly to tenth. The crew next to the red haired taunted their captain again. At the same time, the red haired face was black, and the heart was even more puzzled. Since the kendo list is not the first to be released. So, what is this doing? The red haired eyes were burning, and he looked at the second place that was vacant because of everyone's ranking. Also at this time, a line of golden characters slowly appeared on the vacant second position. Seeing the large golden characters, Zoro's hand trembled while carrying the jagged Zanpakuto. He looked at the name with shock and disbelief in his eyes. When Buggy and the others saw this, they also looked shocked. Bista showed a smile with anticipation in his eyes. So, it's her. Bista sighed, as if that was not what he said. It was the former captain of the 8th Division of the Soul Society, Hiraku Shunsui said. Little Oz, who still maintained Bankai, was also shocked. She came into this world herself. Quote dot 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 quote. Kebi's eyes shrank, and the surprise in his eyes was difficult to calm down for a long time. Under the influence of Chu Sha, maybe only Namikaze Minato is still very confused. Advertisement. Because he is from the world of Hokage and doesn't know the people of that world at all. But this did not prevent him from seeing the shock of Zoro and others. Especially Zoro, this lunatic who usually only fights, it can be said that he has never shown a shocked expression. 
But what's going on today? This lunatic, in shock. Namikaze Minato was full of surprise. And that name also appeared in the eyes of everyone in the world. Second place in the kendo list. Yunohana Retsu, Saber, Minazuki. Closed black lens bracket. Reason for the list. Yunohana Retsu, captain of the 4th division of the 13th division of the Gotei division. There are few rivals in the way of kendo, so he proclaimed himself kendo and switched to medicine. He used to be known as the 8000 Ryu of Yunowa, one of the founders of the 13th division of the Guardian, first generation Kenpachi, the founder of the title of Kenpachi. Close black lens bracket. Boom. Boom. Seeing that Sister Wa was on the list, countless people in the whole world were silent. The huge station on the top fell into a long silence again. Sengoku and the other's eyes widened, looking at the name and the reason for the list, they were shocked and surprised. Although they do not know who this Yunohana Retsu is, they have never heard of it. But maybe it's because Sister Wa was on the list, squeezing out everyone below the second. This time, the gold list actually gave the reason why Wa Jia was on the list. Looking at this reason, Sengoku and others were shocked. Simply shocked to the limit. What is the gold list talking about? Yunohana Retsu, captain of the 4th division of the 13th division of Gotei. So far, Sengoku is still acceptable. After all, there are several captains in front of him. But further down, there are few rivals in the way of Kendo, so he proclaimed himself Kendo and switched to medicine. Up to this point, Sengoku is also acceptable. But what about the next sentence? He used to be known as the 8000 Ryu of Yunowa, one of the founders of the 13th division of the Guardian, first generation Kenpachi, the founder of the title of Kenpachi. I have a big weed. Sengoku turned to look at Garp. I saw that Garp was also looking at him with shock. One of the founders of the 13th division of the Guardian. First generation Kenpachi, founder of Kenpachi title. F asterisk K, countless shocking thoughts flashed through Sengoku's mind. One of the founders of the Gotei 13th division, this title shocked him to the core. And after that, there is also a first generation Kenpachi. If Sengoku remembers correctly, the madman in front of him is called Kenpachi, right? So it can be seen, what does the title of Kenpachi represent? That definitely means extremely powerful force. That is to say, this Yunohana Retsu, first generation Kenpachi, how could he be even stronger than the madman in front of him? This is the man who cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm and almost killed him. Not long ago, I single played the Blackbeard Pirates and all criminals in Impel Down Eternal Hell. I am so special, Sengoku really wanted to die on the spot. Advertisement. What's wrong with this world? How come one after another monster appeared one after another? Except for Sengoku, the pirate side is also shocked to the ultimate. Not even Zoro at all. Because they all inherit the character template. So they know everything about that world. Especially Zoro. He knew more about Sister Hua's swordsmanship and strength. Maybe he, Master Bankai, can fight with the former Wajia. But now, Sister Wa has also come to this world. So even if he is Bankai, can he win Sister Wa? Zoro's eyes were shocked, and he stood in the same place for a long time. For a long time, Zoro couldn't help laughing at himself. He remembered that he also called himself the first Kenpachi in the world. But now, that first generation Kenpachi, is back. Zoro shook his head and murmured. Master. The word, Master, is said by Zoraki Kenpachi. Because in that world, Sister Wa died of exhaustion in the battle with Kenpachi in order to be able to master Bankai. Zoro never understood what this was for. But now, he seemed to feel it. That might be because of the word Kenpachi. Zoro looked at the name of Sister Wa on the Kendo list and said seriously. Today, I Zoro recognize second generation Kenpachi. And this time, someone also heard Zoro's murmur. Someone said it in surprise. What? Then you know Hana Retsu is the master of this lunatic. As soon as the sailor opened his mouth, he hurriedly covered his mouth. He really wanted to give himself two big mouths. Can this be said nonsense? The sea soldier looked at Zoro hesitantly. And Zoro didn't even look at him. The sea soldier breathed a sigh of relief. But, his words were spread by ten, and then by a hundred, and quickly spread throughout the naval headquarters. Both the marine and the pirates were shocked. My god, what did you say? That Yunohana Retsu, is this lunatic's master. To teach this madman, how strong is Yunohana Retsu? 55. My god, unimaginable. What happened to this world? Countless people were shocked, and Kebi and others couldn't help but look forward to it. They also wanted to see the gentle-faced Wajia with the spring breeze blowing her face. I want to see how shocking it will make people move. 82. Sengoku throws an olive branch, Buggy joins the battle, open your claws and kill Jizo. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. The shocking atmosphere continued and could not be calmed down for a long time. Because Sister Hua's introduction is really too scary. It made everyone have extremely strong expectations for it. Hawkeye also stood up again after Buggy's recovery. Looking at the name of Sister Wa on the Kendo list. Hawkeye's eyes could not help revealing strong anticipation. That lunatic Kenpachi is so strong. Then how strong will his master, 
First generation Kenpachi, B. Ujihua 8000 style, 8000 style swordsmanship. Hawkeye's eyes were full of fighting intent. He never felt like he was in this state. He used to stand at the top and watch others advance towards him. But although that state is very good, what Eagle Eye is after is stronger swordsmanship. So how he longed for an opponent who could fight with him. Now, there are many kendo experts on the kendo list, and the kendo is stronger than him. Hawkeye's heart couldn't help but long for it. He seems to be fighting that Yunohana Retsu. Even if you die, it doesn't matter. While the naval headquarters is shaking, the whole world is also shaking. New world entrance and exit. Several huge pirate ships are sailing fast here. Wherever these pirate, 437, boats passed, countless pirate groups of all sizes forced them to retreat. Because this is the fleet of the four emperors Big Mom Pirates. On it, the main ship of the Big Mom Pirates is located in the center. This means that one of the four emperors aunt, Charlotte Linlin, -Lin, is also on these pirate ships. Pirates who have already arrived in the new world, no one will provoke a four emperors without a long eye. And on board, Charlotte Linlin -Lin stood on the deck, looking at the refreshed kendo list with a dignified face. A shocking article by Katakori et al. They looked at the name on the second kendo list, and everyone shuddered. Because this sea may not know the strength of that lunatic Kenpachi. But Cake Island has once encountered the invasion of that lunatic. That is the day, Desert Four Generals was killed in seconds, and Four Emperors Charlotte Linlin -Lin was cut off. Even if Zoro didn't find it boring, Charlotte Linlin -Lin would have been killed on the spot. And they remember, the first sentence of that madman. I am Kenpachi, the world's first Kenpachi. 5. For this sentence, they are still fresh in their memory. And now, the reason for Sister Hua's listing is written. First generation Kenpachi, founder of the title Kenpachi. Advertisement. Wouldn't that say, this man named Yunohana Retsu is stronger than that madman. Katakori and others have completely dared not think about it. Perospero was terrified to the extreme. He wanted to go and tell Charlotte Linlin -Lin to go back to Cake Island. But he didn't dare, and for a long time, Charlotte Linlin, -Lin, standing on the deck, came to her senses. Her eyes were full of solemnity, but her mouth was full of smiles. Um, does it have anything to do with that lunatic? Then even the entire Yunohana Retsu is on my mother's kill list. Give me speed, I'll get to naval headquarters as soon as possible and kill that lunatic. Charlotte Linlin -Lin laughed, Perospero's face was full of fear. Katakori and the others were also helpless. But no one dared to resist Charlotte Linlin's orders. Several large ships accelerated towards naval headquarters. And naval headquarters is not far away. A blue dragon is flying fast in the clouds. The blue dragon's head is covered with dark clouds, and the dragon's body is several hundred meters long. Above the faucet, Yamato stared at the name of Sister Wa on the gold list for a long time. Kaido's pupils shrank too. That you know Hana Retsu, do you know that? Yamato nodded solemnly. Dad, bastard, that's all I can tell you. Even if you provoke that lunatic Kenpachi, you will provoke her. That lunatic might see you as strong and leave an opponent for himself. But she, if she is serious, will kill you. Hearing his stupid son's words, Kaido's face was full of disdain. In this world, there is no one who can kill Lao Tzu. A smile appeared on Yamato's face. Dad bastard, why didn't I hear any confidence in what you said? When it was dismantled, Kaido's shield was furious. I'm a beast, no one in this world can kill me. 39. Yamato nodded, I know, I know, let's fly. I don't want to delay rescuing Ace. Kaido roared angrily for the rest of his life again. But Yamato ignored him at all. Kaido was speechless and had to silently accumulate his anger, ready to go to the top station to vent it out. And this time, naval headquarters. The shock of everyone has also calmed down. After all, there is still a battle ahead. Jinbang is just an interlude. I want to see the mysterious powerhouse above that. They also have to survive this battle. Advertisement. On the execution stand, Sengoku looked around the whole station again, and his face was full of astringency. Today, Marine's side has almost used most of its combat power. Only he, the Marshal, and Garp, and Namikaze Minato have yet to act. The remaining Marine, almost all shot. However, the strength of the pirate side continues to strengthen. Whitebeard hasn't shot yet, Red Hair Pirates has just arrived, and it looks like they are also ready to stand on the side of the pirates. Zoro's lunatic chopped both sides, which gave Sengoku a headache. After all, it is almost impossible to solve this battle in a short time. Unless, Marine's side has strong support. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help but turn his eyes to Buggy. This one is also a captain of the 13th division of the Godu. Presumably the strength will not be low. And from the previous performance. The Gote 13th division did not seem to be standing together this time. Kirby's identity Sengoku has also been seen. This one may also be the captain of the 13th division of the Gote. As for the purpose of joining Marine, Sengoku doesn't have the time to think about it now. Nakbi is now an ally of Sengoku as long as he can help Marine. Thinking of this, Sengoku looked at Buggy and said. Your Excellency, in the name of Marshal Marine, may I ask you to help Marine? 
Sengoku looked very sincere, looking at Buggy's sincere invitation. And when Buggy heard Sengoku's words, he couldn't help turning his head, and his eyes were a little surprised. However, Buggy's heart is somewhat happy. He used to be in front of Sengoku, so to speak, just a small person. But today, Marshal Sengoku personally invited him. Point zero. And the stance is so low. This makes Buggy very useful. But this time, the redhead looked at Buggy, his heart moved. He had learned that it was impossible to end the fight on the strength of the red hair pirates alone. Therefore, the redhead has decided to stand on the side of the pirates. So, the redhead looked at Buggy with a smile that he thought was an old friend. Buggy, would you like to fight with me again? Like it used to be. Looking at Buggy, the redhead couldn't help but think of when he was a trainee crew member with the Roger Pirates. Still, the redhead is nostalgic. But when Buggy heard it, his face darkened. Shanks. Subsequently, Buggy turned to look at Sengoku. I agreed to help Marine. The red-haired face was stunned, and his face was sluggish. What's up with this Buggy? But what the redhead didn't know was that. Advertisement. Buggy hated him the most. The redhead continued to speak. Buggy, don't be angry, let's fight together. 5. Hearing this, Buggy froze. He looked at the red hair and slowly drew Zanpakuto from his waist. Buggy's face was serious. Today, I will show you my power. 35. Regarding Zhang Jin's never strong red hair and low red hair. Buggy didn't know how long he had been aggrieved. And the redhead has always faced him with a casual and joking attitude. Maybe this redhead thinks nothing. But that made Buggy uncomfortable. Although the two sides are affectionate. But he Buggy, he must teach the four emperors redhead a lesson today. Watching the two quarrel, Sengoku on the execution platform was so happy. He wished the two of them quarreled more happily. That means Buggy is bound to help him Marine. Sengoku couldn't help but smile. A few words brought a strong foreign aid to Marine. Big profit. And Buggy looked at the redhead very seriously. I, Buggy, have a 4.4 fight with you today. 35. Introduce yourself formally. The 13th Division of the Guardian, the Captain of the 12th Division, and the Chief of the Technology Development Bureau. After Buggy finished speaking, the scene was quiet for a moment. Then, the redhead burst into laughter. Sengoku on the execution platform also had a black line on his forehead. Technology Development Bureau. Is this Buggy a clerk? Or researchers? So how much power does he have? Sengoku felt helpless. Unexpectedly, the powerful foreign aid he thought in his heart. But a researcher. And the redhead looked at Buggy with a big laugh. Hey, Buggy, I'm pretty strong right now. Five. You have no chance. Buggy was not angry at the ridicule of the crowd. Zoro on the side watched this scene and couldn't help showing an interested smile. Hey, Red Nose, you can leave that bug for me to chop, don't take it back so quickly every time. Listening to Zoro's voice, Buggy broke through. Go away. Subsequently, Buggy looked at the redhead with seriousness in his eyes. Its body is still purple Rayatsu surging. Open your paws, kill Jizo. 83. Buggy Bankai, the big bug is coming. Kaido, Yamato, join the battle on top. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Buggy's voice fell. The redhead watched with interest. He also wants to know how strong Buggy is now. But the redhead was full of confidence and didn't think Buggy would outperform him. This is inevitable. After being a strong man for so many years, his red hair rarely tasted defeat. So some contempt for Buggy is normal. But, Kirby, Beasta and others did not underestimate Buggy. Because now Buggy's power, although probably not as good as them. But definitely an extremely difficult one. And Buggy's Reiatsu, who is still in shape, is still inactive. Subsequently, the handle Zanpakuto in his hand. It suddenly became a long sword with a golden color like a trident. There is also a lifelike face of a baby on Jejizog. Seeing this extremely bizarre scene, the red hair couldn't help frowning. Next moment, Reikalu next to the red haired rushed out. Captain idiot, he'll let me solve it for you. Before the redhead could open his mouth, Reikalu rushed out. And Lajalu said, punch Buggy with one punch. Buggy smiled and raised his sword to meet him. The blade touched Lakalu's iron fist, which was covered with a thick armed color, and it slammed for life. And in the next moment, Lakilu's confident face changed. Because he could feel that his hand could no longer move. Reikalu looked at Buggy with shock in his eyes. Subsequently, Buggy slashed the Jizo with a scorpion. The neurotoxin flashed across Reikalu's body. Subsequently, when Lackey Road was shocked, Buggy's killing Jizo blasted him away in an instant. Lajalu landed not far away, and his body twitched uncontrollably. Looking at this scene, the red hair was a little surprised. As a fighter of red hair pirates, Lakalu's strength is absolutely leveraged. But now, Lakalu was solved in an instant. It seems that Buggy's strength has really improved now. The redhead looked at Buggy and pulled out the griffin with a smile. Subsequently, the two began to compete in kendo. And this fight, the redhead's heart is even more frightened. Because with his current kendo, he couldn't win Buggy at all. And Buggy's weird knife in hand. 
The redhead could feel a little numbness in his arms after just fighting for a moment. Advertisement. A neurotoxin. The red-haired heart moved. Afterwards, he stopped fighting Buggy in close quarters. Instead, use Conqueror's winding. Instant shoulder. The strongest move of a sea emperor has arrived. Even Buggy was blasted out by the shoulder. Standing up again, Buggy looked at the redhead with an ugly face. This redhead, do you still think he can win against him now? Buggy looked serious, and then said solemnly. Bankai, the golden killing Jizo. The fearful Reiatsu has risen from the buggy body, attracting the attention of countless people. Kobe, who was fighting not far away, looked at Buggy in a blink of an eye. Beast's mouth and feet twitched. Redhead, don't underestimate him. 55. Otherwise, you will suffer a lot. Before the execution stand. Namikaze Minato also smiled and smiled. Buggy's current Bankai, but super strong. Because of this Bankai, it has been remodeled countless times by Buggy. The current form will surely shock everyone. Namikaze Minato smiled with anticipation in his eyes. Because, you will never understand what a scientist will come up with. It is earth-shattering, are weeping ghosts and gods. The breath of fear came, and countless people looked up. Subsequently, a monster with a height of 100 meters appeared. The monster's head was a baby with golden skin. At the back, there is a body like a bug. There are countless dense tentacles under it. The bug was lying on the ground, standing on Buggy's body, staring at the redhead and the others. Everyone at Red Hair Pirates also changed their expressions. Because they felt extremely dangerous from the big bug in front of them. At this moment, even the aura of danger emanating from Zoro's body was a little smaller. And Zoro was a little stunned when he looked at Jisha Jizo. Hey, Red Nose, 35, when did you transform this thing into something like this? This Reiatsu Reserve, are you going to take Kido above number 80 as level A? Zoro looked at Buggy in disbelief. And when the Golden Slayer Jizo saw Zoro, there was a hint of fear in his eyes. Because he was really cut by Zoro, more than once. Every time Zoro gets boring, let Buggy put it back. Although Buggy is often refused. But there were times when Buggy wanted to experiment with the strength of the revamp. FFIX. Seeing the appearance of Jizo Jizo, Kebi and the others also looked over curiously. After seeing the Reiatsu reserve on it, Kebi and the others were all taken aback. Because at this time, the Reiatsu in the body almost surpassed them by several times. Even more frightening than that lunatic's normal state. Advertisement. This is waiting for Reiatsu. Several people shook their heads. It seems that Buggy really wants to play Kido over 80 as a flat A. Plus this Reiatsu strength, so the power is about to catch up with Sero, right? Buggy looked at the redhead with a sneer on his face. Hado number 88, the flying dragon strikes the thief and the thunder cannon bursts. A beam of light shining through the sky. The red-haired complexion changed, and he raised his sword to resist. Subsequently, just under the complicated expressions of countless people in the station. Buggy launched an indiscriminate bombardment against the red-haired and others. Buggy chanting mischievously, killing Jizo keeps releasing Kido above no. 80. The entire naval headquarters trembled and roared. On the execution stand, watch one person suppress Buggy of red hair pirates. Sengoku swallowed deeply. This one is really a researcher. However, the combat effectiveness of this scientific researcher should not be underestimated. The redhead and others couldn't help but be shocked. And Kazaru was even more stunned. This Buggy, this unleashed the power of that cannon. It's shocking. Is this much stronger than pacifists? If Marine's pacifists compete in front of him, it's simply unworthy of his shoes. Thinking of this, Kazaru couldn't help showing a bitter smile. Because the pacifist is the first weapon developed by Vegapunk based on his fruit ability. So, now that his Kazaru is compared to Buggy, his destructive power is incomparable at all. And countless powerhouses around the world watched this scene, and they also stared and acted. There are even many people who associate Buggy with a more fearful level of existence. World Government. Inside the Five Elders Office. The five watched as Buggy bombarded the Red Hair Pirates with force that shook Marineford. They were all silent. After a long time, one of the five elders spoke in shock. Everyone, this intensity, is it a bit too similar to the legendary Pluton? Several people, you look at me, I look at you, for a long time silent. Although the ability of Buggy's cannon is now much worse than that of Pluton's cannon that can destroy an island. But Buggy killed Jizo. One shot for a small island, that's absolutely fine. And if it develops slowly, is it still far from Pluton? Thinking of this, the five fell silent. Everyone, what should we do now? Hearing this sentence, the other five elders became unhappy. What can I do? The top three in the power list are Zai Palace, Jingling Court, and Xiao. 55. Can we catch that buggy? When the words fell, everyone fell silent. Let's leave these things to Lord Yimu to have a headache. Advertisement. Several people nodded, agreeing with this sentence. They don't care about these things. Neither can they. And naval headquarters. Buggy's indiscriminate bombardment continued. However, in the distant horizon, there is already a huge shadow slowly approaching. 
ever since the redhead broke into naval headquarters. Sengoku ordered to strengthen the outer vigilance. At this time, the soldiers guarding the periphery couldn't help but look unmoved. They looked intently, and then their faces showed shocking expressions. That. 0.437 that is. Kaido of the Beasts. What are the four emperors Kaido of the Beasts doing at naval headquarters? Quick. Tell Marshal Sengoku quickly. While the man was speaking, the blue dragon had already flown over their heads, heading towards naval headquarters. When several marine soldiers reported the news to Sengoku, their expressions were also shocked. Another four emperors. Naval headquarters, there should be three four emperors now. My god, won't the four emperors go to war with us? 35. Don't be silly. How could the four emperors group of guys be united? Even at naval headquarters, they'll go their separate ways. We marine also have the hero Garp and Marshal Sengoku. As long as they are here, we will win. Even if the four emperors gather, we naval headquarters can prevail. Looking at the confidence on the face of this young sailor. A slightly older sailor had a bitter heart. Who gave him confidence? Especially facing all the four emperors at the same time. I'm afraid that Marshal Sengoku doesn't have the confidence, right? The man thought. And naval headquarters. On the execution stand. Sengoku frowned as he listened to the report. Afterwards, Sengoku's face was full of ugly expressions. Kaido of the beasts. That guy, what is he doing at naval headquarters? 35. Hearing Sengoku's words, Garp's expression changed. Sengoku, that bastard from Kaido is here too. Sengoku nodded solemnly. This battle, I am afraid, is completely out of our marine's control. Garp frowned and looked at the current situation. Although they marine still have the upper hand. However, another four emperors joined the field. Even if it's just Kaido alone, that's enough for marine to drink a pot now. Just when the two looked heavy. In the sky, Kaido's voice was slowly approaching, and he roared for a lifetime. Ha ha ha, stand on the top, Lao Tzu Kaido of the beasts is here. 84. Yamato. Why is this madman so hard to fight? The bull head form comes to the battlefield. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On top of the station. Countless people have heard Kaido's words. On the Moby Dick. Whitebeard raised his head slightly and looked at the figure. Then, Whitebeard couldn't help laughing. Cool la la la. Cool la la la. I know you Kaido will not miss this battle. Whitebeard was more than happy about Kaido's arrival. After all, the murkier the water at naval headquarters, the better the chances of his Whitebeard pirates rescuing Ace. The redhead who was fighting with Buggy also got away temporarily, and his eyes were fixed on the blue dragon. Kazaru and Aokiji frowned, feeling once again how difficult the battle was for Marine. Akainu and Oz separated after a fight. Akainu clutched his chest and panted. Moreover, there were several more scars on his chest. But those scars were directly scalded by Akainu's hot lava. Akainu, the jagged admiral, not only cruel to pirates. In fact, it's even tougher on yourself. Although now he is not Little Oz's opponent. But Akainu was very resistant to fighting and dragged Little Oz all the time, preventing him from going to the execution stand. This also made Little Oz very helpless. And this time, watching Kaido of the Beasts come, Akainu's brows could not help but wrinkle, his teeth clenched. Asshole. And on that day, the top of Kaido's head in the form of a blue dragon. Yamato's eyes and shoulders locked on Ace kneeling on the execution platform. Yamato waved and shouted while shielding. Ace. I'm here to save you. Bastard father. Hurry up. Go directly to the execution platform, and quickly rescue Ace. Kaido speeds up again, but he didn't forget to say it. Remember, you have to tell me what you know. Otherwise, even if I save him, Kaido of the beasts will kill him with my own hands. Yamato nodded. Come on, bastard father. As long as Ace is rescued, I will tell you the news of the adults that I know. Kaido nodded and rushed towards the execution platform. And Yamato didn't care. She had seen Sengoku and Garp standing on the execution platform. These two are also extremely powerful. Thinking of this, a bone mask appeared on half of Yamato's face. An evil and powerful aura still emerges from Yamato. Feeling the change in Yamato's body, Kaido's heart sank. Advertisement. He was not careless and rushed to the execution platform at full speed. On the execution stand, Ace knelt in the front, looking at Yamato's eyes moved. Yamato, you came to rescue me too. Ace's eyes couldn't help but freeze. He never thought that his life would be so important in the eyes of others. The desire to survive in Ace's heart reappeared. He looked big and felt the power of Yamato's body. Ace couldn't help but be full of joy. But beside him. Sengoku and Garp were both solemn. Watching Kaido and Yamato approaching, neither of them dared to be careless. Because they are rushing towards them, neither of these two is weak. Needless to say, Kaido has been famous for a long time. And Yamato. The biological daughter of Kaido. She is the one who can fight Kaido. The final bull's head form, they didn't know how shocked they were at the time. Garp's body was tense, and there was a thick armament hockey on his fists. Sengoku also lowered his eyes. He couldn't let Kaido and Yamato steal Ace right under his nose. So where did he put the face of Marshal Marine? 
Where does Marine's face go? So, on the execution stand, Sengoku's body exploded with power. A Kangjin Buddha was formed on the execution platform. With an instant shoulder, the execution platform was shaking, almost tending to be crushed by Sengoku. Garp's face darkened, feeling the crumbling execution platform, and his breath was not good. Sengoku, do you want to dismantle the execution platform first? 35. Garp said with a stomp. The execution table roared and shook. Sengoku's face was pitch black. Garp, how dare you talk about me? 35. However, the two did not continue to joke, but looked at Kaido and Yamato solemnly. The two gather their strength and are ready to fend off Kaido and Yamato. But right now, a laughing figure suddenly appeared, blocking the execution stand. Ha 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 ha, another four emperors, Kaido of the beasts. As the strongest creature in the world. 33. I'd love to know, how many knives can you get by me? And Yamato, I feel that your strength seems to have increased, let's fight. Ha 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 ha, people, you can't save them now, if you save them now, who will fight me? Zoro said, Frost held a sword and slashed with one sword. Golden Reiatsu soars into the sky. A broad and powerful sword aura of hundreds of meters burst out. Advertisement. Yamato's expression changed as he stood above Kaido's head. It was incredible in her eyes. Then, Yamato's heart was bitter. How did she forget that this lunatic was there? Kaido's dragon eyes congealed. This is the kid who cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm. Such a powerful force, Kaido said, and his heart was also shocked. And in this moment, Kaido and Yamato had already collided with the golden sword energy that Zoro had cut. Yamato's face was ugly, and the other half of his face was covered by a mask. She knew that fighting that lunatic would not be too dignified. Subsequently, right under the shocked eyes of Sengoku and Garp. The world is covered with a gold. It was Zoro's powerful strike. Just now, he just stood by an itchy hands for a long time. But he can't grab Buggy's opponent, or he will definitely not let himself cut the bug in the future. So, Zoro waited and waited. Just when he couldn't help but think about whether to chop Marine or chop pirates. Here comes Kaido and Yamato. How could he bear this? So Zoro desperately attacked the two of them. Boom. The naval headquarters roared and trembled. Subsequently. Kaido and Yamato were blasted out of the hundred meters by the force. Kaido has taken away his full beast form and turned back into human form. However, his face was full of shock when he re-transformed into a human form. Because on his head, a bloodstain appeared in the middle of his forehead. The bloodstain was deep into the bone. If it wasn't for Kaido's hard bones, Zoro's head might have been split open by now. And this, or when Yamato blocked half of Zoro's hits at the same time. Watching Kaido get beaten by Zoro. Sengoku, who was in the form of a giant Buddha scattered on the execution platform, was shocked. Garp next to him was no better. The two were shocked. And above the station, Kazaru and Aokiji stopped fighting Bista. Kazaru looked up at Kaido with a look of disbelief on his face. Hey, are you kidding me? 99. Backquote that guy, Kaido, was beaten by that madman with a sword. How scared is that madman? Kazaru said, and was extremely surprised. Aokiji also looked shocked, and his heart was heavy. Kazaru was so shocked that he could understand it best. Advertisement. Because once, Kaido has created naval headquarters many times. Every time, the three Admiral Marines would shoot together to wear off Kaido's stamina. And often, Akainu used all his strength to scald Kaido's skin. He Aokiji tried his best to limit some of Kaido's mobility. Not to mention Kazaru. With all his strength, he almost beat Kaido into a concussion. Naval headquarters. I'm afraid it's Garp's iron fist and Sengoku's shockwave that do more damage to Kaido. But even if Garp and Sengoku are shot, it is still very difficult to deal with Kaido. Because he is too hard to break defense. Plus that fearsome defense. This thing barely moves. But today, that lunatic, he was about to hit Kaido's skull with a single sword. Is this too exaggerated? But when the two thought about it, their hearts were slightly calmed down. After all, that lunatic was the one who cut off Charlotte Linlin's arm. And Charlotte Linlin's defense, but not even half a point than Kaido. So now it is normal to break Kaido with a sword. The crowd was shocked. Then he saw Kaido wipe the blood on the top of his head, and his face was still extremely shocked, how good Zhao. Afterwards, Kaido's face was full of anger. Little devil. Kaido silently drew his mace from behind. But he didn't wait for him to do it. Yamato, who was floating in the air, shook his head and said. Bastard father, he gave me to deal with it. Exactly. I also want to see the lunatic in me and him, who is the lunatic. 35. Yamato said, Kaido was taken aback. Then he turned around in amazement. Kaido remembered the breath of fear that almost made him shudder that day. So, Kaido silently suppressed his anger. After all, he was also curious as to how strong his stupid son's form was. When they heard Yamato's words, the expressions of Sengoku and the others changed. They also thought of the fleeting bull's head form at the end of the battle with Kaido that day. Sengoku and the others still remember that fearful aura. Zoro laughed while listening to Yamato's words. Subsequently. 
Yamato looked at Zoro earnestly, and his breath rose. Naval headquarters shook. Subsequently, everyone looked at Yamato in midair, their eyes full of shock. They only felt that there was an extremely frightening, extremely evil existence that was recovering. That power. That power made almost everyone tremble. 85. The bull's head is against the lunatic, and the detonated top is on the battlefield. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this moment. Countless people from all over the world were shocked when they saw Yamato's changes. Countless viewers who watched the video shouted. Although it was only on the screen, they could feel the fearful power contained in Yamato's body. What exactly is this? Who can tell me, what exactly is this fearless power? It's so evil, so terrifying. How can there be such power in this world? World government. The five elders were silent. An old man murmured in shock. The legendary Joey Boy's power awakens, I'm afraid that's the case. 35. When several five elders heard this, their hearts could not help but feel heavy. Yes, but even this power is only a captain of the 13th division of the Guardian. Everyone. They couldn't say a word again. They can't imagine it anymore. How strong will the Gote 13th division be? The crowd was silent. And naval headquarters. Yamato's strength has been condensed to the apex. Yamato's body was slowly covered by a mask of bones. Yamato looked at Zoro, his forehead horns covered. Subsequently, a bull-headed long-haired monster appeared on the top of the field. He was holding the clock and the long knife, and the void beside him was trembling faintly. Looking at this scene, everyone on the top of the stand stopped fighting. Whitebeard looked at the bull-headed figure with an extremely solemn expression. He couldn't help thinking of a person. Once his captain, also the captain of Kaido, Charlotte Linlin. The once overlord of the sea, the rocks. But even the rocks have never had such a fearsome power. This level of power. Their four emperors are far beyond comparison. Maybe he Whitebeard is back on top and can fight Yamato in this form. Bista looked at Yamato with a smile on his face. Yamato, you really did your best for Ace. Looking back, I have to thank you. Bista said. Before he could Bankai, Yamato went all out. Or to save Ace. Whatever Yamato's reasons, but this love, he must remember. And today, Ace, he has to save Churi no matter what. Even in the end, Bankai he will use. And thinking of his Bankai's ability, Bista couldn't help but look forward to it. After practicing Bankai, he has not officially used it yet. Advertisement. Kaden Kyokutsu, Withered Pine Heart. Bista smiled, watching the battle between Yamato and Zoro about to break out. He was a little curious. Yamato with such strength, will that lunatic still be his opponent? Bista was curious, with anticipation in his eyes. Kirby's eyes also lit up. Feeling the power of Yamato, Kirby almost couldn't help but want Bankai. After all, on this side of the field, Shikai's strength seems to be insufficient. But Kirby decided to wait. After all, right now, there is no Bankai opponent that belongs to him. In the face of the words of Diamond Jaws Marco and others, Bankai is a bit of a killer. And the two who fought with Kirby, Marco and Joes. The two looked at Niu Tao Yamato, and they were shocked and didn't know how intense it was. Originally, Marco was the vice president of the Whitebeard Pirates, and he was also a master of the sea. Not to mention the top, but it is definitely a group of people who stand at the top. Available today. First of all, Kirby fought him and Joes alone, and he seemed to be very at ease. This has been a blow to Marco's self-confidence. Then, the lunatic came to the station. Facing Hawkeye who was stronger than him, he solved it with three swords. This almost makes Marco doubt life. And now, that bullhead is probably not a monster. This has made Marco no longer dare to have any ideas. He never felt, never felt that he was so weak. And redheads too. After his red hair pirates made it to the power list. The strength of the red hair has increased a lot. It has the same ability to listen to the voice of all things as One Piece Roger. But now, this ability has a greater effect on the red hair, but it is to realize the sense of danger in the body of the Minotaur. The red-haired sight has been warning him, telling him to leave quickly. The redhead couldn't help but look bitter. When was he so weak? On the sea, countless people saw Yamato's state and couldn't help but begin to doubt. Can that madman defeat such a terrifying Minotaur? Of the two of them, who is stronger and who is weaker? Many people have doubts in their hearts. On the top of the station, this idea also appeared in everyone's heart. That Minotaur, and that lunatic. Between these two, who is stronger? Hawkeye's falcon-like eyes were filled with anticipation. He really wanted to see how strong the madman who could defeat him with three swords would really be. I am afraid that only this kind of bullheaded monster can force out the strongest power of this lunatic. Advertisement. And when the audience watched Yamato show the bull's head form, all their faces were shocked. Zoro laughed and became more and more angry. It's not that Yamato didn't feel the sense of danger at this moment, but the sense of danger was very strong. Even today's Yamato can crush him with his left eye closed. But this sense of danger only made Zoro more angry. Will he be afraid of the mighty enemy? He will only despise the weakness of the enemy. The strength of the enemy will only make him more angry. He was born to fight, and he lived to fight even more. 
just when everyone was shocked by the fear of Niu Tao Yamato. Zoro looked at Yamato and started growling in a low voice. It's such an infuriating power. After Zoro finished speaking, the golden Reiatsu Vivi that sprayed all over his body converged. Many people are puzzled, but Yamato didn't care. Although he still master does not come to this bullhead form. But it's still possible to manage to control some Kai. The Minotaur took a defensive stance. Subsequently, just under the eyes of countless people, Zoro looked at Yamato and laughed wildly. Swallow it, Nozarashi. Zoro finished. The golden Reiatsu shot up from its surroundings. The entire naval headquarters seemed to be swallowed up by the golden Reiatsu. Countless pirates and marines could not help covering the double performance, unable to see the scene in front of Xing Xing. The light faded away. Then, the scene that appeared in front of everyone shocked everyone again. The jagged Zanpakuto of the original Zoro clock disappeared. Instead, it was a large knife as wide as a kitchen knife. Zoro carried a large knife on his shoulder, his eyes were full of hideousness, like a real monster. The strength of his body is also extremely fearful, comparable to the opposite, and even stronger. The two of them were shaking in the void, and the ground near them crumbled crazily. Countless people watched this scene and were shocked. What did I see? That madman's combat power has increased again. My god, how strong is he? Unimaginable, really unimaginable. However, this madman's strength has skyrocketed, and he has a battle with that bullheaded monster. Who of the two is more afraid of? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going, I'm just thanking Marine now, thanking Marshal Sengoku. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have been able to see such a strong battle in my life. Can Naval Headquarters video phone bug hold up? I can't help but I'm willing to sponsor. Countless people murmured in shock, and the words they said were already incoherent. And the scene, advertisement. Feeling the power of Zoro and Yamato, countless people stared. Also at this time, both of them are impatient. Facing a formidable opponent, both of them became angry. The two of them waved the long sword in their hands. When swinging the knife, the two figures were still hundreds of meters away. When the knife can be dropped, the two have already met. Boom. Fear of a blast of air. The two powerful forces collided in the void. Jet black cracks in the void appeared inch by inch. Watching this scene, countless people were shocked. I, I read that right. Did their long knives meet? I don't feel it at all, do I? But the long knives don't touch each other, so what is the fluctuation? This is too scary. 35. Countless people were shocked. The whole world was almost detonated. Not to mention the top station. The shock in everyone's hearts has reached a peak. Watching the two men collide with fearful strength. Powerhouses such as Whitebeard, Sengoku, and Garp were also shocked. Look at the scene in front of you. At the same time, they thought of the power of the top master of the sea, that is the conqueror's entanglement. And there was someone present with the power of the master. Redhead, Whitebeard, Kaido, the third of the four emperors. The three of them are all masters of the top power of the sea. But now, in the hearts of the three, conqueror's entanglement is far worse than the strength of these two. The naval headquarters roared and trembled. The two touched the center, and the ground cracked inch by inch. Fortunately, countless marine soldiers and pirates saw that the two were about to fight and had already avoided it. Otherwise, the aftermath of the battle would have already evaporated them directly. But even so, some pirates and marines who escaped late were also unavoidable disasters, all of which were directly evaporated by the powerful power of the two. And the two hit each other. The two monstrous layers of ice around naval headquarters were shattered in an instant. The power of the two spread toward the distant sea. The sea was surging, almost forming a large tsunami. I saw that inside the large tsunami, there was a boy in a straw hat with a terrified face. Hey, why is there such a terrible tsunami here? It's not New World yet. We just went to naval headquarters, how could this be? 86. Two monsters fight, the world trembles. Beasts pirates battle power list released. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. The minotaur and the madman's long knives collided in midair. Destroy everything around you. Countless people's eyes widened, and they were shocked. Whitebeard is also inevitably at peace. There was a flash of frost on his old face. However, Whitebeard felt regretful. He is old. The current combat power, although not to be killed in seconds. But no fight. If he wants to fight against these two, he must at least recover to his peak to be eligible. But now, Whitebeard shook his head, sighing for a lifetime. I want to have a fight with the two of you. This magnificent sea, I Whitebeard can no longer fight. Whitebeard sighed inwardly. He wished he was born in this day and age. Think about these. Whitebeard glanced at Bista, Marco and the others. Finally, Whitebeard's eyes were fixed on Ace on the execution platform. Today, the old man will save you no matter what. 35. In this majestic sea, you still need to take them with you. Whitebeard said in his heart, a pair of tiger eyes could not help but tremble. Before coming to naval headquarters, he was ready to die here. Because this battle is what Sengoku prepared for him. He's not dead, and Sengoku certainly won't give up. So Whitebeard was ready, and he also arranged the back path. 
After his death, the Whitebeard Pirates will be handed over to Ace. Because Marco, Joes and others are good though. But it was never the seat of a captain. In the Whitebeard Pirates, there is no more suitable person than Ace. This is why Whitebeard must save Ace. Unfortunately. His old bones can't see Ace's style. The battle with monsters like Zoro Yamato can only be left to Ace. Whitebeard smiled, looking back. Continue watching Yamato vs Zoro fight. After the two hit each other, they seemed to have a heart-to-heart -heart connection. The two stepped out at the same time. The two collided with their feet in midair, setting off a layer of airwaves again. Countless people in naval headquarters were horrified by the destructive power of the duo. Boom, boom, the two fought all the way from the ground to the sky. The clouds were cut off by the two, and even countless white clouds were scattered by the two. But that's just the aftermath of the strength of the two men's confrontation. Watching this scene, the eyes of countless marine soldiers and ordinary pirates showed astonishment. Advertisement. They used to think, Admiral, four emperors, they are the strongest forces in this world. Because of the Admiral four emperors, it is enough to destroy the world. At the peak of Whitebeard, he was also known as the male silver who could destroy the world. Kaido is the strongest creature in the world, no one can be killed, and the world's official government has nothing to do with him. But now, that lunatic and that monster. These two people made the whole world realize. How ridiculous the strong people they thought were. In front of these two monsters, the four emperors, admiral. Are they really qualified to fight it? Many people have this question. But the results they got, silenced them. Even the four emperors and admirals on the scene were full of shock when they watched the battle between the two. From their own perspective, if you play against either Yamato or Zoro, they must die, although not to be killed in seconds. But in the end, it must be them. That's the sense of danger Zoro and Yamato give them right now. Even the always arrogant Kaido calmed down. He watched the battle between his son Yamato and Zoro, and his heart fell silent. Once upon a time, Kaido thought that no one could kill him. So he is crazy, he is proud even looking everywhere for someone who can kill him. But now, the two monsters in the sky that day, both can kill him Kaido's existence. Thinking of this, Kaido's heart was filled with bitterness. Silly son, he is so powerful. But the next moment, Kaido's eyes stand upright, but I will definitely become so powerful. Fighting spirit resurfaced in Kaido's heart. He is the four emperors, the emperor of this whole sea. How can Kaido admit defeat? He is the king of the sea. How could he give in? Just didn't know it before. Having witnessed this power now, Kaido Spontaneous will pursue it with unparalleled confidence. This is his pride as a king. At the same time, the redhead on the other side also had the same idea. That kind of power has surpassed Captain Roger and Whitebeard in his prime, right? 35. Redhead couldn't help thinking. At the same time, fighting spirit emerged in his heart. He is red-haired, the most hockey male silver in this sea. No one can make his red hair kill his fighting spirit. A powerful enemy will only make him more angry. Advertisement. Same time, most of the countless powerhouses present also have this idea. They are all strong and have their own arrogance. Now that they have witnessed this level of power, everyone thinks that they must be able to master. The battle in the sky is still roaring. The shocking force still swept across naval headquarters from time to time. Countless people murmured in a low voice, shock in their eyes. People around the world watching live broadcasts even more. Who do you think will win these two monsters? My god, I heard that they are still from the same power, that is, the jingling court. 35. How strong is that jingling court? Unbelievable. And the leader of the top three forces, Chu Sha, how strong is he? There are more than one monsters under your command, Chu Sha's power must surpass them by a lot, right? I'm going, stop talking, I really don't think so. The power of these two monsters has already surpassed Roger, the pirate king. Bah, 35. One piece Roger is absolutely not worth mentioning in front of them. Yeah, that's what I meant. But you think, they are all so strong. Then their leader Chu Sha, is it a god? As soon as these words came out, countless people were silent. Sengoku on the execution platform was also shocked and complicated in his heart. Ordinary people can think of. Of course he can think, and think deeper. He remembered, Zoro that lunatic. But you know Hana Retsu, the second-ranked kendo leader, is his master. Then the master of this lunatic. How strong is the 8,000 flowers of the Uzumaki? And what about Seibo, who used to be the second in the kendo list and is now the third in the kendo list? Did he come to the top of the station, if he came? Are there marines over by surrendering? Because of what? Zero flowers. Then what level of power will it be? Sengoku didn't dare to think about it. As for Chu Sha. He is now in Sengoku's mind, that is, like a god. Sengoku no longer feels the question of how strong Chu Sha will be. Because that makes no sense. No matter how he speculates on Chu Sha's strength, he will underestimate it. Because he couldn't imagine it at all. And when Chu Sha appeared. It will shock the whole world and shock everyone. With this thought in mind, Sengoku continued to watch the battle in the sky. 
But just when everyone was immersed in the battle between the two. The sacred golden list on that day was shocked again. It seems that the next battle power list will be released. Feeling this scene, many people looked away from the two. Advertisement. But there are more people who are reluctant to look away, still watching the battle between the two without squinting. But, after fighting for a while, the two suddenly separated. Located in midair, the two of them are binocular opponents. Afterwards, Yamato's face mask slowly dissipated and began to return to its normal form. Point zero. The sword Nozarashi after Zoro's Shikai is also restored to its original state. The state of the two is actually an outbreak. So it can't last too long. They are not fighting to the death, there is no need to keep fighting. After such a battle, Zoro can be described as content. So when they felt the release of the battle power list, the two stopped. This makes many people feel a little regretful. Hey, why did these two stop? Don't fight, I haven't seen enough yet. 9. Are you an idiot? They are all from Jingling Court, do you think that lord will let them fight to the death? 99. It's like, two marine admirals fighting to the death, do you think it's possible? Hearing this, many people nodded. Yes, the two monsters are also the same. So a deadly battle between them is almost impossible. The grown-up would not agree. Everyone nodded, silently accepting this statement. Yamato and Zoro also landed at naval headquarters again. Yamato Vivi was out of breath as she looked at Kaido, who was still in shock. Dad bastard, why did you watch the movie for so long? Yamato was full of question marks. She fought the madman tirelessly. But special, Kaido didn't take this opportunity to save Ace July, but instead took a fancy too. Kaido was taken aback by Yamato's question. Silly son, what's wrong? I just watched you two fight, what's wrong? Kaido was bewildered by his son's question, and looked at Yamato suspiciously. Yamato. 66. How did I come across such a brainless bastard daddy? Kaido took out the mace silently, but after thinking about it, he finally put it back. Yamato had just been through a fight after all. This is his own son after all, in case he is killed. Kaido shook his head, subsequently, he looked at the golden list with some indignation. Beasts pirates, the power list is released. Kaido's heart is full of anger. I will also strengthen my strength. Chuan. 87. The return of Mamasagi, Bankai, Senban Sakura Kajyoshi. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Watching the two monsters stop. Countless people on the sea also calmed down Bibi. Subsequently, they also felt the new battle power list that was about to be released. However, probably because of the battle just now, almost many people didn't take the release of the battle power list seriously. Because this release is definitely the Beast's Pirate's power list. So many people are in a state of disregard. Now in their hearts, Kaido, the strongest creature in the world, is simply weak. And on top of the station. There are also many people who hold this idea. Simply put, just after watching Zoro's fight with Yamato, they swelled. I felt the careless eyes of many people around me. Kaido's face was a little gloomy and ugly. Did these people forget about Kaido's fear? Without any strength, how dare you look down on him Kaido? This puzzled Kaido in his heart. And now neither Yamato nor Zoro looked down on him Kaido. On the contrary, Zoro's face was full of interest, watching Kaido wondering what rewards he would get and how much he could improve his strength. Yamato is also looking forward to the rewards that his father will receive. And that group of ordinary pirates and sailors. Kaido suppressed his anger and didn't pay attention to the, 440, crowd. Subsequently, the Beast's Pirates power rankings are released. Jin Bang was shocked, and the big characters slowly formed. Open black lens bracket Beast's Pirates rank number. 1. Captain Beast's Pirates, one of the four emperors, Kaido of the Beasts, close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Devil Fruit second stage awakening. Close black lens bracket. Beast's Pirates battle power list no. 2. Blazing Embers. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Armament hockey top, observation hockey top. Close black lens bracket. Beast's Pirates battle power list no. 3. Epidemic Quinn. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Top observation hockey. Close black lens bracket. The fourth Beast's Pirates list. Jack the Drow. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Top armament hockey. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Beast's Pirates power list. Close black lens bracket. Beast's Pirates battle power list released. Fei Liapau and others were all on the list in turn, and their strength has been greatly improved. And the three disasters have improved enormously. Probably because the Beast's Pirates are at the top of the power list. This hundred Beast battle power list, the rewards given to them are also extremely rich. Burning Ember gets the top two color hockey. This is the same reward that Redheads get. Although Jin's strength is now impossible to match the Redhead. But because of these two rewards, Jin's strength is definitely among the top among the current Emperors. Not even the current Marine Admiral is his match. And the most surprising thing is the reward Kaido received. Devil Fruit Second Stage Awakening. As the four emperors, the strongest creature in the world. Advertisement.
Kaido's devil fruit has awakened once, otherwise it wouldn't have such a powerful strength and size. But now, Kaido has obtained the second stage of awakening. Many powerhouses in the entire sea were shocked. Maybe ordinary people can't understand what the second stage awakening of devil fruit means. They haven't even heard of devil fruit awakening. But these powerhouses know it. The awakening of devil fruit is what is necessary to become a strong man in the sea. As long as you eat devil fruit, if you want to become the top powerhouse, you must awaken master devil fruit. This is the law of almost all devil fruit powerhouses. But now, what a second stage awakening. Naval headquarters, the atmosphere is quiet. Some of the bottom marine soldiers and the pirates looked at each other with blank eyes. But, since the headquarters of Vice Admiral, everyone looked shocked. Sengoku was even more incredulous. He is zone human fruit Buddha form ability. And Sengoku's Buddha fruit is also awakened. He is very aware of the power of the master that fruit awakening can bring. But now, especially Kaido's second stage awakening. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard's eyes narrowed suddenly. Devil fruit, second stage awakening. At his peak, Whitebeard touched the threshold of the second stage of awakening. But he never succeeded. But even so, at that time, Whitebeard mastered extremely fearful power. Now, Kaido has directly obtained the second stage of awakening. Whitebeard's eyes were full of shock. The redhead not far away also shrank his eyes, revealing only infinite solemnity. Kaido. As for Whitebeard's power back then, the redhead had an understanding of the Roger Pirates. Whitebeard was on the verge of second stage awakening, that's why he was so powerful. But now, Kaido actually obtained the second stage of awakening directly. Is he going to be the first second stage awakening in this whole sea? The redhead looked very shocked. Zoro carried Zanpakuto, watching Kaido with interest in his eyes. Second awakening. It sounds interesting. I hope that after awakening, you will be able to resist a few more knives from me. Thinking of these, the interest in Zoro's eyes grew stronger. Yamato looked at his bastard father with disbelief in his eyes. Dad bastard, you're so lucky, aren't you? Second awakening. Perhaps after your second awakening, you can fight that lunatic without Shikai. Hearing Yamato's voice, Kaido's shield was out of breath. Advertisement. Silly son, why do you look down on your father so much? Kaido's face was full of question marks. Then, his body could not help shaking. The gold medal reward has arrived. Naval headquarters a lifetime of dragons. A green dragon with a body of several hundred meters emerged, exuding the might of a fearless dragon, as if it were about to destroy the world. However, the Qinglong was roaring in pain at the moment. But the sharp eyed can find it. The Qinglong had only four claws under it. But now, the fifth dragon claw is slowly forming. And the dragon scales on its body are also elongated, brighter and harder. Kaido's Longway Town Duck is full. Those ordinary sailors who didn't care about Kaido before. Now everyone looks shocked, and his face is full of fear. It was only then that they remembered. They are just the bottom marines. A four emperors, even the former four emperors, kills them like slaughtering chickens and dogs. Thinking of this, countless people were terrified. In addition to fear and unwillingness to have any superfluous thoughts. And Kaido's evolution is also coming to an end. The fifth dragon claw is born. Its body is still full of dragon scales, and it seems that its defense is stronger. Kaido reincarnated into a human form and descended to the top of the station. Sengoku and the others narrowed their eyes. Because they can clearly see. Kaido was originally about 7 meters tall. Now it has skyrocketed to more than 9 meters. The whole body is more than a huge circle. Point zero. And its power is far from comparable to before. Kaido Haki swept the audience with angry eyes. Countless pirates and sailors gasped. Kaido clenched his fists, feeling the power in his body. Lao Tzu, Kaido of the Beasts. Kaido scans the entire station. But this prestige just lasted for a while. Kaido's heart jumped. Because after his second awakening, his intuition gave him a much clearer vigilance. Now, except he could feel the danger in his son Yamato and Zoro, the madman. There are still a few people, making his heart horrified. Kaido's eyes were full of shock, and he looked in several directions. One of them is the execution platform. It never moved, just sat flat, looking at Namikaze Minato all over the station. Second, it was not far away, with Marco and Joe's paddling with Kirby. Third, it was Bista who fought against Admiral Kazaru and Aokiji, but still managed to do it with ease. Advertisement. Kaido Lombok Countdown. He didn't expect it. He awakened in the second stage, and his strength was close to that of Captain Rocks. But what? What he felt was a sense of danger that made him more dangerous. Kaido was full of shock. Also full of doubts. How could these people make him feel dangerous? Are they really that strong? Kaido questioned, and couldn't help but look at his daughter. And Yamato glanced at him, not in a good mood. Bastard father. Do you really want to complete the deal with me? 35. Would you like to know the news of the adults? Think, hurry up and save Ace for me, Yamato said, and his heart became more and more speechless. His bastard father, even installed it here. And Kaido listened to Yamato's words and realized what he should do. 
The most urgent task is to get Ace out in exchange for the news of the adult in his son's mouth. Even if it's just a little bit of news. But Kaido has to get it too. Now the whole world knows nothing about that grown up. He Kaido knows a little first, and 4.4 can master a little more in the future. Think of this. Kaido's gigantic figure turned towards the execution platform, and then dashed away suddenly. And looking at Kaido, who is now exuding a powerful force, no one dares to stop him. On the execution stand, seeing Kaido rushing towards him with great power, Sengoku's face was ugly. Garp. Sengoku growled all his life. Next to him, Garp nodded intently. Now Kaido, I'm afraid they need to work together to block it. After all, the power of Kaido in front of him is almost no less than that of Rox, the overlord of the sea. Garp frowned. Layer upon layer of armament hockey condensed on a pair of iron fists. Sengoku was no exception. At the beginning, the golden light penetrated the body and turned into the shape of a great Buddha. Kaido looked at the two of them and also took out the mace behind him. Although it's a little out of hand, it's enough to deal with you two old guys. Kaido said, laughing. Everyone was watching Kaido versus Sengoku and Garp in this fight. And at this time, a cold voice resounded throughout the audience. Whitebeard hasn't moved. Marshal Sengoku and Garp Vice Admiral, how can they move now? Bankai. Senbon Sakura Kajyoshi. 88. Marine is so powerful that he can crush three four emperors groups at the same time. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bankai. Senbon Sakura Kajyoshi. The cold voice fell. Countless people looked stunned. Subsequently, not far from the execution stand, a figure slowly descended. A pair of high heels landed. Mamasugi was dressed in a white Captain Howry, and a pair of long legs appeared in the eyes of countless people. The expressions of countless marines on the scene changed. Sengoku's expression changed. Mamasugi, why are you back? Sengoku thinks about Mamasugi being taken away by that Luo. Then, I saw the big six characters behind Mamasugi. Sengoku glanced at Garp next to him in shock. The two had an extremely shocking idea in their minds. Mamasugi, joined the Gote 13th Division. And, became a captain. The next article shocked the hearts of the two. And Akainu, Kazaru, Aokiji 3 Admiral are also surprised. Kazaru's mouth and feet twitched. Isn't Mamasugi taken by the Gote 13th Division? Why did you come back? Also, he seems to have become a captain. It's incredible. Kazaru thought about this, and couldn't help but feel good about Jing Lingting. If you can, the old man can also be taken away. Kazaru said in his heart, looking at Mamasugi with a curious expression on his face. All eyes are on Mamasugi, who has a pair of heaven-defying long legs. Mamasugi put Kabuto in her hand and looked at Kaido with a faint smile. Kaido didn't care, still rushing forward, less than 100 meters away from the execution platform. Also at this time, on both sides of Kaido's side, up to the execution stand. The ground began to float, as if it were the surface of the water. Afterwards, a twenty-handed giant sword rose from the ground on both sides. One handle of the giant sword was raised, nearly hundreds of handles. Looking at this scene, many people looked full of doubts. Only Kebi, Bista and others. They watched this scene with great interest. Zoro also twitched his mouth and feet. Have you become the captain of the 6th division? It seems to be very important to adults. But I haven't cut it yet, so I don't know how strong you are. Zoro looked at Mamasugi and said. Kebi and the others all looked slightly moved. After all, this is Bankai's second time on the battlefield, right? The first time, it was Little Oz. And Mamasugi, will Bankai also? Senban Sakura, there is a good show to watch. And among Marine. Admiral Candidate T. Dolphin. He was overjoyed when he watched Mamasugi reappear. Advertisement. T. Dolphin looked at Mamasugi with admiration in his eyes. He didn't disturb Mamasugi in Kaido's fight though. But Chato was worried, and leaned over there unconsciously, ready to block Kaido's attack for Mamasugi. Although Kaido's attack is not something he can easily block. But for the goddess in his heart, the T. Dolphin gave up. Mamasugi put Kabuto in her hand and looked at Kaido with a small smile. Let me see how strong you are in the second stage of awakening. Hearing Mamasugi's words, Kaido couldn't help but feel a surge of anger. He remembers, it's just a kid in Marine, right? Admiral's alternate is a good one to fill in when Admiral's seat is vacant. But now these two Admiral alternates are definitely not as good as Admiral in terms of hard power. This Mamasugi, at most, has the same strength as the former Jack. Really weaker. The former Jack, with Kaido's current second stage awakening power, can be seriously injured with a single punch. What's the point of this Mamasugi? Kaido came to Mamasugi with a raging rage. The pitch black mace slammed down his shoulder in an instant, with an extremely terrifying force. The surrounding air waves were blown away by the instant shoulders. Mamasugi's long hair also fluttered in the wind. Shadows obscured the sun in front of him. If the ordinary vice admiral faced this scene, he would have lost the heart of resistance. Available Mamasugi. He looked at Kaido, frost hand still stuck in Kabuto, and smiled faintly. Next moment, the hundreds of great swords raised beside Kaido and Mamasugi shattered. Subsequently, 
These shattered giant swords suddenly turned into Sakura blades, with hundreds of millions of handles. Countless Sakura flower blades came to Mamasagi and rushed towards Kaido. Boom. Kaido's bell mace collided with it. Then, a terrifying force came from the countless Senban Sakura blades. Kaido's expression changed. With his current second stage awakening strength, he can't break the Senban Sakura's defense at all. Kaido's face was full of disbelief, and he retracted his mace, about to strike again. But the sky-filled Sakura blade didn't give him a chance at all. When Kaido is closing in, bombard directly in front of him. Boom. Kaido's figure was repeatedly smashed back by the sky-filled Sakura blade. Mamasugi also took a hand out of Kabuto. She looked at Kaido, still smiling. Under the control of Mamasugi's hand, Senban Sakura's speed suddenly increased, suppressing Kaido one after another. Kaido felt a rage in his heart as he felt the countless blades cutting through him. Although these blades can't break his defenses. But it also makes it difficult for Kaido to move forward. For a time, Mamasugi only had one hand and did not move at all. Just suppress the current Kaido directly. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. At the same time, many people admire Mamasugi, who has a beautiful face and does not need to move at all in battle. Simply, so special, so elegant. Advertisement. Look at that sky-high blade. Countless people are fascinated. Admiration for Mamasugi has risen in the hearts of many people around the world. And the scene. T. Dolphin looked at Mamasugi with disbelief on his face. What is this Sakura flower ability? He never knew how. However, after seeing Mamasugi's white Captain Howry, Shadow also had some guesses in his heart. Looking at Mamasugi, the T. Dolphin came close to him and laughed. Gion, are you so strong now? It's amazing. Mamasugi nodded, and Cha Do couldn't hold back, and looking at such a beautiful Mamasugi, she was about to get down on one knee to propose marriage. But Mamasugi turned to look at him and said, I advise you not to do such stupid things. I'm an adult now. Hearing Mamasugi's indifferent words, the T Dolphin froze in place. Click. He seemed to hear the sound of his heart breaking. His goddess Mamasugi ah, however, on the execution stand. Sengoku and the others did not hear the conversation between the two at all. Sengoku was now shocked by Mamasugi's strength. He was also shocked by Jing Lingting. How long has Mamasugi been taken away? Now, he has the strength to easily beat the duck Kaido. Although Kaido didn't use his full strength, he didn't use the power of the Azure Dragon. But Mamasugi can easily defeat it, which is extremely scary, right? Sengoku looked at Mamasugi, his old face filled with relief. Gion, I can tell, you are no longer Marine. 99. Thank you for coming back to help Marine. Mamasugi turned around. No thanks, Marshal Sengoku. 35. This battle is the last thing I can do for Marine. 39. Mamasugi's voice fell. Sengoku nodded bitterly. He had expected this result. And at this time, Kazaru pulled away from the battle with Bista and turned into a golden light to come to Mamasugi's side. Kazaru looked at Mamasugi and raised an eyebrow. Gion, we used to be colleagues. If you still have this opportunity, you must introduce it to me. Hearing Kazaru's words, everyone around them had black lines on their faces. Sengoku was even more angry. Pelusalino. Everyone knows what exactly Kazaru is talking about. Mamasugi was taken away for less than a month, and he has such fighting power. This special Kazaru, definitely wants to join Jingling Court. Everyone was speechless, and Mamasugi looked at Kazaru and shook his head. Advertisement. The captains of the 13th Division of the Gote are already full. Wouldn't Kazaru Admiral be willing to stoop to be a vice-captain? Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the shield. A person like Kazaru is also a Marine Admiral, the top powerhouse in the sea. To be captain, Kazaru might be tempted. But the vice-captain, Sengoku, thinks that a strong man like Kazaru will definitely not bow down. But, there is a scene that makes Sengoku angry again. Hearing Mamasugi's words, Kazaru hardly hesitated. After a moment, he nodded. The old man is willing. How's the salary? Sengoku. What am I? 99. Mamasugi. 5. Mamasugi's face was astringent and complicated. Kazaru Admiral, we don't get paid. 35. Kazaru's face was still annoyed. Then the old man should continue to work at Marine. In short, he is about to retire. After Kazaru finished speaking, he turned into golden light and left. Sengoku shook his head. Fortunately, he master is the lifeblood of Kazaru. And this moment, the battle between Marine and the pirates is also heating up. Red hair pirates is suppressed by Buggy alone. Kaido and Mamasugi have a battle, and Sakura flowers are flying all over the sky. The strong men of the Whitebeard pirates were also dragged by Marine. Do the math. On the pirate side, Whitebeard alone has not yet started. But Marine is here. Marshal Sengoku, Garp the Fist, and Admiral Namikaze Minato are still seated. Many people in the whole sea were shocked by Marine's strength. Did you see it? 35. Are all Marines this strong? Faced with three four emperors regiments, Marine can crush them. Marine is so strong. Marshal Sengoku is really my god. 35. F asterisk K. Didn't you see? How many foreign aides are there on Marine's side? 
Without these people, why would Marine continue to fight? The person who spoke earlier was silent. Because after all, Marine has a lot of foreign aid. But he stubbornly said, the pirates also have foreign aid. The other person interrupted their quarrel. You all stop arguing, let me summarize. 95. Marine and the pirates foreign aid, aren't they all strong men in jingling court? Which of these powerhouses is not at the level of destroying the sky and destroying the earth? So I think, Jing Lingting is the strongest and will not accept refutation. Many people nodded when they heard this remark. Reasonable. 89. The Big Mom pirates joined the battle, unprecedented, the four emperors pirates joined forces. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Countless people at sea have a lot of confidence in Marine. First think Marine will win this battle between Marine and pirates. But, naval headquarters, on the high execution platform. Sengoku, however, is less optimistic about Marine's situation today. Although Marine is still in control of the situation today. But this is just relying on a lot of foreign aid. Without Kirby, they simply couldn't hold back Marco and Joe so easily. No buggy. Marine takes another red hair pirate's offense, and that's bound to take down Marine's entire lineup. And without Zoro. Then maybe just now, Marine has completely lost this battle. Because Yamato added Kaido, he and Garp's defense could almost be washed away. Ace also spontaneously combusts and will be rescued, and Marine loses the battle. Finally, if there is no Mamasagi to come back. So now he and Garp are bound to be gone. He Sengoku is the head coach of Marine's side. But before Whitebeard moved, Sengoku moved first. Above the station, one side's coach moves first, which means that this side has fallen into the disadvantage. Although this is not absolute. Namikaze Minato under the execution stand still hasn't moved. But Sengoku is still not very optimistic about Marine's situation today. That little Oz has Bankai. But there is also a Vista. He, doesn't he have Bankai? For so long, Sengoku also summed up some of the power systems of the Gote 13 division. Presumably, the power release should have two phases. The second, Bankai, is also their strongest move. So far, as long as these captains are Bankai, their strength will directly surpass Marine Admiral. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help but look ugly. Vista and Little Oz, they were there to save Ace, to save their brother. When necessary, they use all their strength, there is almost no doubt. But Zoro, Kirby et al., might they use all their strength for Marine against their colleagues in Jingling Court? Sengoku shook his head involuntarily. And Na Vista, now the first stage of liberation has already pressed Kazaru and Aokiji to fight. If this is also Bankai, Sengoku is somewhat unimaginable. In short, this is also likely to be on the same level as that lunatic. Sengoku's face was gloomy. Besides, there is a time bomb coming towards naval headquarters at this time. Sengoku has always remembered. The kendo list used to be the second, now the third, Sabo. Advertisement. From Garp's mouth, Sengoku learns that Sabo is Ace and Luffy's brother. Now that the brothers are in trouble, almost all the people from Jingling Court are here. That Sabo, might be absent. And looking at his position on the kendo list, I'm afraid his strength will at least not be lower than that lunatic. Even stronger. If he came, Marine's front would collapse almost instantly. Thinking of this, Sengoku couldn't help muttering. Quote dot 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 quote. Fire type ability. 99. I hope it's not too strong. Sengoku thought, looking at the Moby Dick. The most urgent task is to complete the primary goal of this war. That is killing Whitebeard. Since the release of the power list, the tension in Sengoku's heart has been rising. After Kaido's second stage awakening just now, Sengoku's tension is almost at its limit. Beast's Pirates is only 8th on the power list. Kaido of the Beasts won such a terrible reward, and his strength was close to that of Whitebeard at his peak. The Whitebeard Pirates are ranked 6th in the power list. If this waits until the release of the Whitebeard Pirates power list, Whitebeard's ranking is almost certain. And when the time comes, if this allows Whitebeard to return to his peak combat power directly. In this battle, if Marine wants to achieve the goal again, it is almost impossible. Thinking of this, Sengoku looked at Whitebeard with a heavy face. And on the Moby Dick. Whitebeard also caught sight of Sengoku. The eyes of the two old rivals met in the air. Almost instantly, Whitebeard understood what Sengoku was thinking. Whitebeard laughed all his life, clenching cloud cut. Cool la la la, Sengoku, didn't Marine just want the old man's head? If you have the ability, you Marine can come and pick it up in person. Whitebeard laughed, although he is ready to fall to the top of the field. But he will never sit still. Instead, in the most hockey form, he once again showed the power of his Whitebeard to the world. Garp. Follow me and take Whitebeard's head off. 35. On the execution stand, Sengoku turned his head to Garp and said decisively. Garp's face was stunned, and he nodded silently. Sengoku was a little surprised. But what he didn't know was. Garp had long been unconcerned about Ace's safety. So, against Whitebeard, that's Garp's job as Marine. The two are gearing up to cross the entire station to besiege Whitebeard. But this moment, the golden list of the sky was shocked. 
Sengoku's expression changed, but the figure did not hesitate at all. Advertisement. The Big Mom Pirate Team Battle Power List is about to be released. Is it far from the Whitebeard Pirates? If you don't kill Whitebeard now, you won't have a chance later. But right now, Sengoku and Garp stopped abruptly on the execution platform. Um, um, 35. Hearing this loud laughter, many people in the station stopped their hands and looked up. Whitebeard tilted his head slightly. Then I saw the imposing group of Big Mom Pirates battleships. The redhead raised his eyes slightly, his eyes full of solemnity. Kaido stopped fighting Mamasagi and laughed. Crazy woman, you are here too. Ha 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 ha. On the execution stand, Sengoku and Garp looked gloomy. The two looked at each other, completely dignified. Four sea emperors. The world's strongest male silver, Whitebeard Edward Newgate. The most hockey male silver in the sea, Redhead Shanks. The strongest creature in the world, Kaido of the Beasts. Steel Balloons, Big Mom, Charlotte Linlin. Four new world sea emperors gathered at naval headquarters today. And watching the four emperors gather on the top of the field, the people watching the live broadcast all over the world also trembled. I am not wrong, right? The four emperors Big Mom Pirates are here too. There's still more than one person, that's Katakori, and the four dessert stars are here. 35. Charlotte Linlin is this bringing all the combatants of the nations. What are these pirates doing? Are they going to destroy Marine? Countless people watched the arrival of the four emperors, and couldn't help but tremble with each other. And this time, the gold list on that day was shocked, and then the Big Mom Pirate Team's battle power list was released. The first place in the Big Mom Pirate Team's combat power list, Steel Balloon, Charlotte Linlin. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Devil Fruit's second stage awakening, and his left arm is restored to its original state. Close black lens bracket. The second place in the Big Mom Pirate Team's combat power list, Charlotte Katakori. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Conqueror's winding. Close black lens bracket. The third place in the Big Mom Pirate Team's combat power list. Seeing the release of the Big Mom Pirate Team's battle power list, Dahai was shocked by it. Some strong men who knew the top power of the sea were dumbfounded. Hey, am I right? 5. It's only the second Big Mom Pirate Team's power list, that Katakori actually got the Conqueror's Entanglement. How is this possible? Conqueror's Entanglement, this is the master of the sea's top powerhouse. And the reward for Charlotte Linlin, another second awakening. 99. As the Soul Soul Fruit also awakening in the second stage. Oh my god, countless people in the sea were shocked and lost their minds. And the scene, advertisement, accompanied by Charlotte Linlin's big laughs. The Big Mom Pirates appeared at naval headquarters. Four emperors Charlotte Linlin took the lead, took Katakori and the others up the ice, and walked to the station. When walking not far from the Moby Dick, Charlotte Linlin and others stopped. Afterwards, the gold medal reward began to come to them. Charlotte Linlin's left arm, severed by Zoro, was shrouded in gold. Just for a moment, his arm, which had been severed by Zoro and could not be restored at all, was intact. Watch this scene. Katakori and the others all looked overjoyed. Cracker murmured in shock. Mom's arm, we used all the methods and found all the doctors. But the end result is irreversible. 35. But today, Cracker's face is full of joy. 35. Perosparo is also beside Charlotte Linlin to congratulate her. Subsequently, the whole pirate group of Big Mom accepts the reward. Charlotte Linlin stood there, her expression full of pain. But the pain is also mixed with Charlotte Linlin's anger. Um, um, shortly after. The powerful breath came from the body of the Big Mom pirate group. Charlotte Linlin's own momentum is rolling over everything around. The entire sheet of ice was roaring and shaking. Charlotte Linlin felt the skyrocketing strength and looked at Zoro. Well, well, well. The old lady is here today to seek revenge on you. Cut off the old lady's arm, the old lady will kill you today. Zoro carried Zanpakuto Nozarashi on his shoulders, watching Charlotte Linlin indifferently. However, his mouth and feet also evoked a smile. Crazy woman, your soaring strength seems to have given you a lot of confidence. How many knives can you block me this time? 35. Zoro looked at Charlotte Linlin, and the look reappeared as if looking at prey. This made Charlotte Linlin feel sharp discomfort. Red-eyed Charlotte Linlin almost ran wild. But he has not forgotten the second purpose of coming here. Charlotte Linlin looks at Whitebeard on the Moby Dick. Old man, Marine is at war with your Whitebeard pirates to destroy you Whitebeard. This is provoking the majesty of our four emperors. Your life, Whitebeard, is mine. Marine, don't move yet. Today, the old lady led the Big Mom pirate group to help you, and the territory near Wangwo belongs to me. Big Mom said, Sengoku's pupils suddenly trembled. Four emperors pirates, join forces. 90. Sea shake. As this a full-scale battle between Marine and the four emperors. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Listen to Charlotte Linlin. Kaido laughed on his face. Mad woman, are you here for a piece of Whitebeard's territory? How stupid. I'm very simple, I just want to trouble Marine. Charlotte Linlin glared at the shield. Kaido, 
You get out of the way, believe it or not, I'll tear your stinky mouth apart. 35. Kaido didn't give in at all. Mad woman, do you want to fight? The power of Lao Tzu's fruit after the awakening of the second stage has not really been exerted yet. Neither of the two returned. Fight, fight, my mother has just awakened in the second stage, will she be afraid of you, a dead fish? Forgot your fruit or the old lady gave it to you. After Kaido listened, he fell silent. The red hair looked at the two of them, and couldn't help showing a hint of hockey smile. Everyone, we are all pirates. Then keep the promise of the sea. 35. Hearing what the red hair said, everyone present raised their eyebrows slightly. Subsequently, Charlotte Linlin, Kaido, and the redhead laughed. Whitebeard on the Moby Dick was also not at all restrained, laughing out loud. Well, well, well. Ha 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 ha. Years. Ha 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 ha. Cool la 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 la. 35. Many viewers watching the live broadcast could not help but wonder. What happened? What are they laughing at? And what does that agreement mean? Beside it, an elderly man said. Young man, at first glance, you have never been a pirate, let alone a marine, have you? On the ocean, there is an unwritten agreement. That's how come the pirates and the pirates from the other side are fighting, no matter how fierce the fight is. Once marine appears, the pirates on both sides will turn their guns and go all out against marine. 99. I think that the four emperors of the sea on the top of the station should also have the same idea as 440. The young man who asked the question was shocked. What did you say? That means, the four sea emperors are going to join forces today. To deal with marine, the four emperors join forces. Everyone around the world was shocked. On top of the station. Whitebeard laughed, and the shadows of Charlotte Linlin and Kaido when they were young could not help but appear in his eyes. At the same time, I also saw the shadow of the red hair still working as a trainee crew on the Roger ship. Whitebeard cut through the clouds and looked at Sengoku on the execution platform. Marine. I, Whitebeard, go to war with you, Marine. Today, the sky is getting dark, and the world is collapsing. On the execution stand. Advertisement. Sengoku's face was solemn. After Whitebeard spoke, the redhead and the others did not speak. What does that mean? Means they are actually going to join forces with the Whitebeard pirates. Sengoku's next post is scolding mother. When? These arrogant four emperors have also learned to join forces. Sengoku really wanted to ask these four guys a good question. What about your arrogance? What about your backbone? What about the arrogance that dominates the sea and is the only one I am? Why today, instead, everyone is headed by Whitebeard? I am so special. Sengoku wanted to scold his mother very much. And opposite, the four Whitebeards were still laughing. But even their laughter, hearing by some weak marines, all of them couldn't help but look terrified. The four emperors joined forces. This is almost unprecedented in the entire sea. There was no one before, and presumably there will never be one in the future. Countless ordinary sailors were terrified of it. Ka eat people all over the world even more. A shake of the sea. Oh my god, the four emperor's pirates really joined forces. Now the entire sea, the combat power of the four seas is almost negligible, and the first half of the grand line is also a paradise. Only in the second half, that is, the new world, is there the most cruel station for the pirates. 99. But now. The four emperors who represent most of the power in the new world, they actually joined forces. I really can't imagine how Marine would have faced such a lineup. 9. It's too scary. Is this an all-out fight between Marine and the four emperors? Naval headquarters. Watching the Whitebeard four laugh. Akainu's blood-stained complexion couldn't help but turn ashen. His steel teeth were clenched. Pirates. Damn pirate. 35. Aokiji's face was heavy, and his body could not help tense. This may be his toughest fight since taking on the role of Marine Admiral. Alas, it's troublesome. Aokiji looked at Kazaru and sighed. And Kazaru completely put away his relaxed heart. The next article in his heart lies. How could those four guys join forces? No, I have to ask Mr. Sengoku to give me a raise. Advertisement. The danger of this battle has increased too much. How to fight this? However, at this time, listen to Whitebeard. It will be dark and dark, and the world will collapse. 99. Zoro, who carried Zanpakuto on his shoulders, was completely outraged. The madman's eyes were red, and he couldn't help but take two steps forward. He glanced at the four of them, and his eyes were full of fighting intent. Ahahahaha. Nine. It's really fun to wait in the field. Zoro laughed wildly, his body still bursting with momentum. This top-level fight is really happy. Step forward with Zoro. Buggy rode on the huge baby's head with a firm expression on his face. Shanks, this time, I must beat you. Kirby pulled out Hiranmaru and aimed at the pirates ahead. First I'm a marine, and now a marine admiral. Everyone. Next, I will use all my strength. Kirby glanced at Bista and Little Oz with a little guilt in his eyes. Sorry, first can't watch Marine lose this fight. So. Little Oz and Bista looked at each other. Both of them understood what Kirby meant. From the war until now, Kirby has been using Shikai instead of Bankai. 
And Kirby, even if it's just Shikai, can press Marco and Joes to fight. If he Bankai, that combat power is definitely not something that Marco and Joes can block. Is Daguerre and Hirenmaru? Little Oz's expression was dark, but he couldn't get out now. He will also kill this Marine Admiral Akainu. Under the execution stand. Namikaze Minato is also calm. Namikaze Minato will also do his duty as Marine Admiral while keeping Ace alive. Although he also sat for a while. But Namikaze Minato also lived up to Sengoku's trust. Looking at Marine's gesture. The pirate side is also not much to give up. Except for the four sea emperors. Such as Katakori, Ben Beckman and others have also raised extremely powerful momentum. The auras of Marine and pirates clashed in midair. The situation on the field became more and more depressing and dignified. World government. Inside the five elders office. The five stood in front of the screen, frowning at the screen. Swordsman five elders spoke solemnly. Today, Marine's strength alone cannot win this battle. Even if you add the group of people from Jingling Court, it will not work at all. The pirate side is really too strong now. Advertisement. Although Marine still has the strength to fight, the probability of defeat is too great. Listening to the words of the sword-fighting five elders, the rest of the people also had a heavy expression and nodded. The mustache five elders said solemnly. Yes. But we paid such a huge price, if we can't win this battle. The mustache five elders finished, and the audience fell silent. The five of them frowned, balancing inappropriately in their hearts. The battle to destroy Whitebeard had been planned for three months. Start by trading Ace with Blackbeard. After that, the world's official government was closely watching the Whitebeard pirates, trying to suppress the possibility of changes in other directions of the sea, and turning the world's attention to naval headquarters. This battle, it was almost a battle in which the world government showed its power to the whole world. The standby they paid is also massive. If this battle is lost, all the sacrifices they have paid will be in vain. The five people frowned, and they were very unwilling in their hearts. If the jingling court powerhouse takes action, it will start a war against Marine. Thus, Ace is rescued and Marine is defeated. Then they won't complain. But now, Jingling Ting was clearly at odds with each other, and their powerhouses restrained and offset each other. But Marine, still lost. This made the five people a little unacceptable. Losing in the Jingling Court clock, they are understandable. The world also has nothing to criticize the world government and Marine. But now it is indeed lost to the pirates. Not only were they unwilling, but they also couldn't keep their faces. The blonde old man thought for a while, and then said decisively. I propose that ergo to support naval headquarters. We've given so much, there's no reason to give up at the last minute. 99. Even if this ball is difficult to play, we have to score it. When the other people heard his words, they all nodded involuntarily. Yeah, and if we win this battle, the reputation of the world's official government will definitely increase. Marine and us must have grown in strength, and the benefits are countless. In today's turbulent situation in the sea, we desperately need the victory of this battle. After thinking for a moment, several people nodded. Notice empty. In the office of the chief of the army. Sora was watching the battle at naval headquarters and could not wait to rush to the station in person. At this time, he received orders from the five elders. Hearing this order, Kong's old face couldn't help but flash a hint of joy. Put on the cloak of justice, walk out of the world's main palace, and rush to naval headquarters. And at the same time, the five elders gave Sora orders at the same time. They also got an order from I.M. That is, send as many strong men as possible to naval headquarters, and attract the strong men of the whole sea. When necessary, you can release all the criminals and impel down and upgrade the station again. 91. Shaoji Suzaku and Shuangwu join the battlefield. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Inside the five elders' office. The atmosphere is quiet. The five were silent. They pondered the order I am just passed on to them. Send as many strong men as possible to naval headquarters, and attract the strong men of the whole sea. When necessary, you can release all the criminals and impel down and upgrade the station again. 99. Several people pondered over this sentence, and then Jianjian showed shock in their eyes. For a long time, the mustache five elders wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Everyone, what do you mean by I am Sama? He was a little afraid to go on, because it was so, crazy. If this order hadn't been sent by Lord Yim's personal attendant, they almost doubted the authenticity of this order. After a long time, the blonde five elders said solemnly. Lord Yimu's order, we'll just follow it. Several people nodded. But in the five elders' office, the atmosphere was still very dull. Lord I am, are you going to use that kind of thing? Hearing a cold sentence from an old man, the others frowned. Be careful, shaved five elders said, however, in the hearts of several people, they were just as shocked as the five elders. Lord Yimu, this is to destroy all the powerhouses in the sea at one time. Even, including the people from the top three forces. The five thought about it, and then their eyes lit up. Isn't it, they led all the people from Zai Palace, Jingling Court, and Shouta Naval Headquarters. When I am uses that thing, all this group of people will be wiped out. 
At that time, their world's official government will return to the first force again. Five people, you look at me, I look at you, all can't help nodding. Everyone, then how should we lead Xiao, Jingalingting, and even the people from the Void Knight Palace to naval headquarters? Isn't it said that I am Sama? When necessary, release all criminals from Impel Down. Give them a chance, and as long as they go to naval headquarters, this battle will be promoted without limit. Five. The bald five elders said fiercely. The other people's expressions moved. They all nodded. Then, someone could not help but speak. The secret of Impel Down, no one knows except the five of us. So this matter requires five of us to do it. Several people couldn't help but look at the bald-headed five elders who just made this opinion. The bald five elders nodded. When necessary, I will go there in person. The others nodded. Advertisement. At this time, the blonde five elders raised their eyebrows. Do you want Sora to come back? 35 feet. He went to support naval headquarters, and if that thing starts, naval headquarters. Several people thought about it, and then shook their heads. I can't bear children, I can't catch a wolf. Korra, let him shine one last time for the world's official government. The words fall. The office of the five elders fell silent. They are still rocked by Aim's decision. This is to destroy all the strong men in the sea at one time. Several people looked at naval headquarters with some pity. This group of people doesn't know yet, no matter how well they fight this battle. But in the end, the result of this battle will be the victory of the world government. Because, Lord Yimu has already decided to do it. Then the result has been determined. Dot 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 dot. That Chu Sha. Several people thought, all silenced. Naval headquarters. Everyone here does not know the conspiracy of the world's official government. I don't know that they are already in extremely dangerous danger. On the execution stand, Sengoku looked at the marine situation in front of him, still frowning tightly. Garp next to him was not much better. The naval headquarters battle was almost bigger than the battle in the Valley of the Gods, and the powerhouses involved were even more terrifying. The battle in the Valley of the Gods was just Rock's pirate, against Marine and Roger pirates. Although the overlord of the sea, Rocks, is extremely powerful, the crew members are also monsters such as Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido. But the Whitebeard and others back then had not grown up yet. In the end, the battle was won by Garp and the Roger Pirates. Garp the Fist was named Marine Hero for this reason. Now many years later, Marine once again plots a terrifying battle. But what Sengoku didn't expect was. He had won the battle of the top, the battle to eliminate Whitebeard, but he has reached this field. The four sea emperors joined forces. Although Beast's Pirates only has Kaido. But just Kaido of the Beasts can already affect the entire station situation. Not to mention Kaido's daughter Yamato. But now Kaido and Charlotte Linlin have gone through two stages of awakening, and their strength can be said to be approaching the peak of Whitebeard and Rocks. Not to mention the Redhead. In the past, the Kendo list has allowed the Red Hair to get rewards, and the strength has improved a lot. Now the Red Hair has won the Battle Power list award again, and has the same ability as the Pirate King Roger. Hear the voice of all things. Advertisement. And the Red-Haired Conqueror's hockey is also comparable to One Piece Roger. Among the New World Four Emperors, the Red-Haired Conqueror's is the most accomplished. This is also the reason why the red hair can rely on physical skills alone and sit firmly on the throne of the four emperors. So today's redhead, Kaido, Big Mom. Almost all of the three were afraid of the extreme. The battle power list does not know when the next one will be released. The next one is the Whitebeard Pirates. Sengoku can figure it out with his toes. Kaido et al. have received such a horrific boost. If you wait until the Whitebeard Pirates are on the list, then Whitebeard's strength will be greatly enhanced. If he was allowed to return to his peak, Marine would be in total danger. 150,000 elite marines may all be destroyed in this naval headquarters. Then he Sengoku is an eternal sinner of marine. Sengoku frowned more and more tightly. Although, marine also has a lot of strong foreign players to join. But those people Sengoku didn't think marine could count on. Because they couldn't fight to the death for marine. It is not impossible even to defect at a critical moment. But now this battle, after the four emperors have all come together, the nature has changed. From the original execution of Fire Fist Ace, to destroy Whitebeard and Jonjian turned into a full-on fight between Marine and the four emperors. Sengoku thought about this, his brows furrowed more and more tightly. Garp's face was heavy. He can feel it. I can feel the pressure of my old friend at the moment. He carries almost everything in Marine. This battle was initiated by Sengoku and decided to broadcast it worldwide. Zero flowers. The purpose is to show the world that Marine is powerful and suppress the arrogance of pirates. But now, Marine's power has yet to be fully displayed. The power of the four emperors is reflected most vividly. Marine's side was almost out of control of the battle. The outcome of this battle has gone into the unknown. Garp took two silent steps forward. From the original Sengoku thick, came to him. Sengoku saw Garp out of the corner of his eye, and also felt Garp's heavy emotions. Both of them turned their heads slightly, seeing the trust in the old man's eyes. Then, Garp laughed. Sengoku, don't worry. This battle, 
This old man will fight this old bone, and I will win it for you. Justice in our marines needs to be carried forward and spread. Otherwise, there will only be more and more pirates in the sea, and the lives of the civilians will be ruined. Advertisement. Watch the conversation between Sengoku and Garp on the execution stand. Many people watching the live broadcast were moved by it. Some helpless civilians roared in grief and indignation. Damn it. Why are there pirates in this world? 35. 0. Isn't it bad to honestly accept the rule of the world's official government? Why should these powerful guys destroy the peace? Four emperors, Shichibukai, supernovas, they are all damn. Damn. 39. Many civilians roared in anger, but they provoked ridicule from a group of strong people. Do not be silly. Don't you think that without pirates, the world would have no competition? It's ridiculous. Without pirates, there will also be disputes between kingdoms. Even, the world's official government will start a fight for the group of noble celestial dragons. Yup. Look at the Sabayadi archipelago, look at the auctions there. 35. I know that the official government of the world may be the most suitable person to rule this world. If there are no pirates, there may be fewer people who suffer. But do you know how many slaves like us are in the White Palace complex of Mariajoy? Without pirates, the world's official government will only be more rampant. Although a standoff will bring disaster, it is precisely because there are Garp Vice Admiral, Marshal Sengoku and other people who protect justice. That's why there is a place of peace in this world. A man with a tightly wrapped figure spoke. He couldn't help thinking of the scene before Mariajoy was rescued by the fisherman Fisher Tiger. Hearing his words, countless people fell silent. Marshal Sengoku, Garp Vice Admiral, 35. However, the worship of Garp and Sengoku is also starting to spark around the world. None of them thought about it. The world is so evil. Then why didn't that godlike adult come out and punish them? But this remark appears fast and disappears fast. Because everyone is watching. The situation at naval headquarters has changed again. Yeah ha 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 ha. This god is here, accept the judgment. A lifetime of laughter sounded. Two figures in red cloud windbreakers on a black background appeared over the top of the station. Many people looked up. Then, his eyes narrowed fiercely. B. Xiao. Chuan. 92. Sengoku was shocked. Damn it. Garp, your relationship is so hard. Anyone from Akatsuki can invite you. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. Looking at the two figures in the air, many people's eyes shrank. Red cloud windbreaker on black. It contrasts sharply with Hauri, the white captain of Shirei Te. No doubt, this is Akatsuki. Looking at the two figures, Bista smiled. That group of guys has also come to participate in the war. 35. Saying that, he couldn't help but glance at the direction of the execution platform. He almost forgot, there is also a person who knows Xiao there. Namikaze Minato looked at him and returned a reassuring look. Bista understood and smiled lightly. Zoro, who carried Zanpakuto on his shoulders, also raised his head and looked at the two of Na Xiao. After seeing one person first, Zoro frowned with disgust in his eyes. And after seeing the other person, Zoro's eyes also showed a hint of interest. As that guy here too. This battle is getting more and more interesting. Except for Zoro et al. On the execution stand. Sengoku watched Akatsuki's two come, and his eyes could not help shrinking. What are the people of Xiao doing here? Sengoku's heart was horrified. Now the situation is very dire for Marine. If Akatsuki also joins the pirates. In this battle, how will Marine, 457, fight? While others don't know Xiao, they may think that there is a big gap between this third force and Jingling Court. But in Sengoku's mind, although the Jingling Court of the second force is strong. But Akatsuki, the third force, has never been underestimated. After all, the Shuangwu of Shaoji had severely injured Garp. And according to Garp, the eight inner gates used by the Shuangwu of Don should have a total of eight gates. But he only used the seventh gate that day, and Garp was no match. And what about the eighth gate? Sengoku couldn't help frowning. Is the arrival of this Don a blessing or a curse for Marine? When Sengoku's heart was dignified. On the other hand, the pirate side was a little unconcerned about the two who came. Especially Big Mom and Kaido. They were not impressed with Akatsuki because they had never fought. So far, Akatsuki's only official shot has been the fight with Garp. Although Garp was seriously injured, the results were surprising. But Big Mom and Kaido have now awakened for the second time. The two are confident in their strength. They don't even pay attention to some people in Jingling Court now. So, knowing people, they even look down on them. The two were not nervous at all. Advertisement. Instead, Kaido frowned. God. These days, what kind of cat and dog can claim to be gods? Kaido said disdainfully. When one of them heard Kaido's words in midair, the shield was furious. An electric light came in an instant. Enel came to Kaido and looked at Kaido with anger in his eyes. Four emperors, Kaido of the beasts. You mean, do you despise this god? As Enel said, dark clouds hung over naval headquarters. Lightning flashes and thunders in that dark cloud, bred with extremely powerful thunder power. 
But Kaido didn't care when he saw this. Because he also controls lightning. Besides, this kind of ordinary thunder is like a tickling for him now. Kaido smiled disdainfully. Seeing this scene, Enel became more and more angry. The thunder light was dazzling and condensed in the air. Enel was full of anger. Accept God's punishment. Enel waved his hand. A thick thunderbolt from the mouth of the bowl smashed down and hit Kaido directly. Bathed in lightning, Kaido laughed, his heart full of disdain. With this little power, you still call yourself a god. Kaido smiled disdainfully. Then, a punch hit. Enel didn't let up, and threw the same punch. Above that fist, a thick armament hockey was covered. The two collided in midair. But when the two have not yet decided the winner. Another figure in a red cloud windbreaker with a black background descended. Come to the two of them. The figure first punched Kaido, then kicked Enel away. Boom. Two figures fell to the ground. Kaido was furious and got up in an instant. Enel was also full of anger. The two rushed towards the figure in the middle. The figure was helpless. Enel, we haven't agreed on which side to join. You just do it. 35. The figure said, and kicked Enel away again. Then, he looked calmly at Kaido who was rushing towards him. Eight inner gates, sixth gate, king gate, open. Ah Jin's body is still erupting with surging green energy. Facing the rushing Kaido, Ah Jin punched again. Boom. The void trembled faintly. Advertisement. A Jin punched Kaido's whole body again. Now, can you calm down? Akin looked at Kaido and Enel with a headache. This Enel is so special that it can be installed. It was a hassle to come with him. Kaido's figure collided with a large boat, which was directly smashed by Kaido's figure. Subsequently, the whole place was silent. They looked at Ah Jin who was standing in the middle, each and everyone was dumbfounded. This appearance is too high, isn't it? Twice blasted Kaido, and twice blasted his teammates. Is this what people do? Countless people around the world watching the live broadcast were also stunned. My god, isn't this guy too tall? F asterisk K, hold back that sentence. Eight inner gates, sixth gate, king gate, open. F asterisk K, this is so handsome. Nine, ha ha ha, that guy still claims to be a god, and a god is only so powerful. 35. It's really fun. However, two more people came to the top of the station, and they were still Xiao's people. The situation at this station is confusing again. Yeah, are they here to help Marine, or are they here to help pirates? 5. Many people looked suspicious. On the execution stand. Sengoku looked at Jin and Enel, his brows furrowed. This Enel should be the thunder fruit capable person. It can transform into a thunder light, and has a speed that is almost on par with Kazaru. At this point, Sengoku turned his eyes to Kazaru. Kazaru nodded silently. Obviously, he also saw the details of Enel. This is the thunder fruit ability, the brother fruit of his sparkling fruit. After being confirmed, Sengoku turned to look at Akin again. As for this one, he is no stranger to it. Because Garp, who was beside Sengoku, had long been silent. That is, Ah Jin, who defeated the old man. 0, 0 inches. Sengoku frowned. Under the current situation, Xiao's people came to stand on the top of the field, what is this for? What are they going to do? Just as Sengoku pondered. Enel returned to Akin's side. You and I are here to fight, do you still need to think about it? Some people look down on us already, just Kaido of the beasts. I have to teach him a lesson today, look down on us Xiao. Think we are not as good as those guys in Jingling Court. 39. Enel said, looking at Kaido with an angry face. And Kaido didn't give in at all. Lightning boy, there is something coming. I'm afraid of you. Advertisement. You know that your ranking is the third in the power list, under the Jingling Court, do you have any problems with looking down on you? 35. Enel was even more furious, and his whole body was already shrouded in lightning. Looking at this scene, Akin couldn't help but look at Bista. Bista, I can't handle this idiot. So, he and Bista have a pretty good relationship on weekdays. But today, they might be on Marine's side. Just because of the idiot Enel. Bista nodded, not caring. After learning that Ace is safe. The rest is a fierce battle. It doesn't matter which side Ajin and Enel are on. Arkin nodded, then turned to look at Garp on the execution platform. Garp Vice Admiral, meet again. Garp nodded. Yes, Akin. I don't know if this time, the old man will be able to see your eighth gate. Garp's eyes flashed fierce fighting intent. It was Garp's long-term regret that he didn't get to see Akin's eighth gate. If he could see him today, he would surely die without regrets. But Akin shook his head. Garp Vice Admiral, in that battle, I felt a little guilty, and it was a bit heavy. Then today, Enel and I, take your marine's side. Listening to Ah Jin's words, Sengoku's eyes lit up on the execution platform. Garp also froze in place. Feeling Sengoku's gaze at him, Garp had no idea why. Just because of his own words, he brought in two more powerful foreign aids for Marine. Sengoku's eyes became more and more admirable, and more and more shocked. His heart was full of satisfaction with Garp. This Garp relationship is too hard. And Akin finished that sentence. Between Kaido and Enel over there, it's about to explode. 
The two walked forward step by step, their bodies still colliding with imposing manners. Kaido looked at Enel with disdain on his face. Little devil, I don't care which faction you belong to, I will look down on you today. Be patient, you will defeat Lao Tzu. Enel's face was full of anger. Kaido right, look down on us Xiao, I'll show you how good I am today. Accept the punishment of God. 33. Enel said, the whole body electric light sword. Enel rose to the ground. Healthy, he was shrouded in infinite thunder and turned into the body of a god of thunder. The Thor's body was as tall as Kaido's body of more than 9 meters. Both of them exuded an aura of annihilation. This scene saw many people stunned. 93. Thunder fruit play flowers, Sasato Thor, Enel, you really know how to play. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On top of the station. Looking at the body of Thor, which was almost the same height as Kaido, everyone couldn't help but be stunned. This person of knowledge seems to be a very strong existence. Two Pang Ran Da not facing each other nearly 10 meters away, the sense of oppression released by this is far from being comparable to the confrontation of other people. Everyone in the station looked at the confrontation between these two statues. And Enel and Kaido are also very arrogant. They are extremely confident in their own strength. No one will back down. Looking at Kaido, Enel sneered. The strongest creature in the world. This god can type out all your shit, do you believe it or not? 99. Kaido jumped up when he heard his tantrum. TMs, you still call yourself a god. Is Xiao all like you? Then it seems that the golden wood expulsion is correct, and I am also correct. 39. You know, it's not as good as Jingling Court. Kaido looked at Enel contemptuously. Hearing Kaido say that Xiao is not as good as Jing Lingting, Enel's anger surged up in his heart. What did you say? I just said you know trash, what's the matter? Hearing Kaido's words, Enel couldn't help looking at Akin and Namikaze Minato who were beside him. These two people can take out one of them at random, and they can play Kaido at will. Dot 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 dot. Thinking of this, Enel was even more angry. He could not tolerate others looking down on him the most. Enel's whole body thundered, but Kaido didn't go first, and Enel didn't want to. Because they are arrogant people. Knowing that the opponent's strength is similar to his own, no one is willing to do it first. The two continued to fight with each other, and the people around them were stunned. 20. Kaido of the beasts. How did this thing become, civilized? And Enel, the self-proclaimed god. Neither of these two seemed to be able to tolerate others cursing them. But what's going on now? They are like Shrew scolding the street. Only Akin looked at this scene and shook his head. Enel is too familiar to him. If others don't shoot first, he disdains to shoot. This is what Enel learned from that adult. Akin shook his head helplessly. And right now, Sengoku's eyes narrowed on the execution platform. The ice on the top of the battlefield trembled. A group of complicated figures slowly came. Seeing the three of them in the lead, Sengoku's eyes were solemn. Beasts Pirates. Advertisement. Fire Disaster. Ember. The Plague, Quinn, 99, Drought, Jack, the army of the beasts pirates is approaching. There are also many people who heard the news and looked, and then their eyes were shocked. People around the world watching the livestream were truly shocked. Did you see it? That's beasts pirates. The beasts pirates are all here. Three disasters, flying six robes. Here are all the powerhouses of the beasts pirates. Did they come to stand on top of Kaido's orders? My god, it's really the four emperor's pirates gathering together to fight the naval headquarters. On this sea, who can face the combined force of the four emperor's pirates? 35. I'm afraid naval headquarters is really going to lose this time. Think of this. Some frowned, praying that naval headquarters would win the battle. Some people laughed, hoping that the pirates could completely destroy naval headquarters this time. Someone looked calm, as if there was no fluctuation in this battle. However, their figures stared at the strong men of Jingalingting and Xiao in the picture. These people are smart people. They knew that in this battle, Ever since the Jingling Court powerhouse appeared, the situation was no longer in the hands of either the Marine or the Pirates. It was the master who held the clock in Jingling Court and Xiao. It can be said that whoever they want to win can win. And the person behind the scenes of Xiao and Jing Lingting is the most mysterious Chu Sha. This battle is not so much an all-out battle between Marine and the Four Emperors. Rather say, it's a game of that mysterious adult. Either tempering his subordinates, or laying out a big picture. Of course there are not many such smart people. Most of the world still only saw the appearance of Marine and the four emperors fighting. For example, Long, he is one of the few people who can see through the situation. Standing in the newly built base of the Ming army, Long watched the battle at naval headquarters thoughtfully. Koala and others were still shocked by the arrival of the entire beast's pirates. But the dragon raised his head and looked at the sacred golden list. Look at the name that has appeared many times, and the number one kendo list that has not yet been released. The dragon's eyes were full of deepness. Who, exactly, are you? How strong will it be? Will you lead the world to the light? Dawn. Leading the world to dawn. The dragon murmured in his heart. But he still couldn't see through Chu Sha, the existence that was completely covered in mist. Strength. Identity. Background. Power. 
etc., etc. Advertisement. What Long knows about Chu Sha now is only on the golden list. Naval headquarters. The arrival of the three disasters and others could not help but cause a stir. And Jack the Dro looked at his boss Kaido with joy. Boss, here we come. Destroy naval headquarters today. 35. Jack said, looking at Kaido's angry face. Kaido was originally the person Jack admired the most. Now that Kaido has grown in size, the strength of the whole person is even more surging. This made Jack admire him even more. When Kaido heard Jack's words, he couldn't help but stop yelling at Enel and turned his head to look at Senka and others. Seeing Jack, Kaido couldn't help frowning. Because Jack's figure at this time was a little embarrassed. Although it is not easy to get to naval headquarters from New World in a short time. But this Jack, why is he soaking wet, and there are still a few new scars on his body? But he didn't wait for Kaido to ask questions. Enel turned into Thor in front of him and looked at Jack, laughing loudly. Yeah ha 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 ha. Beasts, is this fool your subordinate? Yeah ha 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 ha. Hearing Enel's laughter, Kaido's anger resurfaced. Kaido is crazy, but Kaido is always good to his subordinates. Kaido doesn't care even if someone contradicts him normally. In this Kaido is almost like Dover. Still, Kaido didn't wait for him to speak. Jack turned his eyes and saw Enel in the form of Thor. He just didn't recognize it. But hearing this yin, Jack's eyes straightened up. Oh it's you. Thor Enel laughed. It's me, it turns out that you fool is a beast and a subordinate. 35. It's true that there are fools every year, especially today. It's a special gathering. Yeah ha 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 ha. Enel laughed. The people around are a little unclear. Don't know what happened between Enel and Jack. Kaido was also confused. Although he wanted to vent his anger on Jack, he had to understand the whole thing. Kaido turned to look at Jin. Jin immediately understood, and the masked face could still see helplessness. Boss, after we returned to Oni Island, we learned that you were going to naval headquarters. 5. After the three of us discussed it, we brought people to naval headquarters. Kaido nodded. Jin continued, with a very helpless tone. But we're just now, and we're approaching naval headquarters. 35. We ran into two people wearing red cloud windbreakers on a black background. We recognized them immediately. They were Akatsuki's two strong men. Adhering to the philosophy that more is worse than less. As you once said, when you meet Akatsuki, you can avoid it if you can. 39. Advertisement. I ordered that they continue to go to naval headquarters at full speed regardless. Can. Jin's voice suddenly became helpless and angry. What an idiot Jack. 35. Before my order, he attacked the two of them. Then, Jin spread out his hands, full of helplessness. Kaido was slightly stunned, then reacted. He can guess without Jin saying it later. It must be Jack, the stupid iron-headed boy, who took the initiative to find someone to fight, and was then taught a lesson. And listening to Jin's story, everyone at the scene of 457 almost couldn't help laughing. Enel laughed even more. Beasts, look at your stupid subordinate. After one blow was dealt with by me, he even dared to come up to challenge me. Are you saying he's an idiot? Kaido was scorned by Enel. And Jack, still completely blind, growled from the side. Come on, this is land, do you dare to fight me again? I beat your shit out. Kaido gave Jack a hard look. The next time you attack someone, can you think about what I said? 99. Kaido said, Jack nodded a little aggrieved. Got it, boss. Seeing Jack's still dissatisfied appearance, Kaido couldn't help holding his forehead. This is so Jack. Kaido didn't care either. He also knew, with Jack's temperament. I am afraid that if I encounter the fleet of naval headquarters, I dare to pull the ship over. He Kaido is real, but, my own subordinates, but I can't be laughed at like this casually. Hearing Enel's loud jeers, Kaido clenched his hand and clenched his mace. He looked at Enel, scales appearing all over his body. The double horns on top of Kaido's head are also growing. Kaido's whole body began to rise. Obviously, he wants to transform into a dragon form. A lifetime of dragon chants, resounding from the naval headquarters. Moreover, this is the first time Kaido has transformed into a blue dragon form after his second awakening. That blue dragon is hundreds of meters long, and the power it exudes destroys the sky and destroys the earth. But, in front of the azure dragon's body, Enel, who seemed particularly insignificant, was not at all nervous. He looked at Kaido and couldn't stop laughing. Yeah ha 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 ha. 35. Kaido, just show you my true power. Enel's eyes kicked. The blue chakra rose into the sky, intertwined with Enel's thunder power. The two merge with each other. Healthy in the heaven and earth, forming a blue giant. 94. Ah Jin, eight inner gates, crushed the audience. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval headquarters. A blue giant with a height of more than 100 meters stood in the sky. The giant was still wearing armor everywhere, and there were a few small drum-like things behind him. This is developed by Enel based on its own thunder fruit, which can store a lot of thunder power. After using Suzano, these snare drums are also amplified in sync, increasing their power. 
The blue giant stood upright and faced off fiercely with the blue dragon on the opposite side. Watching this scene, countless people were shocked. At the same time, many people turned their attention to Little Oz not far away. Does this Enel have the same ability as Little Oz? However, after comparing for a while, everyone couldn't help shaking their heads. The black rope scourge Ming Wang summoned by Little Oz is more like an entity. And these around Enel's body are more like blue energy. And the black rope scourges King Ming, Little Oz's body cannot enter its body, and can only be manipulated from the outside. This is also the reason why Little Oz has been unable to win a Kainu. Outside, although Ming Wang's movements are in sync with Little Oz. But Little Oz still can't be as hands-on, and is a little less integrated. If he can develop the final form of King Ming, he can take down a Kainu in a short time. But now it seems that it is still a little worse after all. But everyone looked at Enel. This is not the same as Little Oz. Enel this ability, it's more like using energy to wrap yourself up. The power of thunder and another kind of power, layer by layer, surrounded Enel's entire being. He is like a high speed, standing inside, to ensure that he will not be hit by any power. Looking at this scene, many people couldn't help showing envy in their eyes. This kind of power is kind of heaven defying. And the world capital Maria Joy. Inside a high tech laboratory, Vegapunk watched the live broadcast of Naval Headquarters, and his eyes could not help but light up. Special was watching Enel's Suzano appear, and Vegapunk's eyes lit up to ultimate. He looked at the blue giant as if he were looking at a peerless treasure. The mad scientist who led the world for 500 years picked up the notebook and began to record all the battle data of Suzano. And the scene, countless people watching Enel's Suzano is also shockingly unknown. Even Namikaze Minato, who was under the execution stand, showed interest in his eyes. Of course he knew Suzano, and he knew that Enel had acquired that ability. But even he didn't expect that Enel would be able to use Susa like this. Who did you learn this from? With interest in his eyes, Namikaze Minato continued to stare at everything in front of him. And the battle between Kaido and Enel is about to break out. Both of them can fly. So the whole sky became their station. Advertisement. Just like the battle between the madman and the bullheaded monster not long ago, the sky roared again. Although the sound is much smaller this time, the shocking effect is still not low at all. Seeing that the two could not tell the difference in a short period of time. Most of the people on the scene also turned their eyes back. They all looked at the enemies opposite themselves, and they were ready to start one by one. The battle between Kaido and Enel, this is just a little episode on top of the station. The strong people here are still countless. Then. Everyone couldn't help but look at Ah Jin, who was now in the middle of the station. Ajin's whole body erupted with green energy, and the whole person was very powerful. Many people even think so. How come this Ah Jin broke out, the two in the sky are not opponents at all? This can be seen from the fact that Ah Jin was able to bombard the two of them twice in succession. And the fact is as everyone expected. If Arkin opens the eight gates, the eight inner gates formation will open. So now this piece of standing on the top of the field, can compete with no more than five fingers. They are also people of Akatsuki and Jing Lingting. And a war will come, and both sides are likely to perish together. The rest, whether it is the marine side or the pirate side. No one is going to be a match for eight gate Arkin. The battle at naval headquarters continues, and many of them have opponents of their own. Ajin rolled his eyes. Now that he said it, he owed Garp a favor. Then he'll fight for the marines. Akin couldn't help but look at the big mom pirates. Immediately, Arkin saw Charlotte Linlin headed. Charlotte Linlin was watching the station with a big laugh, not in a hurry to take the big mom pirates off the stage. Because Charlotte Linlin is not stupid. She came to naval headquarters for her own purpose. One of them is to seek revenge for that lunatic. But Charlotte Linlin is also very aware of herself. Although she has awakened in the second stage of fruit, her strength has skyrocketed. But there was a soul-like fear in Charlotte Linlin about that lunatic. She's still not sure if she's the maniac's match now. So Charlotte Linlin did not act rashly, but was ready to find an opportunity to give that crazy man a full blow. As the most insidious of the four emperors, Charlotte Linlin never cared about sneak attacks. As long as you can get revenge, you can kill that lunatic. She Charlotte Linlin can be considered to have completed the obsession in her heart. But at this time, before she could find the opportunity to sneak attack on Zoro. Akin looked at them. Since I've decided to help Garp, I'll help Marine fight one of the four emperors. Advertisement. Ah Jin said lightly, his eyes were very calm. Many people in naval headquarters have heard Akin's words. Listening to Akin's indifferent tone, many people were stunned. Why does it sound like she doesn't care about Charlotte Linlin at all? But they didn't wait for them to wonder. Akin in the sixth gate state goes to the big mom pirates. As he walked, Ah Jin said with a calm expression. Eight inner gates, seventh gate, shock gate, open. Akin's words fell. A powerful aura suddenly erupted around him. The original green steam turned into blue steam. Arkin made his way to Charlotte Linlin. Even lit a cigarette. He looked at Charlotte Linlin flatly, said. Bring it on. Seeing Ah Jin's contemptuous attitude, everyone in the Big Mom Pirates was stunned. 
Their big mom pirates are still the big mom pirates today. How can you be looked down upon like this? If only that madman would be fine. You are a well-known person, how dare you look down on them? Charlotte Linlin was furious when she shielded. She looked at Katakori and ordered. Katakori. Katakori understood what Charlotte Linlin meant and nodded. Yes, mom. Rao is a cautious Katakori, and now he is also a little unhappy with Akin's contemptuous attitude. Anyway, their mom, four emperors Charlotte Linlin. Now after the second stage of awakening, his strength is also close to that of Whitebeard at the peak of that year. He, Katakori, has obtained top power such as Conqueror's Entanglement. Originally, there was also Observation Hockey, which could foresee the future. Katakori's current strength is even enough to be called the top powerhouse in the sea. Looking at Akin across from him, Katakori's right hand condenses the rich armament Hockey. On top of it is the mighty Conqueror's Hockey. This is exactly what the top masters of the sea can master, Conqueror's Entanglement. Looking at this scene, many people in the Charlotte family were full of envy. Putting in others are even more small stars. Look, brother Katakori. He'll really learn the same Conqueror's twist as mom. Does this mean that Katakori's brother's combat power is no less than that of his former mother? Yeah, my god. 9. Advertisement. Once mother, how strong that must be. Listening to the whispers of the sisters, Katakori was full of smiles. Then, he looked at Ah Jin and punched him. That fist was like Luffy's rubber fruit, rapidly expanding. But to this, Ajin's eyes were still flat. His body is moving. Katakori condensed the punch of Conqueror's entanglement and slammed into Akin's body. But, Katakori did not have the joy of succeeding, but his face changed dramatically. Because, he has seen it in the vision of predicting the future. Next moment, the Akin that was hit by Katakori turned into an afterimage. A figure appeared plainly in front of Katakori. Just when Katakori's eyes widened, but they didn't have time to react. Akin punched out. There is no armed color on that fist, only the ultimate power. Katakori was horrified, but it was too late to escape. He had to elementize his body like a spontaneous combustion system to see if he could escape this blow. But, the scene he encountered next made Katakori's eyes widen, and his heart was full of shock. Because, Akin's punch seemed to lock all the space in front of him. Even if he Katakori becomes elemental, he will be hit by Akin's punch. Katakori was terrified of ultimate in his heart. Subsequently, boom, countless people dazzled at the naval headquarters scene. Katakori, the top masterpiece of the Charlotte family, was blown away by Akin. Katakori's face was almost twisted by Akin, and the whole person flew upside down and hit the ship of the Big Mom Pirates. Bang. The big ship collapsed, and there was a long silent celebration. Katakori, the powerhouse standing at the top of the sea now. Under the punch of Ah Jin, he couldn't get up in a short period of time. Seeing this scene, countless people were stunned. Katakori's sisters are even more incredible. They couldn't believe it. Their brother Katakori was defeated like this. Even the former Katakori had never been defeated by a single move, except against that lunatic. But today, it is still the Katakori with enhanced strength. He actually failed miserably. 95. The second stage of awakening, Ant's terrifying ability. Kong supports the top station. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Watching Katakori get beaten by Akin with an understatement. The station at the top was almost silent. Except Kaido and Enel in Sky War. Almost all the rest stopped. Even Enel, who was fighting with Kaido, looked down at Akin. Then disdain. And said I like to show off. You bastard, but you won't let it in the slightest. Kaido grabbed the space between Enel's avatar and slammed the mace on top of Enel's head. Sasato Thor's defense is extraordinary. However, Enel was still stunned by Kaido. He looked at Kaido, and the shield cursed. Beasts, why don't you talk about martial arts? The two continued to fight. And below, everyone in the Charlotte family watched Akin move forward step by step. Special hold is Akin's indifferent face. Even looking at Charlotte Linlin's eyes is very flat, as if she doesn't care at all. It seems that the entire Big Mom Pirate group is like an existence that can be easily defeated in Ah Jin's eyes. This annoyed Charlotte Linlin, the four emperors. She looked at Ah Jin, and slowly pressed the captain's hat on top of her head. Napoleon transformed into a long knife, appearing in Charlotte Linlin's hand clock. And, it's not over yet. Charlotte Linlin looked at Akin and laughed. Well, well, well. In this sea, I haven't seen my mother's ability now, have you? 35. Charlotte Linlin grinned at Arkin. Subsequently. The ground hundreds of meters beside the two began to tremble. Except for the children of the Charlotte family. The remaining pirates and marines were all affected. The group of pirates and marine shield wailed. They looked at Charlotte Linlin with fear all over their faces. Then, one after another figure fell to the ground. As if they were drained, the faces of this group of people were very frightened when they died. Um. 5. 457 inches um. 39. Charlotte Linlin's fearful voice sounded, making countless people horrified. Countless marine soldiers looked terrified and shuddered. Then, what is that? It's too scary. Is this the four emperors, Charlotte Linlin? How many people did she kill in an instant? 
35. I've heard about Cake Island. It's all glutinous rice cakes made by Charlotte Linlin from other people's souls. Could it be that Charlotte Linlin was going to make sticky rice in our presence? That's the same Charlotte Linlin. In the past, she was able to do this before the second stage of her fruit awakening. And now, what is she going to do with these souls after awakening in the second stage of the fruit? 35. This is too scary, this kind of breath. Watching Charlotte Linlin, countless marines shuddered. So do pirates. Advertisement. Rao is that they are all pirate groups under the four emperors. Extraordinary knowledge. You can watch monsters like Charlotte Linlin take action. They are now like those little pirates in the paradise, and countless people are still trembling with fear. Because of Charlotte Linlin's current momentum, it can't be too scary. This moment, Charlotte Linlin's power after the awakening of the second stage of Soul Soul Fruit almost attracted the attention of the entire station. Even Kaido above the sky looked sideways, his eyes full of solemnity. That crazy woman. While Kaido was stunned, Enel seized the opportunity. The thunderbolt spear of the hand bell struck Kaido's head. Kaido yelled. Grass. Enel laughed. Then. All eyes at naval headquarters turned to Charlotte Linlin. Subsequently, Charlotte Linlin's fears can't really kick in. The souls of those dead pirates and marines flew up and came to Charlotte Linlin's body. Pieces of black shadows converge. Among them, they are full of boundless resentment and curse. This is their last grievance before they die. As the owner of Soul Soul Fruit, Charlotte Linlin is almost their master. None of these dead souls dared to resist. And on Charlotte Linlin's side, she looked at Arkin, and then the mass of souls rushed out. Agent still looked indifferent, looking at this group of cursed souls just a little dignified. For him, it was a little troublesome to solve this thing. But also a good solution. And Charlotte Linlin is still laughing. Well, well, well. My current ability, I can let these souls invade your body and taste the pain of being eaten by those resentful spirits. Um, as long as your soul is not as powerful as this old lady, then you can't stop the invasion of this group of resentful spirits. 35. Charlotte Linlin laughed. And as for her soul will not add agent. What's the joke? She is a soul soul fruit person. But, at this time, faster than akin, a figure came with a wild laugh. Ah ha 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 ha. I didn't expect to see something similar to Shu here. My name is Shinigami, but I have to do my job too. Ha 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 ha. 99. Zoro held Zanpakuto, came to the group of resentful spirits, and slashed down. Charlotte Linlin frowned upon seeing this. But her resentful spirit, no one can kill except herself. Can't even touch it. Charlotte Linlin is still grinning. Advertisement. If this lunatic was hit by this trick and was killed directly by her, that would be just fine. But the next moment, Zoro slashed. The group of resentful spirits vanished into pieces. Watching this scene, Charlotte Linlin was stunned. And after Zoro cut, he looked at Charlotte Linlin and shook his head. You are not even as good as Ajukas. Not to mention Vasto Lord. I thought how strong. 35. Zoro's face is still dull again. And listening to him, everyone was stunned. Charlotte Linlin was stunned for a few seconds, then roared Kai. How is this possible? 99. How can that be? That's my mother's ability after the second stage awakening. How is this possible? 55. Three times in a row this is not enough to show Charlotte Linlin's shock. She can guarantee. Her blow just now, and now there are few people who can block the entire sea. Because they couldn't defend against her resentment attack at all. Because the direct hit is the soul, not the body. This move hits the current Whitebeard, and he may not be able to stop it. Can be special. Beheaded by Zoro's understatement. Still so disgusted. F asterisk K. Zoro looked at Charlotte Linlin and shook his head. Mad woman, I'm Shinigami. Charlotte Linlin roared furiously, unable to listen to Zoro's words. Akin looked helpless at this scene. You lunatic, you even robbed my opponent. But he can't do anything about Zoro either. Zoro shook his head. It's just a loser, and it's not strong enough for me to regain my interest. 9. You fight him. Akin smiled wryly all his life. Afterwards, the two are about to really fight. But also at this time. Sengoku's expression changed on the execution platform. Above the station, a figure stepping on Moonwalk came. A mohawk hairstyle, wearing the cloak of justice. Although his stature is old, he is still tough. The person here is the former Marshal Marine and the current commander-in-chief of the entire army, Kong. Whitebeard's eyes narrowed, looking at the old guy who used to be his opponent. On the execution stand, Sengoku and Garp even looked at each other. The countless Marines in the audience were also shocked. Kong's figure landed firmly on the execution platform. He looked at Sengoku and Garp and nodded. Advertisement. And the expressions of Sengoku and Garp are also healthy and frozen. Marshal empty. The two spoke in unison. This is their immediate boss. I don't know how much they took care of. Sengoku can become Marshal Marine, in addition to ability. It was also Sora's recommendation to him. Watching the veteran Sora come back out to participate in this battle. Sengoku and Garp were both in tears. Sora looked at the two of them and nodded. Okay. Let's talk about the old things later. Now. 
Let's start this battle first. Turn around empty. Whitebeard. Old guy, I'm here today, you will definitely die here. Sora shouted, then jumped off the execution platform. Sengoku, this battle is handed over to you, let me see your current resourcefulness. 99. Sengoku nodded. Martial Kong. On the Moby Dick. Whitebeard laughed. Hul la la la. Hul la la la. It seems that the battle with that guy rider didn't hurt you. Whitebeard said, and was about to jump off the Moby Dick. He knew that Sarai had beaten him for Sengoku. And Kong's current combat power is definitely not to be underestimated. So Whitebeard has to go. When Marco and the others saw Whitebeard about to end, they couldn't help but yell. Dad. Daddy. Marco and the others looked hesitant. Whitebeard's current body. If there is a war with Sora. If he was not beaten to death, I am afraid that he would also die because of his old wounds. Beast's eyes narrowed as he paddled with Kazaru and Aokiji. He was considering whether to use Bankai to directly deal with the two people in front of him. Then go to fight Sora for Whitebeard. But, I haven't waited for Beasta to make a move. Didn't wait for Whitebeard to jump off the boat. Sora has just arrived halfway through the station. The Tiondian Golden List is roaring for a lifetime. Immediately, countless people looked up. Sengoku narrowed his eyes and looked at Garp for a long time in shock. Done. What he is most afraid of is that he is still here. The Whitebeard Pirates Battle Power List is about to be released. What does that mean? 96. Whitebeard Pirates Combat Power List released. Peak Whitebeard is back. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Calm belt. This is the most magical place on the sea. Due to the red line, there is no wind in this area all year round. Except for special warships, or specially modified, ships. All the rest of the sailboats here, will be unable to sail. And this time, inside the vast calm belt, a man dressed in white Captain Yori and with short blonde hair on his head was walking slowly over the sea. It is holding a very old long sword. The long sword was not yet unsheathed. However, the extremely strong high temperature has already emitted, and the sea surface is overwhelmed by three points. The man stepped on the void and walked forward step by step. It seems that he is never in a hurry, but is comprehending something. And if you are within a thousand meters of this man, you can feel the suppressed temperature. Far away, there is a marine small warship. This was one of the countless intelligence ships that Sengoku had arranged on the outskirts of the headquarters. Intelligence ship. Numerous marine soldiers are watching the live broadcast of the headquarters, and all of them are full of shock. Martial air. He went to support naval headquarters. It's really good. With the addition of Marshal Kong, the four emperors are definitely not opponents. 35. I hope Marshal Kong can wipe out the abominable four emperors in this headquarters in one fell swoop. Those guys are the sins of the sea. The sailor gritted his teeth. His family was one of countless families destroyed by pirates in the past. But this time, the captain of the ship, however, frowned. He picked up the binoculars and looked at the man not far away. Because of the distance, the colonel could only see the outline of the man. He couldn't help frowning. This person can actually walk on the sea. Devil fruit. Again, Master Moonwalk reaches the high powerhouse. While the colonel frowned, one of his adjutants also noticed something strange. Colonel, what's the matter? The colonel frowned again and handed the binoculars to the adjutant. The lieutenant looked through the telescope. Then, he couldn't help but shrink his eyes. How can this person walk on the sea? In such an empty calm belt, even a powerful moonwalk master wouldn't feel that way. And, the adjutant also frowned. How do I see him more like he's flying away? 99. The colonel nodded and said solemnly. Advertisement. And, look at the sea around him. The adjutant heard the words and looked again attentively. After that, his face was a little puzzled and surprised. Why does that piece of sea seem to be depressed by a huge force? The colonel frowned. I just saw him and I could feel a rush of heat. Besides, the direction this person is traveling is naval headquarters. The adjutant was a little surprised. Colonel, don't be so nervous. A man who can walk on the sea, can't you? The adjutant was a little unconcerned, but the colonel was vigilant. The naval headquarters is fighting, this is not to be taken lightly, it needs to be reported to Marshal Sengoku as soon as possible. The adjutant nodded and hurriedly called the phone bug to naval headquarters. It's wartime, so they all have the right to speak directly to the marshal. The phone bug was connected by Sengoku, and his heavy voice came out. Speak. The colonel did not hesitate, and reported all the news on his side to Sengoku. Hanging up the phone bug, Sengoku frowned. When Garp saw Sengoku's appearance, he couldn't help but make two steps. Sengoku, what happened again? Sengoku frowned slightly. But he wasn't sure because of that. All in all, he had a very uneasy feeling in his heart. Sengoku looked at Garp and shook his head. It's nothing, I just think. 39. Before Sengoku finished speaking, let alone the clues of Vice Admiral in his heart, he thought about the identity of the man in white. In the sky, the golden list roared for a lifetime. Then, countless people looked up. Sengoku and Garp are no exception. Countless people in naval headquarters looked up. 
Subsequently, everyone narrowed their eyes. The battle power list is shaking, which means that the next battle power list will be released soon. Thinking of this, Sengoku's eyebrows jumped again. It turned out that his ominous premonition came from this battle power list. Now, the power list has been released to the Big Mom Pirates. Then the next one is bound to be the Whitebeard Pirates. Thinking of this, Sengoku's face was extremely gloomy. He completely ignored the situation reported by the colonel. So start the problem at hand. The Whitebeard Pirates power list. This almost means that the combat power of the Whitebeard Pirates will be greatly improved. And Whitebeard, the world's strongest male silver, who is old and infirm, may get some rewards, so as to return to the peak. Sengoku's heart sank, and he glanced at Garp again. Garp's eyes are also full of solemn meaning. Advertisement. Sengoku, we still didn't get Whitebeard before the release. Hearing Garp's words, Sengoku nodded melancholy. Yeah, that man may be coming back. Sengoku felt a little helpless in his heart. Because the battle power list has already begun to be released, he can't stop it. And now, it is impossible to kill Whitebeard in a short period of time with the power of naval headquarters. Even if he, Garp, Sora, Kazaru Aokiji, and others all shot with all their might. But on Whitebeard's side, it is not without high-end combat power. Blocking this moment is not difficult at all. So, they couldn't stop Whitebeard. Sengoku sighed inwardly. Kong, who rushed to the middle of the station, also frowned. He thought that his participation would make this battle one-sided. But did not expect. The Whitebeard Pirate's power list will be released at this time. This is broken. Sora's expression was gloomy, and he met Whitebeard's eyes. That guy, as someone from the same era as Whitebeard, Sora certainly knew how strong Whitebeard was at his peak. That really is the strongest in the world. Thinking of this, Sora stood helplessly in place. Kazaru, Aokiji, and others also stopped and looked at the golden list in the sky. Looking at the vibration of the golden list, everyone stopped Jonjian. The red-haired Shanks raised his head and looked at Jin Bang with a dignified face. Then, he turned to look at Whitebeard on the Moby Dick. The world's strongest male silver, Whitebeard. The redhead is full of heaviness. As a trainee crew on the Roger ship of yesteryear. He'd seen Roger and Whitebeard fight quite a bit. Between the two, the power that destroys the world, and even Whitebeard is superior. Katakana middle dot katakana middle dot o for flowers. Shanks was silent. That man may be coming back. The other side, Charlotte Linlin, -Lin, who was battling with Ah Jin, stopped, a flash of memory appeared on the old face. Whitebeard Ah, she, Kaido, and Whitebeard were members of the Rock's pirate crew at the time. And at the time, Whitebeard's combat power was the top of the Rock's pirate. And she and Kaido, can only be regarded as medium. After the Rock's pirate fell apart, she had also seen Whitebeard's peak power. That, really can be called destruction. Shock fruit, in that male silver hand, will really exert a thousand percent destructive power. On the sky, Kaido, who was fighting Enel, stops. Advertisement. A pair of dragon eyes looked at the golden list in the sky, Kaido couldn't help but fell silent. Enel was still uttering civilized words, but Kaido had no intention of responding. Kaido's eyes turned to Whitebeard, his eyes full of solemnity and shock. That man, are you coming back? Kaido's heart was full of heaviness. Because only a few of them have truly experienced the power of peak Whitebeard. Point zero. Since Roger's death, the entire era has been called Whitebeard. In the ocean, no one dared to beat Whitebeard heads up. Because that's simply not possible. Even if the five elders came up with one, they were definitely no match for Whitebeard. After Rox died, the strongest is never One Piece Roger. It's Whitebeard. Edward Newgate. Kaido's eyes were dignified, and he silently greeted the next scene. Yamato stands in the Beast's Pirates. Looking at the trembling of the golden ranking in the sky, his eyes couldn't help showing curiosity. Her bastard dad Kaido, who once told him about the power of Whitebeard at his peak. Yamato has always been curious about Whitebeard. But she never knew how strong Whitebeard was. Now, I can see it. Yamato wondered, Whitebeard at its peak, the once peak power of this sea. What level of madness must be with the group of lunatics in Jingalinting or Zhaone? At this moment, the whole station fell silent. Almost everyone was expecting and nervous, mixed with a touch of disbelief. Everyone looked at the golden list of the sky, waiting for the release of the Whitebeard Pirates' battle power list. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard was born with a laugh, as if the call for the return of the strongest male silver in the world once was. His pair of tiger eyes looked at Ace on the execution platform, Jonjian was a little wet. Ace, wait for Dad, I'll come to rescue you right away. If there is a chance, Dad will hand over the Whitebeard Pirates to you. Ace, Marco, Joes, Vista, Oz. 99. Whitebeard's eyes were wet. And Ace, Marco, Joes, Vista and others were also full of frozen faces and anticipation. How much they want to see the old father who once gave them an infinite sense of security. The old father who would give them miracles no matter how dangerous they were. Will be strong to defeat the opponent's father. Back to the sea. In the spotlight. Boom. Whitebeard Pirates. Battle power list released. First place in the Whitebeard Pirates battle list. 
the world's strongest male silver, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate. Chuan. 97. The strongest man in the world, he is back. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. First place in the Whitebeard Pirates battle list. The world's strongest male silver, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate. Close black lens bracket. Boom. As soon as this list came out, the whole sea became a sensation. Although Whitebeard ranks first in the Whitebeard Pirates. There is almost no doubt about it, and no one doubts it. Although Whitebeard is old, his strength and body are not as good as before. But Whitebeard is still Whitebeard, he is still the strongest male silver in the world, and he is still the old sea overlord. So for Whitebeard to be ranked first in the Whitebeard Pirates battle power list, this is a certainty. But, even if it was expected. But seeing this result appear in front of them, there are still countless people shocked. No, and see with your own eyes. It's two different things. The frightened, still will be frightened. Well, as expected of Whitebeard. He really is the number one player in the Whitebeard Pirates. It's shocking. Hey, Whitebeard is the number one in the Whitebeard Pirates power list, do you need any questions? You should be thinking, isn't Whitebeard going to get some reward? This remark rang out all over the world. Then countless people's minds were shocked. 46-0. Yes, Whitebeard topped the white team's power rankings, and it wasn't worth their shock. What shocked them was what reward Whitebeard would get after that. Naval headquarters. The eyes of countless people focused on Whitebeard's appearance. Whitebeard stood firmly on the bow of the Moby Dick. His physique is extremely tall. Although the body is still can see the old age. But Whitebeard, still that Whitebeard. Countless people raised their eyes and looked up. Whitebeard, who used to symbolize the strongest sea, is coming back. Sora, Sengoku, Garp, Suru and other older marines all had serious faces. Kazaru and Aokiji were shocked. As for Akainu, his eyes were full of disdain. Even for Whitebeard being called the world's strongest male silver, Akainu has always been full of contempt. So at this moment, he didn't even care about Whitebeard. And Namikaze Minato and Kirby and Mamasagi. The three looked at Whitebeard with eagerness in their eyes. Edge Whitebeard may symbolize the power of the world at the top. But how could they have used all their strength? They want to know, their full strength. Compared to the top Whitebeard, who is stronger and who is weaker. Ant, Kaido and others are also looking forward to it. Although they don't like the feeling of being crushed on their heads. Advertisement. However, they also wanted to compare their current strength with that of the leading Whitebeard, to see who was stronger and who was weaker. After all, their current strength is unprecedented. Although both think they are stronger than Whitebeard in their prime. But if you haven't fought, who will agree? Not only did the whole sea disagree, but they themselves would not agree. So, they're looking forward to Whitebeard's return to the top. Looking forward to fighting with Whitebeard in a dignified manner with his current strength. Subsequently, with much attention, Whitebeard's reward was released. Open black lens bracket The Whitebeard Pirates are the first in the battle power list, hereby rewarded. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket The second stage of Devil Fruit awakens, heals all old wounds, and adds 10 years of life. Close black lens bracket. Boom. Boom. Countless people saw Whitebeard's reward. The whole place was silent. Sengoku's eyes widened. He looked at Whitebeard's reward with disbelief. Whitebeard, the strongest male silver in the world, is really back. Heal all old wounds. Add 10 years of life. There is one more, Devil Fruit Second Stage Awakening. Sengoku's eyes widened. He swallowed deeply. Quote dot dot dot. Sengoku said in a deep voice. Garp's eyes widened too, his eyes full of disbelief. How can that old guy's reward be so generous? 39. This is not the return of the top Whitebeard, this is the return of a stronger Whitebeard. Garp yelled all his life. Sengoku's face was heavy. He just hates himself now. Why didn't you think of it just now? The gold list rewards Charlotte Linlin and Kaido as well. As the sixth Whitebeard Pirates on the power list. Whitebeard is the first in combat power, and the reward can only be more generous. Knowing that Whitebeard will get these rewards, Sengoku will try to kill Whitebeard at all costs. But now, everything is too late. Whitebeard, the male silver is back. I don't know that the strongest male silver in the world is back. He came back with stronger power. Countless people in the audience were swallowing saliva. However, the battle power list did not stop because of the shock of everyone. Second place in the Whitebeard Pirates battle power list. Marco the Phoenix. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Top observation hockey, zone phantom phoenix fruit final mystery, nirvana rebirth. Close black lens bracket. Boom. Seeing the reward that Marco received as the second place, countless people present were stunned again. Advertisement. On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard didn't even care what he got. Instead, he first looked at the reward that Marco received. Seeing the generous reward, Whitebeard's eyes showed joy. Not only got the top observation hockey. He also obtained the ultimate meaning of the phoenix fruit. Although this nirvana rebirth he does not know the specific effect. But, the gold medal reward has never been stingy. This nirvana rebirth must be the ultimate trump card for life. Marco has him, 
although not much in terms of strength. But he can use the full power of his phoenix fruit. He Whitebeard doesn't ask how strong Marco can be. It was only Whitebeard's wish that Marco lived in peace. Then, Whitebeard's eyes looked down. The third place in Whitebeard Pirates, Diamond Yoja. Closed black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Top armament hockey, devil fruit awakening. Closed black lens bracket. Whitebeard's eyes lit up again. Jaws's reward is also very generous. The former Joes was still a long way from the Admiral class. A short fight is fine. But if you fight to the death, 90% of Joes will die. But now, with these two bonuses, Joes can be said to be firmly at the Admiral level, even stronger than the average Admiral. Whitebeard's heart was about to burst into laughter. He continued to look down. Open black lens bracket the fourth place in the Whitebeard Pirates list, Fire Fist Ace, point zero close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. Bloodline power awakening. Close black lens bracket. See this. Whitebeard frowned. Blood power. Whitebeard couldn't help but wonder, is it Roger's son? However, that Roger has a fart bloodline. That bloodline has power in it is even more nonsense. It's all right to fool the kid. But it is impossible to deceive him, the Sea Emperor. However, Whitebeard raised his eyebrows when he looked at Ace. Because at this time, Ace is also looking at the golden list of the sky. He smiled as he watched Whitebeard's reward. Whitebeard can recover to the top. This is the wish of everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates. It was a dream they never dared to imagine before. Finally finished today. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates is freezing. Seeing Ace's smile, Whitebeard raised an eyebrow. This smile, is it. Now, advertisement. And it's not just Whitebeard. Kaido incarnated as a blue dragon in the sky. His eyes could not help looking at Ace on the execution platform. Charlotte Linlin also stopped laughing and looked at Ace in deep thought. The redhead stared at Ace, murmured inwardly. The captain's son, blood power. 35. Quote dot 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 quote. A look of shock flashed in the redhead's eyes. He couldn't help thinking of the person who was given a straw hat by himself and recognized as Joyboy. But now, Jin Bang said that Ace's blood power awakened. This bloodline power, it's Captain Rogers, or the D's. Or, Joey Boy, the redhead frowned, unable to see through the mist of Ace's body for a while. As if this reward cast a shadow behind Ace, the Whitebeard Pirate's power list is still being released. But most of the people present were unwilling to watch it any longer. Because the ones after them are all the captains behind the White Regiment rankings. The leaderboards were released one by one, and the strength of even the captains in the back and tail of the white group got a 4.4 improvement. Wait until the list is published. Marco, Joes and others were the first to be shocked. Subsequently, Marco's figure involuntarily turned into a blue and yellow phoenix. And Joes, all his body turned into a diamond body. And there is no lag in action compared to the humanoid. Once upon a time, when he is diamonded, his movements will be rigid. But now, this drawback has been completely improved. And Joes stepped on both feet. The ice layer under his feet transformed vigorously and turned into a crystal clear diamond. The pirate world also recognizes diamonds. Therefore, many pirates around looked at this scene with bright eyes. Marine soldiers also spread envy. Even Kazaru's eyes trembled involuntarily. F asterisk K. Human shaped money printing machine. 35. Kazaru suddenly had an urge to rebel and go to the Whitebeard ship. After the strength of the captains has been improved. All eyes were fixed on Whitebeard's body. A ray of light shot out from the gold bullet, approaching Whitebeard's body. Whitebeard laughed. The figure was shrouded in white light. Cool la la la. Cool la la la. 98. Bankai. Dagurin Hyrimaru. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Under the tense gazes of naval headquarters and countless people in the sea. The white light slowly dissipated. Whitebeard's figure emerges from it. The first one was the symbolic blonde hair. I saw the slightly curly blonde hair shining in the sun. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates was stunned. Marco. Joes and others widened their eyes. Bista was also in disbelief. Even the best Whitebeard is not necessarily better than he is now. But Bista also has no ability to add life and restore youth. And as usual, in old age, Whitebeard's hair is all tied up with a black cap. But now, the black hair set disappeared. Whitebeard's symbolic blonde hair reappeared before the eyes of the world. Looking further down, it's Whitebeard's tough, tough chicken. Everyone looked shocked again. Whitebeard's original body of 6.6 .6 meters was also raised again. Although not as exaggerated as Kaido. But at this moment, Whitebeard's figure has also been pulled to a height of more than 8 meters. And Whitebeard at this time. Give them the feeling of destroying the sky and destroying the earth by standing there. That tall figure inserted the big razor clump of clouds on the deck, watching the countless people in naval headquarters. Whitebeard had a smile on his face, his crescent beard curled up. Cool la la la. Dad, I'm back. The strongest male silver in the world. In the peak period, Whitebeard, even stronger than the peak era, is back at sea. Countless people watching the live broadcast from all over the world stood up and looked at the 20 figures. Wait. Just kidding. 95. Am I wrong? How is this possible? 
That guy, how could it be possible to return to this sea? How could that power come back to this sea? How is this possible ah ah ah? A pirate with an old face stood up. He looked at Whitebeard, who was now blonde, and was stunned in place. When he was young, he had the privilege of seeing Whitebeard's cutting edge. However, he was only a few dozen nautical miles away, and he had only seen it from a distance. Otherwise, under Whitebeard's leading power, he would not be able to survive at all. But even so, that time also left an indelible shadow on him. I used to think Whitebeard was dead. The rest of Whitebeard is nothing but a broken body. But now, the old pirate, he looked at the blonde Whitebeard on the other end, completely collapsed. This scene is not a minority in the whole sea. Because many people have seen Whitebeard's peak power from a distance. That is a kind of ability that can truly destroy the world. Countless people's eyes were shocked. Advertisement. World government. Inside the five elders' office. Watching the live broadcast of naval headquarters, the five of them froze in place, their eyes widened. That guy, he's back. Yeah, that nasty guy. His current strength, rocks can't match it, right? As soon as these words came out, the five people sighed. During the peak period of Whitebeard, he may have also touched the threshold of the second stage of awakening. But now Whitebeard, this is a real second stage awakening. As for Whitebeard, the former top striker, none of the five of them would be an opponent. Today's Whitebeard, with five players, can they fight? Several people were suspicious. However, the five elders are not alone. Sword fighting five elders looked up at the power list. After the Whitebeard Pirates power list, there is the damned Ming army. And after the Ming army, Sword Five Elders didn't finish his words, but the meaning was clearly expressed. Several other people heard it and raised their eyebrows. Yes, soon, it will be released on the world official battle power ranking. And the world official, but ranked fourth in the power list. At that time, the rewards one will definitely not be low. The strength of the five of them is bound to be greatly improved. Until then, it is not impossible that they can all match the current Whitebeard. But this time, the blonde Five Elders frowned. He suddenly thought of a very important question. Everyone. Have you ever thought about the first place in my world's official power list? As soon as these words came out, the audience fell silent. The five of them sucked in air. Yes, who is the first in the battle power list of the world's official government? In the office of the five elders, the atmosphere of silence continued for a long time. Naval headquarters. Countless people looked at Whitebeard, and Jian Jian calmed down in shock. And back to the top, even stronger Whitebeard. He turned his head to look at the execution platform, and looked at Ace kneeling on it. Cool la la la, Ace. Wait for daddy, this will save you the first time. Whitebeard laughed. He exudes unparalleled confidence. But everyone around knows it. Today's Whitebeard, and the previous Whitebeard, are not the same at all. Now that Whitebeard said this, they didn't feel any disobedience at all. Because of the current Whitebeard. Even if he hasn't done it yet. But everyone can already feel the surging power in their bodies. That shock fruit, the power after the second awakening. On the execution stand, Ace bit her lip. He looked at Whitebeard, emotionally and physically. Advertisement. Daddy. 35. Whitebeard nodded. But deep in his eyes, there was a hint of doubt. Why? Ace's bloodline power has been awakened by Jinbang, but he is not at all different. It shouldn't be. Whitebeard suppressed the doubt in his heart. The top priority is to get the Ace out as soon as possible. Whitebeard stomped his feet on the deck, and then Frost held his hands in front of him. Sora. Sengoku. Garp. Old guys. Just let you guys see, Lao Tzu's current power. Cool la 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 la. Whitebeard laughed. Frost hand hitting his side. Similar to the scene at naval headquarters. The eyes of countless marine soldiers shrank, but they didn't pay any attention to Whitebeard's actions. Because if it is still a tsunami, no matter how big it is, the two admirals on their side can still block it. One Iokiji, one Kirby. These two people are both ice-type powerhouses. No matter how big a tsunami Whitebeard set off, in front of them, it wasn't enough. The ideas of these people are stuck here. Subsequently. Shock appeared in the eyes of countless people. It was a shock so intense that it was ultimate. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Five. This, is this the pinnacle of the world's strongest male silver? Is he going to destroy the world? Countless people watching the live broadcast of naval headquarters were shocked and lost their eyes. And the scene. Countless marine soldiers raised their heads even more. Their eyes widened, and their expressions were still shocked except for shock. Everyone seems to have forgotten what fear is. Because at this moment, their minds were completely filled with shock. On the execution stand, Sengoku and Garp also raised their heads, and then their eyes widened. How is this possible? At this time, he looked at the scene in front of him. Rao is Sengoku, who doesn't swear at all on weekdays, and is also an exception. Garp's eyes widened, his pupils shaking as he watched the scene in front of him. This, is this Whitebeard who was beyond the top? This, even Garp, who has seen countless worlds and even defeated rocks with Roger himself, is completely unable to remain calm now. On sight, even Zoro, 
a lunatic, has his eyes counted down. This ability is a bit exaggerated, isn't it? Looking at the kilometer high, Wuya pressed towards the tsunami that swept across the naval headquarters. Even Zoro was a little shocked. Because of this scene, he couldn't do it. Although the tsunami could not hurt him. But once it hits, except for the top powerhouses, I am afraid that everyone will be destroyed here. And look at this scene. Kabuto's Mamasugi's eyes were dignified. Advertisement. This scale. Even if she broke out all Senban Sakura, she couldn't stop it. Although she could not be hurt. But this blow, naval headquarters is bound to suffer heavy casualties. At the scene, the eyes of countless marine soldiers turned to Aokiji. As for why he didn't look at Kirby, it's just that they've been with the 460 Aokiji longer. Aokiji has also been known to the sea for longer. So in the hearts of the people, Aokiji is the only one who can solve this crisis, right? Feel the gaze of countless marine soldiers. Aokiji hesitated for a moment, then flew up immediately. Came to the huge tsunami between the two kilometers. Aokiji stretched out a frosty hand, and the palm was cold. Ice Age. 99. Aokiji's words resounded throughout the audience. His chill exploded to ultimate. The tsunami was slowly frozen by him. Countless marine soldiers looked surprised. Look, it's Aokiji Admiral. Quote dot 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 single quote. But before they shouted birth. Both sides of naval headquarters. Those 2,000 meter high ice layers shattered. The ice crystals scattered, and two larger tsunamis, more than a thousand meters in length, slanted down. Countless marine soldiers froze in place. Aokiji was also dumbfounded. He looked up at the two larger tsunamis looming overhead. Aokiji's eyes were full of shock. Aokiji shot again. Beneath him are the lives of countless marine soldiers. Ice Age. But this time, can't wait for Aokiji to completely freeze the tsunami. Another smash hit. Boom. The tsunami that had just been frozen by Aokiji scattered. Two even bigger and more fearful tsunamis shrouded them. The two tsunamis were two or three thousand meters high. Looking at the tsunami that covered the sky and covered the sun, it was like a scene of extinction. Countless people were shocked. Aokiji is even more suspicious of life. This, is this something that people can freeze? But Aokiji did not give up, and broke out with all his strength, trying his best to freeze the tsunami. But his power is not infinite. The tsunami descended clearly, and Aokiji was unable to revolving heaven at all. Standing on the top, countless marine soldiers are desperate. Kirby stood in the crowd, and his expression was unprecedentedly solemn. He clenched his hand in the long knife. As a marine admiral, I cannot watch so many marines die. Next moment, Kirby soars into the sky. 99. The Ming Army's battle power list was released, Shang's nervousness. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Look at the two tsunamis around naval headquarters. The countless live broadcasts watched by the sea are desperate for it. This. Is this the power of the world's strongest male silver? 39. Legendary Whitebeard, can it really trigger this natural disaster-like power? This. How is this possible? How is it possible? It's so scary. The two tsunamis are two or three kilometers, right? 35. If this is pouring down, will the ordinary soldiers and pirates of naval headquarters survive? Hearing this sentence, countless people on the sea fell silent. These two tsunamis of two to three thousand meters fell. All those marine soldiers will die, right? Countless people thought about this, and their eyes were full of astonishment and silence. And inside naval headquarters, countless marine soldiers looked at the scene above their heads, and their eyes became even more desperate. Many people collapsed and shouted. A recruit fell to the ground, looking at the two tsunamis with tears on his face. Not that he is vulnerable. But anyone who sees this scene will despair. On the execution stand, Sengoku's brow furrowed to the extreme. Aokiji's midair misconduct freezes the seawater. However, his abilities are limited after all. Aokiji can freeze one piece, and can freeze hundreds of meters. But, that huge tsunami is high as two or three kilometers. Aokiji, there's really nothing I can do. Finally. Aokiji did all her own efforts. In a short time, a marine admiral was exhausted. Although Aokiji is not at the top of the game today. He has been fighting with Bista for a long time, and he is still injured. But it can make him completely powerless, and it is enough to see how strong Whitebeard's blow is. I'm afraid this trick will be used on the red line. No one can stop there, right? Aokiji was weak and fell down. Sengoku was slightly closed and double acting. Aokiji fell. However, the life of countless marine soldiers, the marshals around him could not be ignored. Everyone marine, resist with me. 35. After Sengoku finished speaking, golden light erupted from his body, and he was about to rise into the sky. Although these people have little impact on the two tsunamis. But Sengoku is also reluctant to sit still. He didn't even want to watch countless marine soldiers die in vain. Sengoku's eyes were full of grief and anger. Watching this scene, Charlotte Linlin and Kaido in the sky are both dismissive. Sengoku, this is enough for you, Marine, to drink a pot. With this in mind, the two were ready to watch Marine jokes. But the next moment, advertisement. Kirby looked at Aokiji, 
who was weak and fell, with a serious look on his face. I, too, are Marine Admiral. When Kirby's words fell, Reiatsu, who was afraid, rose into the sky. Zoro and the others all turned to look. Then everyone's eyes could not help shrinking. On the top of the station, the third Bankai, out. Kirby's eyes were serious, and the plain voice spread throughout the audience. Bankai, moving out, Daigure and Hiranmaru. Boom. Fear of Reiatsu outbreak. Kirby rose to the sky. Aokiji was caught by the ice dragon he then swung out. Subsequently, in a situation where countless people have been shocked and have not recovered. Kirby had two wings behind him, with a wingspan of 100 meters. The Kirby of this world is not Hitsugaya, a primary school student. His power has surpassed Hitsugaya Toshiro. Just Bankai in the normal state has already surpassed Hitsugaya by a lot. Aokiji, who was lying on the ice dragon, smiled bitterly, looking at the figure rising into the sky. It's over to you. Kirby looked back and nodded deeply. Subsequently, he spread his wings and came between the two shocking tsunamis. Looking at this scene, the eyes of countless people could not help shrinking. Everyone watching the live broadcast was stunned. They knew the fifth admiral who was on the verge of promotion. But for such a long time, except for the first shot, Kirby has never had any substantive record. So many people have temporarily forgotten him. Seeing the appearance of Kebi at this moment, there was an uproar all over the world. Hey, is he serious? Aokiji is completely helpless, he thinks he can make it. Although his freezing ability is also very strong, I don't think he is stronger than Aokiji, right? 35. It's a little overpowering, just look at it. A sarcastic voice sounded on the sea. But there are also people. They guess the true identity of Kebi, who might be a member of the 13th Division of Gote. Although Kirby is wearing a marine recruit outfit at the moment. But they also saw Kirby differently. After all, none of the strong players in Jingling Court are weak. This is comparable to the fact that since he dares to go out, he naturally has his confidence. Controversy on the sea Sengoku doesn't know. He was still standing on the execution stand. Watching Kirby rush out, a surprise flashed in Sengoku's eyes. How could he forget, Marine now has a fifth admiral. It is also this Kirby who was a recruit not long ago. And Sengoku also confirmed the identity of Kebi Jingling Court in his heart. Now Kirby Bankai, this identity is 100% sure. And Bankai. That is the most powerful trick of the group of people in Jingling Court. Frost appeared in Sengoku's eyes. Chances are, Kirby could really freeze those two tsunamis. Advertisement. However, he thought so. The pirates did not think so. Special hold. Big Mom Pirates and Beasts Pirates People. Jack the Drill laughed. It's really beyond our own power. A recruit dares to rush up. Listening to Jack's words, the well-meaning Beasts Pirates members whispered beside him. Boss Jack, this Kirby, has just been promoted to Marine Admiral by the Five Elders. Jack's eyes froze. What did you say? 99. F asterisk K. Jack calmed down for a while. Then there was disdain on his face again. How could he be able to pick up a move from Whitebeard? 35. Only the boss of Kaido can take over completely, and the rest can't. This sentence attracted the glares of the big mom pirates. But Charlotte Linlin ignored Jack. She looked at Kebby with interest and greed in her eyes. What a handsome boy. However, this body is still, and it has the smell of old lady that I hate the most. 35. Charlotte Linlin couldn't help frowning as she felt Kirby's raging Reiatsu. Because, what he hates most is the power that the lunatic uses. And this is comparable, and he is exactly the same as a lunatic. Just below the station, when countless people were thinking differently. Kirby is located between two tsunamis. His eyes were full of seriousness. Then raised the long knife. Millennium Ice Prison. Kirby was speechless. The fearful Reiatsu has exploded. An unparalleled cold air burst out around him. Kaka. Kaka. Subsequently just under the unbelievable looks of countless people. The shocking tsunami caused by Whitebeard was quickly frozen by the cold air gushing out of Kebi's body. Even, Kaido and Enel, who were fighting in the sky, both changed their faces. Enel, even Kirby's fear, hurriedly elementalized and walked away. Kaido wasn't so lucky, he was a little late. Kaido Chinglong's body was cold. Boom, Kaido Chinglong's body was frozen, and then fell on Oak Square. The entire Oak Square shook. Kaido reverted to human form and shook his head. Look at the figure in the sky again. Kaido's eyes were full of palpitations. Just now, when he didn't react at all, he was directly frozen by Nakebi. How can that be? However, Kaido looked up. The two tsunamis caused by Whitebeard were completely frozen in midair. Advertisement. Kebi stepped on an ice dragon and stood on top of the ice dragon's head, like the king of ice. Boom. Naval headquarters shook. Countless people couldn't help but widen their eyes and took a deep breath. All around the world, those who thought Kirby couldn't do it, also fell silent at the same time. They looked at what Kirby had done, and their eyes were full of shock. Ow, what Aokiji can't do, he can really do it. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not surprised at all. Do you know his true identity? 35 feet. That, move away, 
is obviously a captain of the 13th Division of the Gote. A powerhouse in Jingling Court, is it shocking enough to do this? The person who didn't care about Kebby before was stunned. Subsequently, almost everyone figured out Kirby's true identity. The sea was shocked, and naval headquarters, Sengoku on the execution platform swallowed deeply. Subsequently, he looked at Kirby and said sincerely, In the name of Marshal Marine, I would like to thank the Ice Dragon Admiral for solving Marine's crisis. Sengoku said in a deep voice. By the way, the code name of Kebby was determined. On the Ice Dragon, Kirby smiled shyly, like a shy big boy. Today he finally felt that his Marine dream had come true. His line is perfect. Marshal Sengoku, first and Marine Admiral, this is my duty. Sengoku nodded deeply, feeling remorse in his heart. It would be great if Kirby could stay at Marine in the future. But he knew it was impossible. Because Kebi is a person from Jingling Court. But, Sengoku was relieved. He also has a Namikaze Minato. This one is a wild powerhouse. Although Namikaze Minato said that he may not be able to stay long. But as long as it's not the people from the first three evil forces. He Sengoku tried his best to keep Namikaze Minato. The silence lasted for a long time. Then, when everyone was still not fully recovered. The golden ranking of the sky was once again shocked. The name Jemingjun on the power list slowly trembled. Everyone is familiar with this. This means that the Jeming army combat power list will be released. But no one knows that. In the seven warlords of the sea lineup. Shang looked around vaguely, his whole body tense. This Ming army battle power list is released, but don't expose him for the first time. Then it's all in vain. Chi. 100. Nuclear pacifist. Exposed bear. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On a small island. The island is not anywhere on the map. In other words, this is an island that is not known to the world government. This is the current headquarters of the Ming army. Although not as good as Ball's brother, the island of white soil. But in a hurry, they could only find such an island. At this time, the island. Dragon's office. Koala, Haku and others are there. Looking at the naval headquarters just now, Kirby froze the two tsunamis. In Long's office, I don't know how many sounds of gasping for breath. And now, seeing the upcoming release of the Jemming Army's battle power list, everyone couldn't help but be stunned. Everyone couldn't help but look at the dragon. And the dragon. Watching that the Ming Army battle power list will be released soon. He really didn't know whether to cry or laugh. The release of the Ming Army combat power list is of course a good thing. It means that the strength of his Ming Army can be greatly improved. Not just his leader. The rest of the members can also get a small improvement. This is a comprehensive 460 enhancement of the strength of the Ming Army. But, what makes the dragon cry is. Jeming Army cadres, etc. are strictly kept secret but now it has to be exposed by the battle power list. There is nothing they can do. Advertisement. Long's face was full of bitterness, and he really didn't know whether to laugh or cry. And Koala couldn't help frowning while watching the live broadcast of naval headquarters. Mr. Long. Bear, bear, he's still at naval headquarters. If this is the first time Mr. Shang is exposed, Marine and the world official, they will not let Mr. Shang go, right? As soon as Koala said these words, the audience fell silent. Haku and the others' faces became heavy, and their brows were furrowed. Long also frowned slightly, but after a while, Long sighed. The release of the battle power list is not something we can stop. Bears are exposed or not exposed, that is not something we can change. 35. Nowadays the situation in naval headquarters is changing rapidly, even if the bear is exposed, it will not necessarily be caved by Marine and the world official. When the power list is released, I will personally take someone to the naval headquarters. 35. Marine is currently focusing on the four emperors. After this battle, I will rescue the bear. The dragon deserves to be separated from the brain of the Ming army. In a flash, he laid out a strict and comprehensive plan. When everyone heard it, they couldn't help but nod their heads. What Long said was the only thing they could do now. Naval headquarters. The crisis was resolved just now. Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief. However, he looked at the upcoming release of the Ming army's combat power list. Sengoku looked at Garp angrily, his eyes full of anger. Garp, you waited for this battle to end. 35. Look at your wonderful son. And your grandson. 99. Sengoku growled in a low voice, trying not to be heard by the third person. Advertisement. After all, domestic ugliness cannot be made public. Garp smiled honestly and could only hide his embarrassment by scratching his head. Ace, who was kneeling in front of the two, was stunned. Before, he had no idea why Garp had to let him and Luffy be Marines. But today, between his life and death, Ace fully understood what Garp was thinking. Ace looked back and looked at the old man he called, Grandpa. Looking at Garp's white hair, Ace was stunned. Garp, the Marine's hero, is old now too. But his life was full of regrets. Garp, he is a Marine hero. But he gave birth to a son who was the leader of the Ming army. His two grandchildren, one himself and one Luffy. 
The two also shouted about being pirates all day long, running counter to Garp. Almost all people who have a relationship with Garp are not walking the same path with Garp. Thinking of this, Ace's eyes couldn't help moistening. Today, his ace is in danger. Garp faces a choice. It is to choose the justice that you have insisted on your whole life. Or save him for the sake of family love. Garp, the marine hero. Now in Ace's eyes full of pity. Sengoku's angry words. Perhaps this has become commonplace between Sengoku and Garp. Advertisement. But Ace felt the deep guilt beneath Garp's simple and honest scratching. Ace looked at the old man and couldn't help but feel distressed. He has been a hero all his life, but he taught him a leader of the Ming army and two pirates. Ace's eyes widened and she was stunned for a long time. How he wanted to call, Grandpa. However, no one has noticed the difference in Ace these days. Even Garp looked at the military power list of the Ming dynasty and looked forward to it. That was his son after all. Garp pretended to be serious, but his heart was full of anticipation. Subsequently, the Ming army combat power list was released. First place in the Ming army's combat power list, leader, Monkey D. Dragon. Close black lens bracket. Hereby reward. The plan of the pacifist. Close black lens bracket. Looking at this award, naval headquarters made me stunned. Sengoku frowned. How is this similar to the pacifist developed by Vegapunk? Just one word away. What exactly is this? Many people were stunned. How could the fifth rank Ming army, the leader of the Ming army, get a blueprint? Didn't increase his strength at all. In the eyes of countless people, there are extraordinary doubts, and the reward for the gold list is unclear. It can be separated from the Ming army headquarters. Dragon's office. Long looked at a design drawing on the desk, then froze. Koala and others stepped forward curiously. 